Welcome to Let's Play Mortal Kombat the Arcade. Yes! What? Well, I'm about to say for the NES, dang it. Mortal Kombat Arcade. This is Ron Moore along with J-Man and Purple. Alright, well, we're already in action. Uh, cage is getting caged. Yeah, and Gentry recorded this, but I'm going to pretend like I'm raiding. <laughs> <laughs> So this was supposed to be done like a year ago. It's been unlisted in the S2K channel back in January 23rd, 2013, and I forgot all about it. All right, so uh, this is uh, this is way more uh, backlisted than uh, Mega Man 4. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, Pony Man. No, whatever. Uh, <laughs> That is not J-Man. Uh, he looks much better than J-Man, so... Oh, no. whatever. No, I don't think so. Here's, here's Evil Jeff. Oh, don't even... I'd rather be called him than, than Jeff be called him. Come on. <laughs> Finish moves to sleeper hold. So, yeah, I mean, Mortal Kombat, I mean, definitely was really hyped up back in the day and from what I heard it wasn't even meant to be awesome it was just like a quick cash in but it turned out to be better than people thought yeah it was a uh, yeah it was a little cheap uh, answer to Street Fighter 2 I was a big Street Fighter fanboy back then so I would argue with a lot of people in 6th grade Street Fighter's better than all Mortal Kombat is because they got finishing moves and blood Street Fighter does it gotta love the blood yeah. All right, now there's there's Jamie. Oh. <laughs> no, that's Angel. That's Angel. <laughs> yeah, they say he looks kind of Chinese. No, honey, that's you back there. With the back there. Right. No, shut up. That's, <laughs> like I was saying, he looks Chinese, but he could be Mexican. <laughs> now, who is y'all's favorite characters in this game? Um, Goro. I was about to say Shang Tsung or Shang Tsung when I was a kid I thought it was Shang Tsung she's just a, a fangirl I am I cannot lie about that one. Oh, there's purple back there hell yeah I wish I wish right oh <laughs> what do you mean you wish <laughs> well she said it first <laughs> and then I say it and I get in trouble <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Double standard much? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a good fight right here. Luke Kang is pretty cold, but his finishing move sucks. Now, not this. Obviously, the CPU don't always do the finishing move, but his finishing move is like the super uppercut or something stupid. And that's, it makes sense, though, because he's a Shaolin priest, and they don't murder people. <laughs> See, look, I whooped ass. I told you that was me. Yes, the pit stage. Yeah. Now the one I played though most when I was a kid was the Genesis version. Didn't really get to play the arcade version at all. I'm I'm hoping that someone gets knocked off of the stage and down into the, the killer spikes. Because that was the <laughs> awesome part of this game. Let's see. No, ah, come on, Gentoo. Oh, bitch. <laughs> well it wasn't my fault, I just died. That's why Gentoo's not in this LP because we're pissed off at him for not <laughs> I'll be cutting yeah. my spikes. Well, knock on wood. Yeah. <laughs> I did more than knock on wood. Freaking broke through it. And, uh oh. Now we're in trouble. <laughs> and I do believe that's uh, Shane Soon in the uh, background there. That's uh, Bill from Kill Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. No, I think that's where they got this movie from. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Scorpion is real popular. Probably the most popular character in this game. He was really... Oh, yeah, get over here. Yeah, and now on, on the SNES version, I think it was, Come here! Well, they had... Uh, it, I do remember from the arcade, it was, Come here and get over here. Yeah. And, boy, was the Super Nintendo a disappointment? <laughs> well, you know, uh, it's kind of like Sunset Riders. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. But I mean, it, it was very disappointing in Super Nintendo version of Mortal Kombat, and obviously Nintendo was behind that, but they realized how much sales the Genesis version got, so then in Part 2, they're like, alright, just pull out all the stops. I I will tell you this, I, I preferred Mortal Kombat um, when it first came out uh, to Street Fighter 2, because, like, 
they kept doing Street Fighter 2. Um, yeah. But then when, uh, when Killer Instinct came out, game over. Yeah. Now here's my favorite character in the game, Sub-Zero. He's cold. Yeah, yes. uh, yeah. He should have been like, freeze, bitch! <laughs> now is his finisher move on the Genesis version the same as on here? I don't know. Cause that that was a cold, no pun intended, cold blooded finisher move on the Genesis to rip out someone's spine like that. When I first heard about it, I thought he just ripped through your back, like punched through your back and then pulled out your spine, spinal cord. But no, he'll like take your head off with it and then your spinal cord dangling down through the neck hole. I was like, wow, that's it's pretty ECW. Right. Yeah. So awesome. you remember, you remember that move, I guess. And purple, yeah, here she is. Purple versus Gen two. Uh, purple's a big fan of Mortal Kombat. No, it's a, that's green. <laughs> uh, green. <laughs> no, because you can't, you, you wouldn't be able to hear him. His no, it? his his. Well, okay, but his baby brother um, made him have a sex change. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and by the way, the the whole Raiden, <laughs> like what the heck? And it's, I think it's John Tobias or Ed Boone just yelling out gibberish. Probably. Well, let's let's not get, even get into the movie. <laughs> Please, let's not. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yep, there we go. Got a break. Oh, he's stoned. Yep. Uh oh. Dun, dun, dun. What a shocking fight this is. I love the stage um, right here on Genesis version because the now this art, the music in the arcade version right here is not even really audible. You can't really, and it's no memorable tunes to where it's to get stuck in your head. So I was real disappointed the music in the arcade version. <laughs> wow. Lol. Yeah, so I mean, you know, like the, the AI is smarter than that. It's like, I'm not gonna move, idiot. Dang it, Gen 2, quit trolling. <laughs> Thum videos thumbs down now by J Man. Thanks a lot, Jinchu. Well, I mean, you know, like if you were to play it on a higher level, you know, you can uh, if you use Mame or whatever, you can set the dip switches. Um, you can change the uh, difficulty of the game. Yep. Uh, the the AI would have already uh, swept. It would have, uh, yeah. you know, sweep the leg. Raiden wins. She bash shit. <laughs> I didn't even want to be in this. I didn't even want to be in this. I'm in this because Purple wanted to be in this shit. <laughs> yeah, I did actually. I'm not a I fan did. of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> really, I'm just I'm, I like I like some things from Mortal Kombat, but <laughs> just I'm not a fan. Of it. I just I want to see somebody get knocked off the ledge and then go. Whoa! Yes. Well, I liked Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> See, J-Man's face and Jeff and we guy's face down there. Yeah, actually, I, I had, uh, well, not heard, but read that that was um, developers. They put their heads yeah. there. That was Steve Ballmer killing all the developers. <laughs> See, that's what yeah, did. developers, 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 Nate. All his spikes every time he said that. That's him <laughs> hosting the <laughs> background. He's like, finish him. Well, they, they, well, I mean, they had to save it through three Mortal Kombat, so every time he said developers, it was... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, his finish moves where he makes you sweat profusely. <laughs> uh, that's when uh, uh, they, they show the surface laptop or whatever the fuck it is, and then it does it shuts down, and then thankfully they have another one underneath the table. No, his finish moves a blue screen of death. <laughs> no, so it's Steve Ballmer's blue screen of death versus 
uh, Bill Gates Red Ring of Death? <laughs> uh, versus, uh, no, the, uh, the Xbox. Uh, Red Ring of Death. Yeah. Which I think you just said. Oh, yeah, well, I meant Microsoft. I forgot they work for the same company, or Bill Gates is the only well, that actually works for him. That's what they say. Right. <laughs> but then Stuart Shepard shows up and just sets the record straight and pones both of them out. And then Jeff falls asleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we'll actually stay awake for that. Well, I think it's Stuart Shepard. Yeah, yeah he's, on, he's on autopilot. Yeah. He, he recorded himself beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Shane soon gives you a... It gives us an... A, I was about to say an applause. It gives us an applause right there. Alright, you know, we got it now. You know, I, I, I just... Uh, no, please. <laughs> I, like really, this would be much more enjoyable. Like if it wasn't just one character, like, and he does the same finishing move like every fucking time. It's like, come on. Like the only cool thing that we seen was him getting beat. <laughs> and throwing and, over on yeah. the spikes. Aww. Well, not thrown, but but uppercutted. Uh, I requested you to use Raiden, so but yeah, I mean, I guess it would have been cool if we just switch it up or whatever, but. Like, this would hey, just be hey, to, like, oh, this is on YouTube, okay, yeah, I'll just watch this real quick, alright, but, I don't know, we just gotta step up our commentary. Yeah, well, I mean, this game is awesome, though, so, I mean, I think it was hard for him to find two players to record this, but, like, I know with like low-budget reviews, like me and Venom and The Unknown and Angel, we did two-player action with Mortal Kombat 1 and 2. That was easier, but I guess Gen 2 had a hard time finding the second player. And, but yeah, and I was like, at the time I was watching Mortal Kombat Arcade on YouTube, and I was like, hey, Gen 2, I'll do the LP of Mortal Kombat. You think you can record it for me? Because I can't. He goes, yeah, and I requested you do a raiding. Hell, we should do this. Oh, God. Me and you. <laughs> oh, that would be a massacre. <laughs> I know, that's why we should do it. <laughs> Probably you kicking my ass. Oh, please, whatever. <laughs> Only because you'd let me win once. <laughs> no. You just wait until I got intoxicated. Like, yeah, what now, bitch? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, though, I mean... But Mortal Kombat spawned a lot of rip-offs back then, including survival arts and tattoo assassins. Oh, come on. <laughs> Jeez, I mean, I... Oh. Hey, you know, uh, did, you, did you see Red Spray? Uh, yes, I did. I, I saw part of the uh, video with all the finishing moves and stuff. Yeah, it was like, what, like 2200? Something like that? Like finishing moves? And, and uh... Uh, friendships or whatever else there is, uh, nud nudity was. Just <laughs> yeah, there were there were friendships, there were courtships, there were um, <laughs> court trials, there were damn chips. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was uh, uh, likes on Facebook. Man, it was all over. Oh, they did that back in like '94. <laughs> yeah. Honey, we should decorate our bedroom like that. Nope. <laughs> 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 Well, okay, but I'm gonna sleep on the couch. Yeah, no, this is J-Man and Purple fighting now. Sue gets to decorate the room however they want. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird, but like, did the thing it said, it, it it looks like it says so Sonya, just on her uh, energy bar. Oh, I thought it was too Oh, but it looks it like Sonya Sub wins. Too, so. Like what? Sub Zero. Okay, we're in Goro's lair. Oh, here we go. Here's the rematch. <laughs> no, I don't. No, not the bedroom. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna win. Actually, oh, well. <laughs> actually, I would have rather been uh, Sub Zero. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Alright, round three. Yeah, and we'll see.
Oh, don't get frozen. Ah, oh, you did! <laughs> no, Gen 2 did. Yeah, but you, you represent you represent Raiden though. <laughs> what the heck? Cool. I gonna freeze electricity. <laughs> uh, because it's He's like sub zero. Um, yeah, you can freeze why. anything. Oh yeah, that's why. <laughs> oh yeah, well how about a, a fighter called minus sub zero? <laughs> well, no. <laughs> All right, here we go. Give her time to get ready. Comes the bitch. <laughs> oh, oh, not this. Now we got more trolling. <laughs> no wonder this sat there for a fucking year. <laughs> right? What do you what do you have to say, woman? Well, I was a woman That's what I have to say. That was kinda hot. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 grab, the grab throw and that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Come on, he was see, already beat. Uh, so it's always hot when you get to see the butt. Yeah, like, like power. <laughs> it's always hot in Philadelphia. <laughs> well, you know, like, uh, <laughs> why well, I, I hope that <laughs> I hope that this time he actually, you know, beats her, but then like she doesn't die like like butt down, but like dies butt <laughs> up. So like, yeah. I can see her butt as she dies yeah, or whatever. Bottoms up. Yeah, bottoms up. Yes. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yep. No! <laughs> How could you do that to your girlfriend, J-Man? Well, I wouldn't have done that. Oh, shoot. I would have grabbed her butt. <laughs> Here's your favorite character. Well, yeah, he's awesome. Exactly. <laughs> right there. But really, like, that would be it. Like, if it was, you know... Like, if it, it wouldn't just take off a little bit of damage and of course be fair um <laughs> okay well there we go <laughs> yeah. but just really when he grabbed him was like pop 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 that would be it you got four fucking arms that would be it yep come here bitch <laughs> motherfucker fires fireballs stomps on you I was, yeah, he's pretty cool. I haven't seen his ass yet, but it's probably pretty awesome. He was undefeated for what, 2,000 years? He, he, yeah, he probably has four asses. <laughs> that's like, yeah, it's like eight butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> good, good thing I don't make videos anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mexico. No, no, I still will, but... Damn it. <laughs> yeah, anyways, Goro's awesome. What did you think about him in the movie? Awful. <laughs> wait. What? You weren't saying his face. Wait, wait, Goro or the movie? <laughs> Goro in the movie. The answer's gonna be the same. <laughs> no, well, okay, Goro or the movie... Goro in the movie, or Goro outside of the movie, or the movie itself. What? <laughs> They're all anyway, Brown awful. Too. They're all <laughs> awful. Awful. Now, the Mortal Kombat movie, the first movie wasn't that bad. No, uh, Liu Kang needed a fucking haircut. <laughs> well, look, Mortal Kombat 2 Annihilation was just terrible. Raiden well, and Shao Kahn are not brothers, first of all. They needed to annihilate the, uh, well, the whole franchise. They should have annihilated the script, because that movie should have never been released. I think that was non-canon. Well, it, it, it wasn't Terminator 3, I'll tell you that. <laughs> should have terminated that freaking script. 
Well, you know what? Uh, Goro is still kicking ass. Just backhanded Raiden right there. I'm gonna say Raiden. Keep thinking Raiden, Raiden. <laughs> well, Raiden, Raiden, whatever. Deaden. Remember, I used to call Raiden Fatal Fury, Raiden. Yeah, well, Goro wins. Yeah. Spell, spell yeah. the same. See right here, that's like it says Raiden, because Raiden is supposed to be R A Y D E N, I think. And then you gotta fight him again. <laughs> and Raiden's like a fighter jet or something in real life. I'm not fighting him, I am him. <laughs> Jenny Ow. versus Gentu. Okay. Why don't you have to make this uh, video where you got troll and fight, use cheap tactics and stuff? And uh oh. Finally. All right, and so the final boss of the game is Shane Su. He looks like he's floating, but well, he's a sorcerer, so I guess it makes sense. And that's the best thing that he can do is turn back into Goro. <laughs> yep. It's stupid oh. that he doesn't keep being Goro. <laughs> and that was stupid right there. He just grabbed you with Scorpion with this with the the spear, and then he didn't even uppercut. That was lame. The, the, the developers didn't figure that you would get past Goro. <laughs> <laughs> when when does he turn into Mortal Kombat? Or not? Damn it! When does he turn into <laughs> Killer? Shut up! When does he turn into Killer Instinct? <laughs> damn it! <laughs> When does this video turn into Killer Instinct? Come on. <laughs> We've already done that. This game sucks. Alright, here we go again. Oh, you got hit with the hot sauce. <laughs> no, no, what? Oh. Yeah. I want to say something while there's uh, silence here. Um, oh, jeez. <laughs> I, uh, like, during, like, pretty much every recording that we've ever done on the SSUK, <laughs> I watch them without sound, and, um, most of the times I would say I'm glad <laughs> that I don't, but like this. <laughs> wow, I'm really glad. <laughs> well, I mean, what you think it's worse than Green's Double Dragon Three? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Because like I can imagine just Raiden going doing the I did it did thing. <laughs> oh, okay. And actually, okay. Um, the green one, that's where I was trying the headset stuff. And so I actually did hear that. <laughs> yeah. So I can't I can't actually count that because like like I heard that while it was going on. But in conclusion, yes you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, let's see here. Uh, probably about eight more minutes of <laughs> Raiden getting his fucking ass kicked. Yeah, really. <sighs> Are we allowed to DVR? Um, <laughs> this, we could. This could be a monumental uh, S2K where we just skip to the fucking ending. <laughs> well, yeah, you can do that anyway. Just skip to the ending in the video. Yeah, but like we're commentating right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> We're not just watching a yeah. video on YouTube silently. <laughs> like, I mean, that's break. the difference because I know if, if you would have recorded this, you would have, you would have skipped. You would have used ECW mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, at least Gentry's doing it like a man. Uh, well, he's an old man now. <laughs> 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 Raiden wins. 
Who's that screamer? Is it him or the souls he possessed? <laughs> Probably both. I think it's the viewers. I think it's the viewers saying, hurry up! Well, get this that's video gonna over be in. That's going to be out of in. <laughs> <laughs> they were uh, predicting the future. Yeah, let's just rest your prayer ourselves. You don't know words to rest for this. That's why we're quiet. <laughs> well, it's like, I mean, like, there's nothing new happening. It's it's just the exact same thing over and over and over again. So it's like, what do you say? Well, see, maybe Gentry thought I would edit this out, but I didn't, so. <laughs> this is an awesome game, you know, and I like Raiden, I, you know. <laughs> I, I think he had a very good idea. <laughs> in that. Yeah. You know. So this is your fault. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna be Gene, Gene Snitsky and deny it. I will say it was my fault. Well, get over here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, okay, I, I don't, I don't know who does like the uh, the the Ron Mower thing where he does the the lawnmower thing at the beginning of his videos, but could you, like, if you're listening to this, could you put in a part where Ronnie just gets his fucking ass kicked? <laughs> gets run over by the lawnmower? <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> what, what, was the, what would it be called, the mow down? <laughs> sure. <laughs> And, that, and, and then, like, put that in, like, right <laughs> after the end of this. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, that, that needs to happen. Like, that needs to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I would do that, but, like, by the time I wake up tomorrow, I won't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Fire oh, finally. <laughs> like, Shang's son was like, finally! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He just let, yeah. he let him win. He right. was like, you know what? Like, I give up. <laughs> this is getting boring. I got other shit to do. Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> Hey, hey, Wait, you're coming like, bored with the Mortal Kombat, Kombat competition. <laughs> look, it's right there. <laughs> yeah. Mark McFoley, have a nice day. Uh, well, I'll, I'll have a great day after <laughs> this uh, 20 minute getting ass kicked by Goro and Shang Tsung. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was awful. I had something much better to say, but uh, stupid Pamela, Ronnie's Pamela, sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are they all posing next to each other? So this Aye. is all scripted. It's just like wrestling. Oh, you she see, she Sub Zero in yes, the Yes, she jumped in, punched him right in the fucking nuts, and what did a hell? cheerleader. <laughs> Goro! See? They let him have his own fucking screen right there. Well, who was it that acted as Goro? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, let's just let's discuss. Ronnie, what do you think? Yeah, um... Well, first of all, I like the stage right here. Pretty ECW stage. Too bad there's no uh, stuff flying in the background. No reindeer or whatever, like the Genesis version. But anyway... Mortal Kombat, the arcade. Never got to play it when I was a kid. I mainly played the Genesis and a little bit of the sucky SNES version. But, um, but the Mortal Kombat arcade, though, freaking ECW. I mean, back then, major hype. Uh, the big debate between Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. And kids everywhere were debating over which series is better. I mean, Midway did an excellent job of Mortal Kombat. And I mentioned this earlier at the beginning. A lot of people said, well... It was meant to be an accident, but it turned out to be popular than it was, and Mortal Kombat became awesome. And for its time, though, real innovative. I mean, you know, what other fighting game at the time really had, like, finishing moves and the blood and gore that Mortal Kombat had? 
So, I mean, Mortal Kombat 4, it's time, though. Very epic. Um, even though I was a Street Fighter fanboy back then, I still liked Mortal Kombat. I remember the night I finally bought it um, for the Genesis. The very first time I ever played Mortal Kombat, though, for the Genesis was... Uh, it was on a night where we were about to have a tornado here where I lived at, but it didn't happen. And I rented it that night, but I was very disappointed because I, ha I was having no fun with Mortal Kombat because I didn't know any finishing moves or anything, so I thought it sucked. I thought it was boring, and I was like, man, this game sucks, so I took it back to the rental store. And then I found like a magazine with finishing moves and stuff, and I said, well, now that I know what to do, maybe I should give it another chance. So I did. And I bought it, and I played it all night, did all, all the finishing moves, and, and then I found out the, the Dullard code down up, left, left, A, right, down, and, and then the blood code. And, I mean, it was epic then. Uh, now, it was awesome. And so, my main memories about Mortal Kombat is really the Genesis version, but, uh, but Mortal Kombat in the arcade, I mean, it's what, you know, I mean, it, it came out in 92, and then... Heck, everybody had to have it in 93, I think, when it came out, on September 93, for the consoles. And so, yeah, I mean, all the characters, it's just very epic for its time. The finish, it was really all about finishing moves and blood and gore. It wasn't really all about the fighting, because, I mean, Street Fighter really, technically, in my opinion, is a much better fighting game. There's more strategic elements to it than Mortal Kombat. And, of course, you got Scorpions, get over here, and, and uh, just... So much cool stuff in Mortal Kombat, so it was definitely an arcade hit, to say the least. Uh, so Mortal Kombat for the arcade, I'd have to give it an 8.5 out of 10. J-Man? Cool, cool. Um, I'm, I'm not really a fan of, of Mortal Kombat, but I cannot deny the power that it brought when it first came out. I remember being in the arcades, in seeing this game come out. Oh, and by the way, on the actual arcade machine, on the sides of it, it had the finishing moves for each character. Yes. Huh. Yes. I never knew that. Yes, absolutely. Um, and I just watch, I used to watch other people play each other, and that's when I noticed, like, the, you know, like, the, the, the uppercut. You can't just do an uppercut, like, on the arcade game, and send them down, you know, to, to hit spikes. You have to, like, input, like, a different kind of uh, button pressing. Yeah, whatever. You got it. Command. Yeah, there we go. Um, to send them down to the spikes. You can't just do the upcrap. Right, anyways. Um, you know, I can't base my uh, dislike on Mortal Kombat just because Nintendo... And Rare came out with Killer Instinct and smashed the shit out of Mortal Kombat, in my opinion. That's not the opinion of a lot of other people, and I respect that. But I cannot, I, 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 you know, I, I can't say that it was a, a bad game. Eh. I'll give it an 8. Now, I was going to say about the pit, though. I always thought that was kind of lame. Like, input a code... Just to uppercut them to the pit. I mean, really? I think, just do a uh, simple uppercut. I think that's great. No, well, why? Why make something harder than it has to be? I mean, just do an uppercut, and then boom, you're in the spikes. Why do a some sort of code? I can understand a finisher move as a code, yeah, but yeah, just okay, knock but them in the spikes. We're, we're, but we're talking about the arcade. You know, like, I'm, like if you only talk about uh, Mortal Kombat when it got ported to the consoles, well... No. <laughs> um, well, okay. If it if it if we're talking about then when it went to the consoles, yeah, I think that it should have been just that because well, you got a you got crappy ports. They were awful. Um, but in the arcade, I agree with that. I think that it should have been, and it was <laughs> it's a form of censorship. No, it's not a form of the I think the, it the, is. the the ones that went went to. <laughs> The SNES and Genesis, those were a form of censorship. <laughs> you had to enter in a code to get blood. <laughs> yeah. no, it's not a form of censorship. It's just you want a real on it in the arcade. You got to put in a code to be able to be like, pa, uh, yeah. 
I guess because of the Central the Lieberman competition. or whoever. You know, when the when the when the Mortal Kombat machines, like when they first went out in the arcade, and when I seen them, it was people were like lined up. They put their quarters up, like you was talking about Street Fighter Two. You put your quarter up. Who's next? Who's next? Yeah. And it was just like that, but it was like, bam! If you really like, it was your turn to go come up, and oh, it's that it's that level. There was actually two of them. And then you got, not only did you get served, but damn, you got knocked off. And, uh, get out of here. <laughs> yeah. All right. Purple? Um. Well, you know, like Jamin said earlier, I'm a fan girl. Except for the movies. But anyway. Um, no, I actually never got to play it on the arcade because the boys would never let me play it. There was always somebody there, and yeah, all I could do was freaking watch, but it was still fun to watch, because they'd pull the shit out of each other, and it was hilarious. But um, yeah, I actually you know, I enjoy watching other people play it more than playing it myself, because I suck at it, and I'm a button masher. Um, so yeah, but yeah, um, I'm going to give it an 8.5. I want to add... Observation. <laughs> Sorry for cutting you off there. Um, I want to add something else to this, and this is a big reason why I don't like Mortal Kombat, is because you can really stand there, and you can go, <laughs> I wish this was a video podcast so I could like, show what I'm doing, but you could yeah. mash a certain button, and you could sit there and punch, 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 and you could get away with that. And it was very cheap, and and it it works sometimes, and I think that's crap. Yeah. Like I know you can sweep, and you know, uh, like Street Fighter Two, and uh, you know, Killer Instinct kind of dates back to to more like Street Fighter Two. I know that. Yes. Um. But yeah, there's just some really like cheap ass shit where I don't know what to do, uh, and then you can win. Yeah. I just wanted to touch on that real quick. Yeah, I think that can happen with any game, though, any fighting game. People are always going to fight cheap, stay in the corner and do a crouching medium kick and all that crap, and, they yeah, had, it's they, kind of hard to get around that. It had crappy AI, AI but, like, head-to-head, -head, um, Mortal Kombat was very awesome. Yeah. All right, so that concludes this LP of Mortal Kombat, the arcade. Thanks to Jinchu for recording it. Finally, a year later, we get it done. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so... That is it. We're out of here. I'm Ron Moore. Uh, I'm the J-Man. And this is Purple. Fatality. <laughs> In about right, let's take care. <laughs> Technicality. Welcome to play. Let's play ba Backstanadu. Fazanadu. <laughs> I think it's Faz. Yeah, the yeah, Faz is up. Yeah. This is Ron Moore, along with Star Soldier, and for the first time in a while, Jeff from Strictly Sega America. Wow, I haven't been called that in so long. Oh, <laughs> the memory. Just, just the memory, folks. Yep. <laughs> and, and I haven't been called not... Star Soldier in a while. <laughs> what? They <laughs> call Ryan Juno. Yeah. Or Airzont World Champion. Yeah, whatever. But, uh... <laughs> Yeah, so this is not a Sega game or Air Zonk, but it's Fazanadu. It's uh, like a, I guess like an RPG, I think. Action RPG, and, yeah. Yeah. I think it's an underrated game. Uh, I did this, I did a long time no play of this in 2009. And so now we're, I'm doing it again here on the S2K. Yeah, the cool Wait. thing about this game is that... <laughs> yeah, is, is this it, Ghosts and Goblins, the RPG? I swear to God, that's the nice. <laughs> it does look like the main hero. Yeah, I'm a little, little perplexed there. Yeah, well, you play as Jeff right here, and... Oh, cool. I like <laughs> that already. Yeah. Alright, so this character has come back from a long journey, and he finds out his hometown is kind of in ruins, or something's not right here. Yeah, this is our precursor to the E series, or... Elisa E3, which is like a 2D side-scroller. Uh. 
Oh yeah, I've got the the third or the fourth one for the Genesis. It's pretty fun. Yeah. It's the only one I've ever played though. What's this guy's problem? What? Well, he he's a poorly drawn character. I mean, <laughs> yeah. There's, there's, there's probably some you know mental issues going on there. Yeah. So I'm supposed to see the king first, but I want to talk to everyone here. So Listen the to the people. Hey, thanks. Well, yeah. <laughs> thanks, Captain Obvious. Thank you, Skip <laughs> Rogers' mother. <laughs> Wasn't that John Lennon song or Power to the People or whatever? You know what? So. You know he's dead. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah. E e e Eolus. Okay. Hey, oh, that's a church. church. Yep. Come on, Nintendo. <laughs> I am the blinking. Oh the heck! <laughs> that guy looks like a blinking girl. guy. Holy! No, that guy looks like this girl on Little House in the Prairie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. he, he's Pope Blinky the Third. Yeah. He comes from the great line of blinking folks. And there's Mo. <laughs> Smoking a cigarette. Come on, Nintendo. Hey, Hama. That's the drawer shot already in town. <laughs> Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I have ECW mode. <laughs> that means you can't die. Yep, and I've never beaten this game, so... Dang it, I deserve ECW mode. <laughs> Whoa, that guy's Come pissed. On, it's Talk not the hardest game. Enough... Uh, to me it is, I've never, I mean, when I was a kid I played it, and then I played it a few years ago, and <laughs> I just sucked at this game. I didn't know martial arts was so easy to learn. I could just pay a guy gold coins and I automatically learn it. It's amazing. Yeah, I'll, I don't have any golds yet. <laughs> any golds. My last win is almost dry. You know, Alright, time to see the king. I love how they oh, King out. Star Soldier. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> Man, he also has a blinking problem. I love how they... No, he has a... He has a problem. He keeps looking... What's he looking up for? <laughs> Quick look. Quit looking at the lights. I love how they have He's... castle guards, but no one can kill the monsters right on the other side of the wall. Yeah. <laughs> He's looking at his crown. You're the <laughs> only playable <laughs> character in the game. Only you can do it. <laughs> Holy... Holy... Not, not, not my army of soldiers. Whoa, 1,500 gold? Not like the higher mission. Like... Heck yeah, 1,500 gold to start out with. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry Lawler. <laughs> you know that your gold can go up to hundreds of thousands? There mm -hmm. is nothing more I can do to help you. <laughs> I, I Get will, your cards to help me. <laughs> yeah. I will, ah! I'm going to take all my all just, your cards over. Alright, now I got some monies. <laughs> Time to go splurge. Woo, buy me some monies. <laughs> Forget the mission. <laughs> so, so why this guy from this guy from Golden Axe here wants to give me some uh, magic. Oh, the goblin from Golden Axe. Alright. Go on, buy some goblin. That's something wrong with me. Uh, Ramadano says, here, get some magic. Do you believe in magic? And it's not even <laughs> like, it, it's just magic. It's just some kind of magic. Not like Tier 3 or Fire 4. It's just magic. Yeah. What? <laughs> I'm the stereotypical blacksmith. Ugh. Yeah. He's a shame. What is he doing? What is he holding? What is he doing? <laughs> oh, that's free for free, Nintendo. <laughs> oh. Chris Hansen comes in. Why don't you take a seat right there? <laughs> <laughs> what was your plan here today? Oh, no plan. I just wanted to sell them some tools. And well, it looks like you're the only tool you're trying to sell. Is <laughs> His own tool. Oh, yeah. Uh, what a tool. <laughs> now, I don't mean the band. Of course you do. I have Moe. Hey, I'm Nick Nolte. I'm gonna sell keys. <laughs> <laughs> I have my keys. I need some money. 
Ah, just give me another 48 hours. <laughs> oh, okay. That would be funny if it said your key would be ready in 48 hours. <laughs> you see what they did there? <laughs> Oh god, Big Milky would do everything but make a key for you. Yeah. Alright, here's this weird guy. <laughs> this like he's trying not to laugh, like, Hey sir, you wanna buy something from me? Like, wait, wait, you bought dried meat and got magic power. <laughs> that makes no sense at all. Huh. Weird. Whoa. Now what? Arm. I don't know. Yo. Nice. There's a mark of Jack by the keyhole. Wait, wait, wait. You you can buy... You can buy random keys. It's like, I found these keys, you know. I've used key. <laughs> Why is Jack so lucky to get his own key? I don't know. I don't know. What a jackass. <laughs> exactly. That's probably what his name is. <laughs> Oh yeah, for sure. Alright, so now, I guess I'm, uh, outside next to the giant world tree. It's secret mana. <laughs> yeah. I wish, I wonder if money would grow on this tree. Oh, well, climb up these Mega Man ladders now. <laughs> it's a way, weird way to climb it. Yeah. Ah, kind of looks like yeah. Kind of looks like the. Did someone mention that earlier? Like, like the Ghost and Goblins character. Yeah. You know, you got a guy with a beard. Yeah. Well, he's got his own shop way up here in the tree. It's the same guy. Oh, well, that was a common place for old Nintendo games, though. So. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Dang, I can't afford none of that stuff. <laughs> you can't afford this stuff, fool. Yeah. You gotta admit, the music is pretty good, though, but I always thought it was cheap that they put enemies that are low to the ground, but you can't hit them. Like those stupid yeah. spikies. Everything Mario. out of the game is still pretty good. Mario yeah, you, can't, like, you, can't, you can't duck and hit in this game. It sucks. Maybe you get a weapon later on when you can do that. Or at least have a shield to guard from her. There you go. I mean, it's kind of a blind run. I've never beaten this game, but... I got kind of far when I was a kid. That's all I can remember. I can see why you didn't beat this game. I will okay, same man. I want to buy some keys. <laughs> Sleep with one eye open. Yeah. <laughs> you can buy the six Singapore cane from him. <laughs> What the heck? Oh, if you had the matlock, oh, you mat don't lock. have it. <laughs> you the matlock. Tell me where it is. You gotta beat Ben Matlock. <laughs> you, you gotta, you gotta fight a crusty old lawyer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who, Andy Griffith? Yes. Yeah. Rest in peace. Dang it! Too late. Too late. All right, another church. You know that guy looks like a lady. Like, yeah. Before you go up to him, I thought it was like the princess or something. But like, oh, yeah. Prince. So that is yep. the uh, mantra or the password, I guess. <laughs> but I'll oh. need that when I got save states. Password <laughs> system. Save games. That was crazy. It's the hospital? We're sorry. You don't have Obamacare. Please leave. <laughs> Why haven't you signed up for your health care? I'm Canadian. <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> you lucky bad. Everything's free. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Pete Rose. I'll help you out. Or Fat Hitler. I should be in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> yep. Just come in as Kane and choke slam. Then <laughs> you can take all the medicine you want. <laughs> it's the same place. What? Carry eight items. They same are Same old lady, same guy crossing his leg. Eight items or eight eyes? Ah! It's like, hey lady, I know how many items I can carry, okay? Don't really need you to tell me. I'm not stupid. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Back to the good stuff. Yeah. 
these things hopping around, man. And when I see the picture of them in the magazine, I thought they were coming out of the wall, like trying to grab you. <laughs> Just the way it looked in the picture, and then I play the game. Oh, they hop after you. Ah. There's the ECW spinies from Mario Brothers. <laughs> the song right here. Yeah. There's hey. one part of the song where my friend goes, it sounds like it's saying, I'm a little teapot. Do -do 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 -do. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I need a key for that, so I hope I find that in part two of Fazanadu. Until then, God bless. Take care. Yeah, Fazanadu. Wasn't that based on Olivia Newton and John movie? I think that I was just no Xanadu. <laughs> okay. And I can't believe I know that. Because I've never <laughs> seen a Love and Newton John movie. Well, except for yeah. Chris, but anyway. Yeah. Alright. See you guys later. Bye. Take care. Welcome to Let's Play Fazanadu or Fazanadu Part 2. This is Ron Moore along with Gen 2. Fazanadu! Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I think it is Faz Xanadu at least, and not Fax Xanadu. Yeah, probably. Have you played this game before? I had the cartridge, but I sold it. Uh. Yeah, so... And if you don't know, I'm using an ECW mode. Yeah, I just... I can guess already. <laughs> yeah. You kind of missed jump. It. These things right here are... Well, no, I'm trying to hit it first before I can jump on there. I got this weak dagger right now. That's all I have right now. Whoa, what the heck is that? A dead baby? Love for bread or something. <laughs> what the heck is that? I don't know. A deranged Chicago Bulls fan. <laughs> yeah. Just poke it to death. Yeah. Oh, sweet money for lottery. Lols. Seriously, that thing is freaking... <laughs> I think it's, uh... Like a minotaur thingy. Lucifer, I don't know. <laughs> Lucifer. Lucifer? I fell. No, I think that was perfect. I love bread again. Well, I got ECW mode, so that covers energy. <laughs> it like a gummy worm or something. Yeah. Now you got the jumping frogs of death. Yeah. Hmm. They're like freaking deformed Zoras. That's what I want to guess. Yeah. And purple watching this. Aww, they look like little frogs. But they're not battle toads. Yeah. Boss. Whoa. This is a, a wyvern or something. Yeah, I guess it it keeps doing the DX chop, uh, DX, the DX, uh, chop, what's it called, cross chop? Yeah. Honed. Yeah, fuck crap. The heck is that? I'm holding Matlock. <laughs> oh, nice. You're holding Andy Griffith. Yeah. Alright, and the Matlock. What? Oh. Is used to break this wall. I've used Maddox. Yeah. At least I got the English right, I think. Yeah. These things are annoying. I'm glad I'm invincible because those things are hard to deal with. You're invincible! Then suddenly, like, yeah. something from GoldenEye happens. Yeah, Boris mode. Yeah. What the heck is that up there? I want to guess I'll some uh a deranged something yeah whoa I can't flying um Zelda witches that fly over the graveyard in the length of the past I want to say race or ghost yeah it's just a creepy thing <laughs> look like he could be a monster from the Goonies <laughs> hey, look. hey it's the power glove no, it's the master hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell us to stay on topic. Yep. Alright, what the? Whoa. Spawn fantasy enemies? Oh. I didn't think Ewoks would be in this game. Yeah. That's bear in the skies. <laughs> because it's 
it's so cold up there. Yeah. I can't tell if we're like in a giant tree or something. Yeah, we're in the world tree, I guess, is where this game takes place at. Uh, fire. I gotta get a new weapon. This thing sucks. <laughs> Buy one. Alright, I'm in the town of Four Paul. Okay. I don't need anything in here. Well, Look at the sky. Everything's all pixelated. No, that's not. I don't think that's my emulator or ROM. I think that's actually an actual game. Hello, I sell tools. What do you like? Dang it. Alright. I think it's pretty cool you can sell in this game. Lots of stuff. Yeah. Surprised you don't use ECW mode for gold. Yeah, but I want to at least have some sort of make it. Uh, yeah, that's some sort of challenge, I guess, where I can have at least. If I'm gonna be invincible, at least I can earn the money instead of just. <laughs> yeah. Already, already happened. It. Even though in the beginning of the game, the king gave me gave me some money. <laughs> All right. I hope you met Got a big long sword now. I hope you met a map. No, I didn't. I, I, I was trying to stab him to talk to him. Reminds me of one of the Zelda games for the CDI. Oh god. That's some that's one console I can record. Yeah. That's a good thing. Alright, now I've been promoted to Aspirant. That creepy look he's giving me. He's like I can't believe it. Dear LP in our game. Yeah. This music makes me sound like I have to hurry, hurry up and answer a trivia question before it's too late. Welcome to Jeopardy. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. The sky opens above. The sky people. Reminds me of uh, a uh, Twilight Princess. You need them Nikes. Yeah. You need the Air Jordans to make it to the sky. Wait a minute. I want to get a key from Nick Nolte here, or the Sandman. We got a Jason relaxation there. <laughs> no, he <laughs> ain't <Wayne> lost weight. <laughs> That's J-Man when he's like 45. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be pissed. He is, he's probably is pissed already because the Colts lost. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, dang it, what's this ninja guiding now? We got eagles, or this time, this time we got like witches flying around. Almost gonna knock me off the edge here. And this kinda looks like that ninja, one ninja guiding stage almost. Yeah, like 5 dash or 6 dash 1 or something. Yeah, ah! Man, I hate the platformer controls in this game, so I'm gonna cut through that crap. Ah! Ooh, that's a jump! Jump, jump, jump up. <laughs> what the heck is this? That's that fountain that lady was talking about, probably? Yeah, I think it is. This music. Lots of music. Do -do 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 -do. Little teapot. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> Dang it! Oh, what, what the heck? What a glitch. How's he? Huh. Lols. Ah! Quick cut it through it. <laughs> Quick cut to fail. <laughs> oh, I thought, well, at least I'm not dead, even though I should be. It's not like those schemes where you just fall and die. The Joker. Oh, I see oh man. I need a J key, so let's go back here. Hey, what's going on out there? Uh, sell keys? Uh, which one would you like? This one costs 460, like, 4641 yeah. dollars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's go back down here. Ah, dang it. Took the wrong path. Yeah. Well, they just did the Joker door. Yeah. So, uh, the part where I broke through to here with the Matic is the part I've ever gotten in this game. Oh, dang. You got further than me. Yeah. Sad. Come on, we we'll get to the dough. Ah, oh, come on! Still don't work for that? That quick. More crap. 
forget it. Let's go back here. I might as well buy this since I have the money to do it. <laughs> Armor. I don't know what key to get now. Dang it. Well, it's time to look up game facts. Yeah, but first I'm gonna go up here again, try to actually make it to where I was trying to make it to up here earlier. Maybe that um, I have the right key up here. I have the right key uh, for the door up here. Not again. All right. Hopefully this works. Mark of jackass on Jack. Huh? Ah, I know that. Don't tell me I don't have it. Oh, good. Wait, didn't you? Yes. Wait, didn't you just have a? Ah! What? Didn't you just have a Q key that it turned into a J? I guess I know what the heck happened there, and that was not a quick cut. So I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, well, I found out in part three where I'm about to get pwned by the evil frog people. Until then, God bless and take care. Later. Welcome to part three of Let's Play. I want to send a fax to somebody. I, I fail. Uh, Fazanadu. This is Ron Moore along with Gentoo. Woo! Alright, and I am somewhere. It's been a while since I've done this and I forgot what I was doing, so yeah. We're doing a live commentary on the birthday. Yeah, that's right, happy birthday, Gentoo. Oh, yeah, thanks. What'd you get me? Um. This LP. <laughs> hey, you sent me an iPhone with Flappy Bird. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> with Flappy Bird? Oh, Flappy. Oh. Flappy Bird. Alright, so now I look cool with my shiny armor. I'm this game's knight in shining armor, and now I got a sword this time instead of that freaking knife. You forgot your pants! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oops. Well, this is a. Uh, this, this game wants to be like Codename Viper. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on full fire! Dang, I can't. Uh, these uh, spawnies from Mario Kart 64 right here are getting my nerves. And we collect the gummy worms again. Yeah, whatever those things are, the golden turds. You missed your jump again. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired. These platform controls suck. Whoa, what a quick cut. Yeah, and I messed up right here. Actually, they cut the energy bar and, and all that stuff on the top of the screen. <laughs> well, <laughs> good job. I'm trying to get Red Shoe Prey. Well, we're kind of doing it right now. Yeah, Red Shoe Prey ourselves. I wonder if Red Shoe Prey will Red Shoe Prey themselves. They will. Alright, so let's see if I can actually get further in this game. You missed the jump again. Man, oh, I think it's that ceiling blocking me. Like, what the heck do I gotta do? Have the magical Nikes or something? I guess. The Air Jordan. So I'm guessing this whole video is gonna be you just missing that jump. Yep. You guessed it. Yeah, that thing's blocking you. What? Really? Man. Yeah, I just uh, I think I gotta go get the uh, Air Jordan. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Yeah. Looks like the look like an emo version of the frog from Chrome Trigger. Man, I wish I knew the stats. <laughs> yeah. All right, now for this happy music again. We're in brownie land because everything looks like brownies. Yeah. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, this is like a much better version of Eight Eyes. <laughs> Don't like corn shack here, you say that? Yeah. Give me fun of Eight Eyes, man. It's, it's a great game. Yeah, kill a boss and let's get a cup of tea with the boss. Dude, shut up, I wanna hear this music. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, dude, the music's like rad. Don't pull a wee guy on us. Yeah. Alright, now talk to, uh, the, that fake George Costanza again. Oh, yeah, the Nikes. Yes. And 
and he's taking the money from me. You can't see it because I gets cut off at the top of the screen. Probably the best thing ever. Yeah. Now what's up? Actually, it doesn't look too bad without the status menu. Because you can think of it like a movie or something. Yeah. Actually, I want to go back down here and try some. Well, thanks for making it easier for me. Let's start something here. We'll go back. It's a city. Yeah. City of Compton. Dun, 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 in the city. <laughs> city of ECW. Just kill everything. Yeah. I want to play as Master Hand. <laughs> Are you going to try to get the glove? Yeah. That just didn't work. There you go. There we go. Alright, as I drink some Red Bull. Here we go. The glove increases offensive power. Like, is it offensive? You can use the middle finger to defend people? <laughs> mm, pretty much. Wait, didn't you have a long sword? Yeah, that's it. Uh, now I got the shield. It's just that you had a dagger. Yeah, there's a dagger. I'm using the sword now. Oh, there he goes. I got Dracula's ring. Pretty fun. Uh, well. What? <laughs> Sucks what real. The so what was I using the power glove? It don't last long. Yours was defective. That sucks. All right, that's used. There, Jordan. What's up here? Ah, oh, nothing. Be funny if you lose your uh, Air Jordans when you're trying to climb up. That suck. There they go. Oh no. Oh wait a minute. So they're limited? Yeah. That sucks. I didn't get what I paid for. I paid twenty eight hundred dollars for shoes only last thirty seconds. <laughs> well, let's cut the crap and get to this part right here. Oh hi, status bar. We missed you last cut. Yeah. Now we can actually see how much time I got. I got thirty seven seconds. Ah! Holding Kool-Aid. Oh, got the potion and the motion. He's flying. Man. Yeah. Stupid mage from Final Fantasy or whatever the heck that is. Little teapot. Ah! Stop it, bear. <laughs> oh, come on, I got six. Oh, yes. There's Zeus. Moses. Santa Claus! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he feel asleep. Oops. Who's he, the guy from To Get Your Predator that got caught twice? I don't know who that was. <laughs> like, you're Michael, right? Oops. What happened again? Sorry. Oh, wow, well, Tom. So I just fall down. <laughs> so the first uh, well of life, or whatever, is springing. So I got to find two more, I think. You beat this game, you tell me. I didn't beat this. I thought you beat every game ever. What? <laughs> Trollo laws. Right, J-Man. Hey, sell keys. Uh, you want some, huh? It's better than my job, last job, Pizza Hut. Yeah. Thank you, and please subscribe. No. <laughs> Just 
poked everything to death with the sword. Yeah. Okay, and... Oh, I thought that was it! Mark, that's a fail. Joker. Didn't that's you try that... Didn't you try that last part? I probably did. Mark of Joker. Mark of Jackass. <laughs> Need Steve-O or someone here to help open the door. <laughs> and probably like crap out a key. Steve Austin would say something like that in the promo. I don't know about the key of Joker, but I see a key of Jackass. <laughs> oh god, I get, get, get the Jackass key now. Oh, that's the key of J Man. Yeah. <laughs> or the key of Jason Relaxation. Uh, yeah. Uh, give it a 10 out of 100. Yeah. He actually messaged me on Facebook recently. Really? About Dino Crisis. Huh. Oops, I spoiled it. <laughs> next, ST next ST2K LP after Oni Musha. Dino Crisis. Oops. Oops, all berries. <laughs> Oops, that's right. He did it again. You're a Jitsu, right? Oops, sorry. I won't spoil anything again. <laughs> what was your plan here today? Can't you have a seat over there? Keep hands out of your pockets, please. But how else am I gonna put my keys? Don't you have other keys? Don't you have spare keys? No, oh, just as Jakey, because I thought it was for Joker, not Jackass. <laughs> well, crap, I can't go back because I don't have the matlock anymore to break that. Yeah. I wasn't a... I'm trying to uh, use a... You don't have Andy Griffith to help you there. I'm trying to see if I can... where I get the key at. I'm about to go all the way back to get the Joker key from one of the shop owners from back there, but I guess not. And yeah, so... This definitely is a blind run. I mean, I've never beaten this game. Wait, you're blind? Yeah. How does a blind person play video games? Now, how's a deaf person hear music? Wait. Helen Keller was the best drummer for Metallica. Yeah. Oh, this part sucks. Jeez, come on, get further or something. <laughs> Three parts later, we're still stuck in the same fucking area. Yeah. Hey, look, the gloss. Happened me in Super Metroid, my my Super Metroid LP on my Ron Moore channel. I got stuck in uh, Meridia for like three parts, I think. Just imagine if it was like, if you were playing Twilight Princess or any other Water Temple game, where you have a Water Temple or something like that. Yeah. Got, got like 500 parts. Jeez. Well, that part in Ocarina of Time on my LP, it originally was a lot longer. I did a lot of cutting. <laughs> I can't, they got us like an idiot. Dang it, what do I do this for? I don't need that. <laughs> Dumbass! This ain't Legend of Zelda where you can just shoot beams out of your sword. Yeah. Bear's not here. I'll shoot a bean on my sword. Oh. <laughs> Play some sword quest. Oh. I think I already talked to this person about this, have I? I don't remember. You already got that one. The fountain up in the sky. Yeah, I got that one, so... The other two fountains. I'm trying to figure out how to do that. Five years later, we're still stuck on the same part. Yeah. Oh, some thumbs down the video. Uh, oops. It was J-Man. Nope, that was me. Oh, lol. <laughs> thumbs down your birthday video? Sure, why not? I got another thumbs down for missing that jump. Seriously, you got like on the very absolute edge 
the last pixel of your foot and on the very edge to make it some of these jumps. It's ridiculous. This is just in. We I just met a video of us of him flagging that or we got flagged the video and put it on his Twitter or whatever. Yeah. Don't subscribe to these guys, they're idiots. All of them on that channel. Wait. I stole Ginger's LPs. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, no, but really, I told him to go do it. Yeah. Alright, so maybe, hopefully... Oh, hey. well, alright. Hey, we're in the same place from the beginning of the video. Sweet, we made progress. Yeah. <laughs> There's a different potion up there. Could use the wing boots to get up there. Yeah. That jump. Yeah, that jump though. Wasn't there doors? Wait, where? Didn't I just see doors in that previous screen? I don't remember. Hmm. Those are my doors. Oh yeah, you can't go in those. Uh, hey, you made the jump, holy shit. Oh. Yeah, now what, why couldn't I do that before? See, what the heck? You made the jump. Oh my god. Yeah. And hopefully I'll make the jump again, or whatever jump there will be, in part four. So then, God bless. Take care. See ya. Welcome to Fazanadu for the NES part four. Ron Moore, I'm always Star Soldier. Oh yeah, how's everybody doing out there? Alright, and... Oh, I remember this boss. Yeah. Gotta love that creepy music. Yeah. He keeps doing the DX chop. <laughs> I got two words for ya! Or one, Fazanadu, whatever Fazanadu is supposed to mean. <laughs> Whoa. I oh. still keep on thinking that it's supposed to rip off that movie fan Xanadu. Or Xanadu. I know there's a movie called Xanadu. Yeah. Yeah, with Olivia Newton John or something. Oh. Nobody remembers it, but I think some Japanese programmers remembered it and decided, hey, why don't we copy that? Yeah. And. Okay, we can't make a sequel now because Olivia Newton John is gonna sue us. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, not the bees, giant. not the bees. Yeah. I touched poison. Oh dang it. <laughs> oh, hey, touch the poison. You mode. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot, Alice Cooper. Aren't you still on ECW mode anyways? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now I got to get the, um, I guess the Joker key. I don't know what I'm doing here. There's all these keys you gotta get from certain doors. Joker key, Jack key, Jackass key, whatever else you need. John key, Jake key. Yeah. Austin, Stone Cold, Steve Austin say that. First I got the Joker key. Now all I need next is the Jackass key. <laughs> Alright, does this work? Oh wait. Oh, I got the Mark has Joker key. Why does yeah. I always have to start with J? I don't know. What do you, ask J. What do you say, J? Here's <laughs> J's post letter in the alphabet. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so this key works. Or J, and, man. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've been in here. I don't remember. That's the same boss. Here we go. No, yeah, but I mean, like, uh. I've been here. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I haven't been in here. As we meet Moses again. Are you supposed to be in the Bible game? Yeah, pretty much. I give you the ring of death. Oh, the red ring of death. The ring of ruby. Uh oh. Hopefully not, not the ruby from uh, Uninvited. You're the chosen warrior, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Alright, so I think that's, that's the second fountain. That I unlocked or whatever. I think there's one more fountain. It seems kind of eventful. 
uneventful, you know, just going around places and making a fountain splash water. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Then like killing the sick or I don't know, saving the world. Hey, we get to make a fountain work. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't look like the fountain does anything either. Yeah. The old guy's happy, well, but that's about it. Guess we'll find out once I find the third fountain. Yeah, back then, uh, Sonic, the the company, the, the the burger place Sonic did the drop-in did a, a promotion of this about find all three fountains in Thazanadu for the NES or get a free fountain drink. Really? No, 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 not really. <laughs> I was thinking, aren't they owned by Sega? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm talking about the Sonic Drive. I don't think you'll have it in Canada. Oh, uh, wait, we do. Okay, Sonic Drive-In. It was a joke. <laughs> they have fountain drinks or whatever they call them at Sonic. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they always have to find all three fountains in the find all three fountains in the game. You get a, a, a free fountain drink at Sonic. <laughs> they always had the two guys, you know, banter on, saying, "Well, yeah, I think that, that Santa Do is a good game. Well, I think it's a great game. Good, great." <laughs> yeah. No <laughs> I cheat on, on your game, wife. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like that. Hey, here we got the poor <laughs> shop owner what? with the cigarette. Yeah. And he's freaking flying mages from Final Fantasy. Yeah, it's odd that this is, you know, uh, more like a strategy, you know, <laughs> I mean more like an action RPG and it's still not your back every time you get hit. Yeah. yeah. Most like hey, hey, the, the platform the pl platform controls in this game suck. <laughs> yeah, you do have to get the right momentum to make your jumps. There that we thing go. takes a lot to get used to. Mark of Jackass by the key. <laughs> I've used key. <laughs> Thanks for telling us that. <laughs> Alright. I open door. Yeah, finally a new place I haven't been to yet in the game. I use item. Yeah. <laughs> I use my sword on the enemy. I yeah. walk two steps. Yeah. That would suck if it was like that. <laughs> How about I've quit game? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, at least you can kill him here. Yeah, I guess you're a loaf of bread. Remember earlier in the game, they were tough to kill with, you know, your earlier types of weapons. Yeah. Oh, yes, made that, made the first time right there. This upbeat music here. I always like the music in this games, or in this type of games. I think it was originally Falcom who did it. You know, they're I'm always sure known that. for doing awesome music. Here I sound like the Wii guy. <laughs> well, the music was done by a famous composer here all those years ago, and all this nerdy bullshit that I happen to know. <laughs> no offense, yeah, this, guy. Yeah, this, this is done by, this is done by uh, Nyoko Kudoka in 1982. Um, composed uh, with uh, Naoki Folin in '95, and <laughs> there's Moses again. Oh, he no. looks the same as the other one. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like no. they had limited memory back then. Yeah, so well, this is not Moses then. This is Aaron <laughs> or Noah. All right, so I believe <laughs> uh, I think it's four old guy with staff. Yeah. <laughs> ah, dang it. So I gotta get the elixir. Well, what the heck is that at? I guess I gotta, go, gotta go back to one of those freaking stores. Oh, wait. What's it over there on the left? Maybe that's the elixir. Or maybe that's it. Hopefully that's it. If so, it's pretty easy to get. Yeah. I am free, I am free from, from injury because of the ointment. Oh, it's just an ointment. 
That's lame. I've used ECW mode. <laughs> yeah, you should just tell the Noah guy, hey, I bet ECW mode, do you want some? Yeah. <laughs> Now you go to a shop, and you see Paul Heyman, he sells you ECW mode. <laughs> I probably already sold it to Vince. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then he ruined it. Yeah. Now the new ECW mode is not as good as it used to be. Yeah, really. Oh, that way, man, you know, it's no longer working. <laughs> that sucks, dude. So where's this Litzer? I'm trying to remember this game again. It's been a while. I think it's that, that, that uh, container I saw earlier at first. Yep. Go down and get that. Po or wait, is that poison? poison. Yeah, po Whoa, well, now we're fighting <laughs> an E.T. snake. Do, 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 do. Oh wait, yeah. it's easy. <laughs> Speaking of E.T., when is the ABGM movie finally coming out? I think 2017. If we're lucky. Whoa! What kind of a boss is this? <laughs> That's weird. Well, I don't think I can hit him from here. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Ah. Uh -huh. Well, first, let me kill this douche. Ah, uh, what? The rock is still hitting me! <laughs> Forget this! I'm holding a lidster. Yes. Right. Get that guy. <laughs> oh, that's a scary looking snake. Big hit. <laughs> now it looks like a combination of a snake and one of the aliens from it. Alien, the alien movies. Yeah, Xenomorph. Mm, that's Xenomorph, your princess? <laughs> John Cena morph. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's a good talker, but not good at wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think he's better than <laughs> Batista in some ways. I don't know. I think a piece of crap on the ground is better than, than Batista. <laughs> Are they saying Boo or Batista? <laughs> I think they're definitely saying Bautista. Yeah. <laughs> and then you get one old man in the audience saying, I was saying Bautista. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Bautista, Bautista. <laughs> the audience is probably booing us right now. Boo, you should have made that jump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember, uh... Please like and subscribe. Dan yeah, I remember back then I used to think, Sabu, Sabu. <laughs> I was saying boo or Sabu. <laughs> I was saying Sabu. <laughs> They're probably okay, booing him each time he doesn't break a table. Which yeah, happens Jay a lot. Like, Jay was saying, I was saying Sabu. Right, come on, Noah. Okay, here's your stupid litzer. Yeah. Ah, oh, dang it. You've done well to get here. Uh, this is the spring of truth. You need the Litzer to uh, uh, the spring. Yes. I got selected. Oh, now we gotta give him medicine? Oh, crap. Oh, wait, there it is, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we'll have to do that in part five so until then god bless take care all right thanks for watching we know what the bats are or fat santa do and welcome to part five of let's play fat santa do for the nes this is ron moore along with star soldier and gentoo oh yeah. yeah it's good to be back yeah, Indeed. Man, it's been a while since, probably a month since I've done, since I've uploaded a part of this. <laughs> well, it's hard to get free time at all. Yeah. Especially when you have two jobs and then run your own 
business? Yeah, it's kind of rough. <laughs> I've just been lazy. <laughs> Same here, playing Diablo 3 Reaper Souls. Yeah. Yeah. I've been playing TurboGrafx and Nintendo 64, so I haven't had time for NES. Sorry. But yeah. at least this is a good game where Lee's soaking that today. Yeah, really. Alright, so I am making my way out of here. Finally making some real progress in this game. I think I forgot what I did in part four. It's been about a month. <laughs> we got some elixir and now yeah, we got some springs going. So we got yeah. water, yeah. Yeah, I did a quick cut right here because it took me forever to figure out what to do there. Just push it out of the way. Ah. Need the Q key or the queen key. One of the letters. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Whoa! Didn't we already do a Metroid LP on this channel? Yeah, we... It looks like an N64 game, really foggy. Yeah. Or it looks like the Xbox One's graphics. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome to a Let's Replay Metroid. I don't think it looks that bad, come on. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's like an Action 52 level right here or something. No, not really. <laughs> Looks like a real titan fail. Well, it's about time this game looked different. <laughs> it looks like it, since the first few parts of this LP, it just looked, everything kind of looked the same, but now it's really different. The music is different, too. All the purple stuff in the background looks like the, the, the pixels from Cliffhanger for NES. <laughs> hey, purple's in this game. Oh, wait. <laughs> Prince? <laughs> Does anybody remember Prince, or the artist formerly known as Prince? The Fresh <laughs> Prince? Yeah. Alright. So, uh, yeah, real eerie place here. What, what the heck happened here? I don't know, somebody smoking too much? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. RVD's level. Or they forgot to put the... Or they accidentally put purple Kool-Aid in the vaporizer. Yeah. Oh, so now. this it. So this is Metroid. It's a meteor hit. <laughs> and that's a space thing. I guess that's what happened. The meteor crashed to this town or something. Yeah. yeah. See. As long as it's not like Edder M, I'll be happy. Oh yeah. Oh man. I thought it said Eminem. Like what? Yeah. Eminem composing some video game music. Michael Jackson could do it. So can he. <laughs> he does the Call of Duty games. I think. Really? Yeah. Well, did you get a Zelda song? No, I don't know. <laughs> um, I can go anywhere I want. What are you gonna do about it? I have ECW mode. <laughs> oh, that's why you're not taking damage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Remember? I'm, yeah, I've been using ECW mode. Yeah, forget about that. <laughs> All right. Some more tools. He looks like a tool. <laughs> yeah. Blinky eyes. I wonder if he's from the band tool. Probably not, because we haven't seen their faces. <laughs> I saw him by oh, that right there. Thunder? Yes. <laughs> or WCW Thunder. Oh God. <laughs> Rest in peace, Lee Marshall. Oh yeah. I heard about that. Yeah, that sucked. He was great. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, I get the large shield now. What? So, I get the large shield, which means I get help from Rollins, uh, Reigns, and Ambrose. Believe in the large shield. Yeah. <laughs> large shield, OP. The boss of this game is Evolution. <laughs> this Sunday, right. Sunday, Sunday. They will fight. Yeah. Unless you're watching right. this later, then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get the WWE app with a WWE network. <laughs> Only $79.99. Alright, Nick Nolte. He's gonna sell us the network here. <laughs> we need a JT. I better get both keys, we're gonna need them. Hello, I sell keys. Oh, <laughs> you already said that. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, didn't you have like three of those two keys at the beginning? Uh, oh, yeah, I think I did. <laughs> or did you use them all during the quick yeah. cut? No, I think I still have them. Wow, 
Whoa, burnt man, holy. Yeah. It's marijuana. On the Tau Supper? Hmm. Silver Supper. The only we got here you say that. Yeah, ready. Oh, here we go again, back to the every part of town. Ah! Oh, whoa. He totally missed that one. Yeah. Getting <laughs> missed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but these, you know, these alien things, this Abadox? <laughs> <laughs> they don't even belong Abadox. in Abadox. Yeah. yeah. Come on, Samus. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I actually don't yeah. know our hero's name. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's yeah, what is the hero's name? Um, Bazanadu? No, I don't know. <laughs> well, some people think, hey, uh, when you play as Metroid, or when you play as Zelda, <laughs> yeah. so we're playing as Bazanadu! Their mantras, ECW, ECW. <laughs> yeah, that's the highest mantra in the game. You now have the mantra of ECW. <laughs> that's better than the monk skills in Diablo 3 for mantras. Yeah. Oh. Is it Ninja Gaiden enemies now? No, it looks like it. The castle looks really deformed. Yeah. Man, I'm glad I'm invincible. So, oh, that's the character's name then. You're invincible. You play as Boris Glishenko. What? Whatever his, whatever his last name is pronounced. Oh. I am Boris Glishenko. I am invincible. <laughs> Freezes over. <laughs> What's that from? Ah. <laughs> Don't not. Oh, okay. The movie. <laughs> I just remembered the video game. I think everyone yeah. just knows the game. Didn't pay attention to the movie. <laughs> yeah. That's Dang it, man. That's, mean, I hate about this game. Be based on that video game? <laughs> <laughs> this game, uh, well, at least I got to deal with uh, the horrible platform controls and going on. In this game, oh, platform controls getting your freaking nerves. Look at that. I jumped. I still think this game is based on that one movie by Olivia and Newton John. <laughs> I know I said that in the air parts before. What movie is that? Xanadu? Oh, yeah. It, is it? Or I think I, I read something on Wikipedia. I don't remember though what, what I read. It's like, um, I don't know, it's a prequel or sequel to a game released in Japan or something? Or, I don't know. I think it's based on the Dragon Slayer series. Uh, well, if I come, you know, they're the ones who originally created this in Japan. Long yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, Come they on. created a whole bunch of RPGs. Yeah. Like the E series. Yep. The ECW series. Yep. yep. Go over here. Ah. Dang it. <laughs> that thing in the top left corner. They're like one of the things that jumped out of the water in Castlevania games. Can't you ECW? Where you going? <laughs> yeah, I can see where I'm going. Oh, falling. There. I'm just trying to make it over there. What the heck? What the? Oh, <laughs> you got ECW mode. Don't worry. I know, but <laughs> that's where I never... You never find anybody in those houses. Oh, good. Maybe I'll fight you, too. I shall give you a title ECW... Oh, come on. Swords, man. <laughs> he already has a sword. Yeah. Well, you can't use a sword inside these houses. That's why the enemies can attack you. Even... I know I'm invincible, but still, what if I can punch him? Psh, nope. What the heck? It's Birdo. <laughs> Birdo, yeah. <laughs> wow, this is a creepy level. Well, not level, but part of the game. We use a matlock here. No. Hmm. On that wall? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Cause it's like I'm stuck right here. I can't figure out where to go. 
No, not the dagger, you dumbass. <laughs> well, let's fast forward. Let's see where we have to go. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> ah. But we must travel into the future. Yeah. Monty, I already know your future. We have to go. Yeah. Thunder. Thunder. Dang Thunder. It. We have to go back into the past, our soldier. They're gonna not gonna release the Tobo graphics in America. Or no. <laughs> <laughs> there was Ooh, a big okay. star game on a Turbo graphic actually. There is. Yep. Which one is that? Dragon Slayer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh man. I haven't played that one yet. Nobody has. It's on the turbo graphic. <laughs> Am I the only one that has one? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think Avery Gene has one, doesn't he? I think so. He's never played it, but I think he has one. <laughs> oh wait, he <laughs> played that fighting street once. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to figure out where to go here since I'm stuck. Yeah, do like. I think you have to go near the top somehow and start oh, yeah. perfect jumps. Yeah, I think here in the game is where the jumps really get tricky. Yeah. I, oh yeah, duh, go up here. There you go. I was fall off. <laughs> now this. Oh man, yeah, it's gonna get tricky. Don't fall off. Yes. He made it. Uh -huh. Whoa. The dragon snake right there. <laughs> oh, real easy. Yeah. Yeah. Fear some new enemy and he just jumps up and down. Yeah. This is All right, so use the key in here. This castle is like really destroyed. Yeah. Whoa! Little rad gravity action going on there. As we will stop right there. Oh, that looks cool. I want six. to see more. <laughs> <laughs> you will in part six. Okay. <laughs> all right. Until then, God bless. Take care. Later. See you all later. Woo! Welcome to part six of Let's Play Fazanadu. This is Ron Moore along with Star Soldier. Oh yeah, baby. Arizona World Champion back here again. And oh yeah, I played some original Nintendo or what, at least watching it. <laughs> yeah. You know I love doing that. So now I'm at this uh, uh, new part of the uh, town that I'm in where the meteorite struck. And this looks like a... Oh boy. This is like a combination of an Action 52 game and Rad Gravity. <laughs> can see that. At least we got no more mist. Yeah. yeah. And not missing the yeah. mist. Yeah, and geez, what is this thing? I mean, <laughs> this thing is creepy. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a former boss. Yeah. Right, now I've got these Mega Man ladders now. There it is again! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, go away. Yeah, we got the fat character and the daddy long legs. Yeah. Looks like a deformed ATDT, whatever they call it for Star yeah. Wars. Yeah, that attack. Or something yeah. like that. AT&T. Yeah. <laughs> More Ninja Gaiden enemies now. Yeah, there's going to be new Star Wars and all the original characters are going to be in there. Huh, from Disney? <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it's well, not going to be like the prequels. Yeah. Okay, I thought we'd go up here, something would appear, but nothing. Yeah. Char Char Char's coming back. The ladder. <laughs> Do what? Jar Char Jar's coming back. Who? Jar Jar? Oh, Jar Jar Binks. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah. It's more of those use my, enemies. I'm using my thunder power here. Yeah, at least you can kill them, though. I remember when you first started the game, you couldn't kill them. Yeah. I think you can't, well, you could, I think, with the dagger, could you, but it took a long time. Yeah. Well, really? this, point, this, this place is pointless, what the heck? <laughs> Dead end. Yeah, I find that a lot of original Nintendo games, and Sega Genesis yeah. games. Yeah. You 
just lead you to places you don't want to go. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was a door. Try to go in it. <laughs> Try to go on those ones. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, I don't think there's any secrets like that in this game. Yeah, this ain't Double Dragon. I hate that Double Dragon. Oh. Seriously, I'm tired of fi fighting this thing. <laughs> Yeah, you think you would just chop one of its legs off, and boom, it'll fall down, but nope. And let me guess. Yep, again. <laughs> At least they're easy to beat. Yeah. This douche. <laughs> yeah, it's always the same enemies, and now we gotta fight the same ones all over again. Yeah. Oh, good. Um, yeah. Good thing it fall down there. Usually, fall down right there. And oh, it's the first boss. Yeah, it's the first boss. The <laughs> DX, the DX uh, dragon. Okay. Yeah, two four two words for you. Esau. What the heck? <laughs> so he's the boss again. Woohoo, You got something. All right, I've got the pendant. So this is the missing pendant from Link in the past. Oh, you see that? <laughs> oh, I couldn't get him. You're in right, ECW so got the... mode. You can't afford anything, can't you? Yeah. Or you don't have that cheat on. It's just... No, I don't have the... Like... No, I don't have that, that cheat on. Just the infinite energy cheat. Now, um... I oh, say, oh, yeah, I got the pendant. So it's just the pendant of courage from the past? Or the pendant of ECW? Yeah, I think it's just a pendant of WCW. <laughs> or Women's of Wrestling. Yeah. Oh, look at this guy, Snake on the Ladder. He's sick of these, you know, motherfucking stays on this motherfucking ladder. Yeah. I'm gonna go up here. Ah! <laughs> what? Let's see if we use the, uh, Maddox to... No, the Matlock ah, no. doesn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think any Griffin is alive anymore. Yeah, <laughs> rest in peace. I got... Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, get off of there. What? States! <laughs> kick him! <laughs> yeah. Bump him off of there. What? Now <laughs> oh, what the heck? <laughs> More Pillsbury Doughboy. That was for nothing. Yeah. Ah! It looks like we're going in circles. Yeah, really. I think we are. <laughs> oh, no. Jump up on the ladder, you moron. There we go. Oh, wait. Been here, hey, dang it. Yep. Oh, thanks. I'll just... No, wait. I want to... Over here. I think it's dead over, he over here, too. I forgot. You know, I fight these three things three times. Yeah, so it's a dead end, and then you can go on the, I don't know, the top part of the screen. Yeah. It sort of loops around. Maybe oh, you have to go back to town now that you got the pendant. Yeah. Do a little grinding here. Get those coins. Probably have to buy some more keys. <laughs> I hate buying those stupid keys. Yeah. Yeah, why can't it just be one central key and not a J or K or <laughs> anything yeah. like that? Yeah. Or E for ECW. Yeah, the ECW key. Or just one E or one C or one W key. Yeah. <laughs> All the letters of the alphabet. Yeah. Ah. Oh, really? It's really? confusing. Yeah. These mats are definitely getting bigger. Yeah. It's one of those Castlevania things that come up from the water. All right, finally out here again. Uh, the 
missed this back. Yeah. Nah, I've been over there. Yeah, I know there's some people in there, or at least one person. Yeah. Just don't know who you get dependent to. Yeah. Yeah, you think anybody who would see, ooh, a pendant, would take it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in video games, it's usually one person who says, ooh, pendant. Okay. Yeah. Let's go to this area now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk to these people. has a treasure of this town. Oh, the treasure has been in, the, in this town for a while. <laughs> I can't read. Well, heck yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> keep it. So he doesn't take the pendant. No. Oh, crap. So this level right here feels like it's like about to fight the final boss or something. Like it's the final part of Metroid or something. Metro didn't even have like any voice talking in it. Or at least Metro yeah. did it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, remember playing Era M and she, she just sounds so bored. <laughs> I never played that game. Yeah, a lot of people haven't. Is that a good thing? Yeah. <laughs> they just yeah, need to hire an actress that can actually sound excited when she's actually. I don't know, shooting down aliens. Is it Resident Evil voice acting? I say it's a bit worse. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, Resident, Resident Evil is still fun. Has a, has, at least Resident Evil has an excuse because back then voice acting wasn't a big deal. Yeah. And they were using like limited technology where, you know, you had to load the voices from a CD. And it was hard to do that sort of crap back then. But yeah. You know, by Metroid Prime's era, you know, you had much faster loading times and you don't have to deal with less technical issues. But yeah, in RM, it's just poor dialogue. It's a yeah. notching game and Sam is, all right, Mother Brain, time to go. And seriously, yeah. that's what she sounds like. <laughs> Mother Brain, you're gonna die. Yep. I'm gonna set this galaxy free. Woo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you killed the baby Metroid. You're toast. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if I have it. Yes. Stick it in the hole. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't want to get too dirty. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah, something's hitting you. What the heck is hitting me? Oh, I think it's that one bard dude. Who? The bard? And the guy, what bard? Yeah, playing the xylophone or something. <laughs> you gotta kill him right away, or he's gonna hit you from afar. What the heck? Dang it, whatever it is, just hit me, knock me off right there, messed me up. Yeah. What bard? More like, a, more like tard. This is <laughs> stupid. Yeah, how is a little fluke gonna hurt you? <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't get the reference. Point reference? Okay, yeah. Musical dude. <laughs> yeah, dude looks like he's... I don't know. Hidden something. <laughs> what game is this? Yeah. There's a red potion up there, but see, it, the good thing I ECW mode. It's still kind of annoying though when you try to jump and <laughs> you get hit. Yeah. Ah. Especially in this game where the jumping physics can very, I don't know, be... Very broken. <laughs> yeah. You have to be very precise and get the right momentum. I'm pulling the red oh, potion. I'm wasting my time. No I'm crap. Like, That's a waste of time. <laughs> so this is it? This is all you do in the room? I can't waste my time here. I jumped on the platform. Yeah. I killed yeah, the enemy. Pin. I have two rings. 
$21,550. Yeah, I guess you had to go to town and talk to somebody? I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. Is that what it was? Spoilers for the Nets video? <laughs> uh, maybe. Yeah, because even I forget what to do. And yeah. I'm a world champion. Have you beaten this game? Yep, I beat it once. But, you know, that was uh, long ago when I was a stupid little kid. <laughs> too bad you don't remember now, because that really come in handy. Yeah. Sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of this commentary. Alright, it's just me now, and... <laughs> Can I come I back now? It. Yeah. <laughs> Don't oh, worry, we'll skip to part 7 and I'll tell you the whole thing that you're yeah. supposed to do. I don't I don't think you go back in town. I think there's more to this mist area. Either this one or the other mist area I was at earlier. I don't know. Are you saying that you missed something? Yeah. Uh, well, Stephen King will tell me that. I don't know, he's not good at avoiding things. Didn't he get hit by a current once? I think so, yeah. <laughs> nope, Matlock won't break that. Oh. <laughs> Is that how <laughs> the fiends on go? Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. And well I'm back out here now and I guess I'll figure out in part seven what to do. Unless someone's supposed to comment, maybe and Tell me what to do. Uh, okay, thank you, Razor yeah. Mom, for that input. All right. So, Chico, so what do you think we should do here? Yeah, be like the bad guy and spoil it for us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, see you guys in part seven and two. Every say seven in Spanish. Till then, God bless. Take care. Hey, yo, over and out. <laughs>
key key. Well, well, just cigarettes own keys. Wait, this this is released in America? They wouldn't allow cigarettes in the Nintendo game. <laughs> <laughs> well, they did in Metal Gear though, so. Eh. I guess maybe it's not a cigarette. Maybe it's a bag. Dude, <laughs> take that out of your mouth right now. Yeah, take that fag out of your mouth. <laughs> All right, now here talking to Jay. Oh, hello. I sell tools. What would you like? <laughs> That's not Jay. He doesn't have a beard like that. He's gonna flag this video like he did Mario Three. Let's discuss. <laughs> Reason for flagging. Yeah, I don't okay. think that looks like Jay. He doesn't have a hat on and he looks a bit thinner. Yeah. <laughs> No offense, Jay. Of course, he's probably not watching. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she quit watching years ago. Alright, now I got the full plate. Oh, I got a lot on my plate. <laughs> you do got the full plate. Yeah. yeah. I just ate two. Nice. Now, now it's time for you to drink. I'm lost. Okay. Okay, paints a lot for doing us that. Yeah, what's his wrath of the Black Manta? Just guys telling us random th things that don't help us at all. Thanks, Debbie Downer. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! What the heck is that? Man, that looks kind of phallic. <laughs> it looks kind of... Definitely don't put that in your mouth. Jeez. Oh, God. <laughs> He's pointing up, I guess, in a limp way. <laughs> yeah, light it up and take some puffs. <laughs> oh, ouch. Whoa. Oh, I touched it. Oh. And what is that? Uh, it's a snake. It's a weird... Am I playing Rad Gravity? No. No, you're playing a good game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Corn Shack. <laughs> I need to think this was Hudson Soft. It's quite different from what, what else they made on the NES. And now what are these things? I don't care, as long as they give me money. Yeah, I think Hunting Soft and uh, Falcom made this game. Well, I think so. no, it was uh, yeah, the game was licensed under the uh, original, like I guess, idea or whatever. Yeah. So Hudson, I think they're part of a license, and Falcom developed it or something I like guess that. Or uh, they worked together, and then Nintendo said, "Hey, this game is really good, so we'll publish it." Yeah. Yeah. And then All we right. will make a sequel. Yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, Oops. of course. The whole, everything is basically Falcom, and just Hudson Soft was like, we'll just transfer this to NES. Yeah. Alright, I use key... And then take all the credit. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I've used key K to get into the K building. You have three of those key Ks? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, what, what was the enemy I just killed? What is this Kung Fu kid for the Master System? It looks like you hit a woman there. Yeah. Looks like, uh... That's Zink Bear. Looks like the wife of the Addams Family. What's her name? This this game is just wrong for kids to play. You got people smoking cigarettes and male versus female violence. Dildos. <laughs> Bags. Yeah, they're yeah. all... They're everywhere. Now, Total Recall did that, too, where you shoot your wife. Okay, now what happened yeah, that was... that was part of the movie, though. What, what happened was, another quick cut, that was a dead end. I wasted my key. <laughs> Ah, oh, dang it, now I need... Oh, you need teleported. A, I need an A key. Oh, yeah, Dad these gummit. guys again. Yeah. Oh, no, oops. Ooh, I touched poison. What am I gonna do? Suck it out. Yeah. Oh, cool. I must have missed it. Alright, so I gotta get the black onyx or oinks, ointment, whatever that word is, and yeah. Why did you work? Yeah. That doesn't seem fair. I hate that guy right there. That guy's controlling something invisible to hit you. I don't know what the heck is going on. I hate that guy. <laughs> He's playing really bad music. Yeah. Must be a Action Figure 2 composer. Bolton. Mario <laughs> Gonzalez? He's not in this game. Like Tim Follin. No, I was kidding. Tim Follin's not in this game either. <laughs> This ain't nothing related. Here's a giant. Who's in this game? Uh, we got. It was. It was the same as the um, Bob Bomber. Uh, Jun Ch Chikuma. I mean, to pronounce it. Did you do 8-bit stereo in this game yet? Uh, yes. It was one of the early ones. 
Oh. Is it the same as the uh, Xanic guy? Wait, what? Or Xanic guy? Or, uh... uh the, the space game. Sexies? <laughs> yeah. I think you're no, spaced that... out. Well, that was, no, that was developed by Atlas, and Hirohiko Takayama composed that soundtrack. Oh, of course. Free oh. wing boots. didn't know that? Free <laughs> wing boots. Did you know at the time this game was had a promotion for a Red Bull? So you use their wing boots and, you know... Shut up! <laughs> that sand gives you wings. Yeah. What the heck is that? I still yeah. haven't flown with that stupid energy drink. Liars. <laughs> But what I is? Wanna, I want to fly. What is that? Is it I like? I want to be like a dildo and fly like that. No, what's that other thing? It looks like he's driving a car midair. <laughs> I don't know. There's too much compression. Can really <laughs> jump. Yeah. It, it, this one, this video seems kind of fuzzy to me. Yeah. Well, you know, it's my grainy uh, style of reviewing. <laughs> reviewing. <laughs> it still looks better than my videos, though. <laughs> it, uh, at least you use real games. Or real, the, from real cards. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, sure, that's what I use. Yeah. All my games are real, honest. Ah, oh, dang it! Now I need to buy the the K uh, key again. Yeah, but JK. Wait, but first, I haven't J been over here yet. Hold on a second. Whoa, it's Moses again. Is it okay to use the K key? Yeah. Cake. Oh, teach me the magic of fire for three thousand dollars. Well, rip off. Man, they get, this guy's coked, coked out. Look at him. It's coked up. <laughs> it's all white, so what do you expect? Yeah. He just, I think he just spread himself in Cinnabon cheese. <laughs> Wait, cheese? It's not cheese. What is it? Cream? Promise. I don't know. Yeah, promise. On this white cheese. Alright, so I just got the Magic of Foya. Magic of Faxanadu. Yeah. No, Magic of Shahashazarad. Yeah. Shahashazarad. <laughs> Sarsasa rather than seen it. Two of my favorite games. Well, some of my favorites. See, seen it was your favorite game. Who's John Cena? <laughs> it's in it. Or... John Cena for the NES. Eight eight, eight, John Cena, uh, eight-bit stereo coming soon. Dun, 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 dun. Cena wouldn't want to be uh. <laughs> John Cena, Sara, Phil. No, he hasn't seen Sarah. <laughs> Alright, one more monies. Good, get the money, get the gold! In this Metroid-esque stage. Well, yeah, that's pretty much what this game is like. It's like if you make <sighs> Metroid with fantasy. Yeah. Metroid and Final and Fantasy? <laughs> and RPG elements. Oh, well, if only. Metroid RPG. Well, yeah, that's that choice is kind of fancy too, though, unless you think the mind brain is real. It is. It's still real to me, damn it! <laughs> the brain of all mothers. Yeah, the brainchild. Wait, wait it's the mother of all brains. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> all right, fancy start two boss. All right, Nick, don't yeah. again. <laughs> Nobody knows that. K I key. do. Oh, okay. Get key K, get King K rule, whatever it's called. Dude, he should be selling a J key. Then you can have JK. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, you kind of did that. I do have a J key. But now I use the K key. Whoa! Some Jason Voorhees is here. Jason Voorhees, a jolly good fellow. Voorhees, a jolly good fellow. Freddy or not, here we come. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Oh. Quick, uh, what's another one? Uh, you're a pinhead. Yeah. Yeah, well. Uh, is it the 13th today? And is it it's the uh, day after Thursday? <laughs> I don't is know. It? We should ask Michael over at Myers. <laughs> Fred Fred Myers. Oh Myers. I admire your ability to beat this game. With the ECW mode. Whoa, whoa oh wait, why am I surprised by that? <laughs> As I thought oh, this boss takes a lot more hits. Yeah, DX boss. Yeah, he's taking hits, all right. Ah! What the hell is that? Reformed ET. I just reviewed that. <laughs> what? Oh yeah. Hey, I... guess what? It sucks. <laughs> oh really? I just never would have known. I thought there was some good things about it. Like I heard it was better than um, uh, Shotgun. Super Mario Brothers Three. <laughs> yeah. 
It's better it's than Mega Man 2 also. Also. Mega Man 2 is stupid. You can't jump what? or do anything. Dude, when you fall in the pit of Mega Man 2, you die. Whoa. What the heck was that? Forget I'm not fighting that thing. I'm out of here. It's Gordo. <laughs> You're invincible. I don't care. No, I don't care if I'm still <laughs> invincible. I'm not fighting that freaking giant booger. What the heck that was? Yeah, it's like it's like what, the the Florida Pizza Monster from Ninja Turtles. That's making me hungry for pizza now. I, I don't have Except one. Except for Domino's. <laughs> they suck. What, do, what the Domino's? Are, it's probably Canadian Domino's. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oh, here we go. Look at that. It looks like a, a like someone a deformed Muppet. Man, this game has some of the ugliest enemies I've ever seen. Maybe that's the point. Well, your yeah, I think enemies. Great. Yeah, they're easier to kill when they're ugly. Yeah. Like the bosses in uh, Contra Shattered Soldier. Well, I think all Contra bosses are ugly, pretty much. Oh yeah. Except like the 16-bit ones, because those were 16-bit. This is who this is. This is uh, Jagger Freud from Super C. Great. Oh wait, it is. It's like the boss that you fight on the overhead stage, like the uh, second yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. Dang, man. Jeez. <laughs> I guess the uglier they are, the harder they are to kill. Yeah, thankfully he doesn't do anything, just move around. Yeah, even if I wasn't cheating, I could have beat him right there. It's just a pattern. You My got favorite type. Ball. Oh, Black Onyx. Sweet. That's the rarest Pokemon to get. Yeah. Yeah. He was on it on that. Ooh, look at that. Now it's in my inventory. All right, let's get, let's get the block out of here. <laughs> and you didn't fast forward through this part? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> we have to watch this again? Yeah, because... Look, what is that? That's like a rotten Snickers. Ron Tomatoes. Yeah. Gives this game an 80%. Yeah. Do they review games? They should. <laughs> they should call it Rotten Potatoes. So did they, did, did, did they review Attack of the Killer Tomatoes for the NES? Yeah, they gave that a 99. Oh, of course. It's tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, you can buy reviews. <laughs> yeah. If you can buy it, you can win it. Yeah. Yeah. Rise Ooh, of the Robot. Be my, best game ever. That should be my next OP, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. And then I can talk about the music the whole time. <laughs> I think you'll have to. You can't talk about the gameplay. Okay, I look like the character from Ghosts and Goblins. Arthur? Yeah, you're pretty much pretty yeah. much our Arthur. I just need the uh, uh, mask, whatever it's called. The helmet. Alright, uh, time to get promoted again. Alright, to Priestess. Give you a title... Mer Mermidon? What? Mermidon? What the heck is that? Well, whatever it is, is better than Star Soldier. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a promotion. Whatever it is, it's somehow better. I don't... Well, anyway, I guess we'll find out what a mer mer mermaid is in, in part eight. So until then, God bless and take care. Yo, thanks for watching and all that. Woo! Yeah, and we guys back, baby. I know you miss me. Hehe. <laughs>
Wait for all. Oh, look at the look at the little monster looking thing. Yeah, I want one. I want one of the castles. Yeah. No. <laughs> so I guess we're in another part of the tree in the tree world, uh, wherever the heck we're at. I see some kind of like weird eyeball. Maniac mansion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> green tentacle. I think purple likes it. Yep. Oh, those things are annoying. Move! And if you didn't know, I am using ECW mode. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Everything to purple is cute mode. Yep. <laughs> uh, touch poison. What shall I do? You just uh, throw okay. heart. You throw hearts and flowers on yes. everything. No. <laughs> K key. K key, 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 King K rule. When are we gonna use the uh, J key? I uh, use that already. Ah. <laughs> Damn it. Well, what about the J man key? Hey, only I get that key. <laughs> yeah, the J man key will unlock your potential. That's what Snoop Rogers told me. <laughs> <laughs> Like your guy oh, has God. like uh I don't know, I'm watching it on the on the phone YouTube. It looks like he has like purple armor. Yeah. That's purple's armor. I guess. <laughs> I mean he's got like a uh like really big butter knife. That's <laughs> uh, it's, it's actually the long sword. No, yeah, I did have a knife at the beginning of the game, it sucks. This is the I guess the ECW sword. I don't know if it's the Best sword upgrade or what, but it works pretty cool. Yes. Yeah, I remember that like the like that tuning fork you had at the beginning of it. Whoa! Oh, what a no, no aliens. No, I don't think you want a deformed ET. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck happened to that thing that was right there? I saw it earlier and I come over here and disappears. <laughs> no, the poison bottle was saved, but not the that mystery yes. item. That's weird. I mean, you think there would be something over there? Probably freaking emulator glitch, I guess. I don't know. The, the, the gaming glitch gremlin is here. I guess those are like uh like like dead evil Yoshi's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're like yeah the monster Mausers or something from Ninja Turtles. Or they're like the uh, the Birdo from Super Mario 2. <laughs> yeah, ECW Birdo. I'm gonna finish you off. These things. Uh, are... <laughs> like... Whoa! Here are the rotten Snickers again. <laughs> the what? Rotten Snickers. Oh, I thought you said a different word. <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> Damn those! No, th this isn't Wrath of the Black Manta Part. Those whatever it was. Dirt Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> Come for you, Snicker. <laughs> <laughs> They're uh. uh... Magically delicious. Oh wait, that's Lucky Charm. <laughs> what's uh, okay, so their, what's their slogan on Batman? No, it's uh, you know, it's caramel. Well, you remember there was a uh, Snicker commercial where the guy had a concussion. Oh yeah, and he's like, I'm Batman. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Why well, you down there earlier? I saw a staff. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I said, why do you keep going the wrong way? Oh, uh, there's I have no idea where I'm going. I'm on uh, uh, ladders with super glue. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, the, uh, remember the crazy glue where it had the guy that was hanging uh, from a construction hat? Oh, yeah. Yep, that's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Skip Rogers commercial right there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's like, I'm surprised he didn't put that in his video. Crazy <laughs> glue. Could you not find yeah. better use? <laughs> yeah. Alright, here we go. Probably Castlevania enemies. The heck? They're just, uh, oh, I... not near as smart. See, there's the hand dagger from earlier, the butter knife. I'm trying to use the matlock, or, or matog. <laughs> and I'll select the matlock, you idiot! Yeah, I was gonna say, it looks the exact same. You know what, you watch Matt like you're a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that was, yeah. 
Okay, but that didn't work, and I guess I go through here. Ah, oh, I got a new town. You walk, you watch Walker, Texas Ranger. What's wrong? <laughs> what's wrong with you? <laughs> you know what, Jeff? Yep. Is that is that supposed to be me right there? <laughs> yeah. Great. It's like me. You are. Yours. <laughs> Either you or Nick Nolte. <laughs> Yeah, same thing. Well, as long as it's not Gary Busey. Oh, God. I was about to say, Nick Nolte, Gary Busey. Gary Busey's cool. Yeah. Well. He's got big teeth, but hey. You mean cool by crazy. Then, <laughs> yeah. You really are crazy, Riggs. Whoa. Okay. That's a uh, Star Soldier. <laughs> <laughs> He's like 40 or 50. Whoa, I can't. Dang, I can't afford that. Wherever the heck that was, jeez, and I got, I got a lot of golds too. Oh, is this is this uh, Star Soldier's pawn shop <laughs> or is, uh, flea market? Yeah, the giant blade. Oh, let's get that. What the heck is a oh til tilt? Hey? Tilt? Arcade tilt? Looks like a boomer, a uh, devil boomerang. Yeah, Sonic Boom. Maybe. Probably not. Man, that's ah. <laughs> Giant blade's expensive. <laughs> it's like you have to count it out. It's like uh, that uh, penny guy at Pizza Hut. <laughs> oh, jeez. Just have to sit and wait on it. Yeah. Should I move? Dang it. Oh, uh, what a horrible night to have a curse. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, some idiot to get away. Weapon. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, it's Move so I can talk to the J-Man. Okay. He said it was his first time. <laughs> oh, really? Why don't you have a seat in that, in that chair over there? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? It's the first time. You know how many times I hear that? Oh, it's time to get promoted. I oh. should give you a title. Champion, yes. ECW champion. Is that uh, uh, Rick Flair's son? <laughs> Alright. The hang this place. Oh. I'm the ultimate warrior. Rest in peace, warriors. You're as good looking as I've heard. Thanks. Oh. I'm sure your husband over here didn't mind hearing that. No homo. Man, these guys are obsessed with the battle suit. Oh, right, that's a woman that said that, Jamie, not him. No homo. <laughs> no let's go. Wait. Down. What is Were those like Terminators? They were something. Predators. This is Predators right here. Yeah, I wish I could see over here. Predators. I can't see. So you're Chris Hansen. And you, they should uh, do a, a they should, someone, someone should make a fan made game to catch a bird for NES. You're Chris Hansen. You gotta go around and kill these Predators. You gotta make them sit down on the stool. And then and then it's just uh, like just like they, Street of Rage. Just like Street of Rage, your backup are the cops outside the house. Well, yeah, well, it's, uh, like, level two is, after they leave, you have to arrest them. Yeah. And you have to, level like, three is special. Level three is the interrogate, I guess, and level four is the sentencing. I don't know, Phil. <laughs> well, I can't get in that door. I got the ring. I got Dra get, get Dracula's ring or something. Whoa, oh, what the heck? Okay, so, I mean, I, I got the ring in my inventory. I think I got two rings, and, got, and the door's asking me a question. Do you need a ring to get the door? I don't know, do I? Freaking you got bees. Tell me. You got bees and disease. Yeah. Let me go back and figure out what the heck to do. I think I get a ring somewhere else. I don't know. I thought you could break that thing with the mat up, can you? Yes, you can't. Mat talk, whatever it's called. Matt Braddock, Chuck Norris, I don't know. So you have to become, uh, like, Lord of the Rings? I guess. As long as I don't get those rings from Shoutgate 64. Kind of seems like it's more like Lord of the Keys. Yeah. Solomon's Key 3, I guess. No, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going playing, uh... Oh, um, yeah. like, uh, by the way, 
Gentoo, uh, probably should make the announcement, but he, he did promise, I think, in the podcast, he was going to do Superman 64, but now he changed his mind because he says he just cannot play that game. Yeah. He should do... He says Shadow Gate 64... Huh? He should do Superman 65. That's, he that's says, the game where... He said, that's the game where uh, Superman retires. <laughs> and gets on, uh, he says, you know, retirement plan. Yeah. Oh, I got the magical rod. About time. Uh, now, Gentry said that uh, Shadow Gate 64 is actually better than Superman 64, and he just cannot bear playing Superman 64, so... I guess it's pretty much scrap. I dared him to do it, and he didn't dare to do it. So, um, I guess it's one dare he could not uh, uh, dare to do. Well, I guess now he has to tell the truth. Yeah. I'll, I'll dare him to play double dare. But yeah. <laughs> At least we'll have to endure Superman 64 on the channel. So. Well, I think it would be a good addition. Well, at least Shaggy 64 was somewhat playable, but I can understand Gen 2 not wanting to torch himself. I mean, J-Man, if you want to do that, be our guest. Uh, the only reason that I won't do it is because, well, I don't do anything online. <laughs> Purple would do it. Oh, God, no. <laughs> uh, she's going to play Yahtzee for the Nintendo 64. <laughs> <laughs> play Dominoes for the uh, Tiger Handheld. What? Jeez, I can't freaking get back up there. Okay, now this level's starting to piss me off. <laughs> Starting? Whoa! Oh! Now he's back. The, the, uh, no! ECWET. Quit running it. It should be easier. Is it, is it purple one? Yes. Oh, I got the battle suit. Now those people, man, those people shut up. Stop telling me to get the battle suit. Else. <laughs> you know, actually, uh, now I'm getting pissed off because I think that enemy should have been much harder than that. Well, I beat him before, so he's a recycled enemy. Oh, uh, okay. He's a recycled boss. Dang it, equip the battle suit. I guess it's equipped. I can't <laughs> tell. Stupid purple. Purple stuff. <laughs> Stupid purple. <laughs> Thanks to Sunny D up in his mother. Hey, you, Sarah. <laughs> I said purple, not Sarah. No, I, I know, I said, I said Sarah. <laughs> uh, okay, what to do in this daggum part of the game? Jump up the ladder, that's what I can do. Right, there we go. Now, this part's, a, oh, this is ridiculous. How am I going to get back up with that freaking predator? <laughs> oh, 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 no, oh! Uh -huh. Mother! You had to say, uh, Diary could do it. A little of information, as, uh, as I was recording this footage earlier, I did drop the F-bomb, because this really pissed me off. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, Ronnie Cuff. Yeah, but it's not documented yet. <laughs> well, there, there should be behind-the-scenes, uh, footage. <laughs> ah, fudge! Oh. In the Funky Kong Country. Yeah, the, uh, the, on the Rumble DVD, the exclusive, only to the DVD, you would hear me drop the F-bomb in pre-production stage of... Uh, recording. <laughs> yeah, that goes right up there with uh, slanders. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I finally got past that part. Yay, rare obscure references that nobody else gets. <laughs> yeah, really, except us. <laughs> Maybe three other people. Maybe. <laughs> Doctor Apple. Big, big ladders again. No way. A lot of people got Doctor Apple. Whatever. Yeah. That was more like five. People think I created that, but no, it was Bear. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it was Bear that created it. It was Bear. Ah! <laughs> yeah. That's usually what uh, comes after saying Bear's name. <laughs> ah! Oh, 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 shut up. You're the one that, uh, you know, the, the Obamacare in Canada, and who'd you vote for? You're, you're the one that got Wee Guy a power glove. Oh, no, wait, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what are we what are, what are we doing now? Because it seems like it's going in circles. I don't know what to yeah. do. This is like uh, Metroid all over again. <laughs> yeah, really. Well, now that they got the battle suit, let's see what this guy says. Did you find the magical magic cane? Dang it! I gotta look for a magic cane. 
Well, if no, uh, I guess no, that's the magical rod. I, that I guess that's not the magical cane, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your mind out of the gutter, woman. <laughs> yeah. Rod. <laughs> you could turn a rod into a cane, though. So, I mean, yeah. That's weird. All right. Um. I like the soundtrack. I like the track right here. This part of the game is pretty cool. I'm I'm having a hard time keeping track. <laughs> Hopefully I'm on the right track. <laughs> ah, these en this game has the weirdest enemies I've, I've seen. Other than Extra 52 in the game. You need a ring. To Apparently I need a ring to open the dad gum door. Oh, look at this. Let me go to Maya. No. Yeah, let's use uh, Thunder. <laughs> Can you see? I don't have... Yeah. That's a desperate move right there. I know that spell, but... Oh, look at this inventory screen. I got two rings. I, I love that. I to get another ring. You, like, in question form. I guess I gotta get another ring. Maybe, hopefully, I'll find it in part nine. So, oh. until then, God bless you, take care, and happy Mother's Day. Yeah, yeah. Peace. Welcome to Let's Play Fazandu Part 9. This is Ron Moore, along with Star Soldier and the Wee Guy. Yo. Yeah, I love my fax machine. <laughs> <laughs> and so in Part 8, with uh, me, J-Man, and Purple, um, I got stuck right here, and I need some sort of ring to get into the daggone door. So I figured it out, so we're on a way to doing that. That's where we're now another part of town. Oh, sweet. <laughs> it's Ghost and Goblin's town. Yeah. Well, at least we're not fighting a ring, man, like in Mega Man 8. Or Mega Man 4. Ah, I thought I was going to get another promotion. <laughs> well, what's higher than what you were last time? I forgot where I am right now. Champion? Or... <laughs> You are a champion. I think so, yeah. But he's not a star soldier. <laughs> but I'm, he's I'm like a, an air song world champ. Yeah. Dragon Slayer. You will not be able to return us to Dragon Slayer until we have true peace here. This ring. Ah, oh, yes. Dracula's ring? Oh. Yeah, you gotta collect him. What? Ring of Dwarf? I mean, I think it's called Dwarf wrong, or... No, it's Dwarf. 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 Oh, yeah, Captain. I will shoot the Klingons. Or, or I am a Klingon. The world of Branch. <laughs> Tree Branch? Is this the main customer service branch right here? I thought you were in the big tree to begin with. Yeah, I think you are. Yeah, I'm different yeah. part of the tree. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm, magic shield. So I got the large shield. And so I guess magic shield would be better. Maybe upgrade, maybe it's the bottom Unless it's too expensive. The mirror shield! No. He's gonna take pretty much all my money. <laughs> all my money! All my mind, all my money, and my money, all my... Yeah, uh, ten thousand for a shield. Holy crap! Yeah, <laughs> and look how slowly it's going down too. I could buy stadium a, events with that. Better be a good shield. It better be better than the mirror shield. <laughs> we hope. Watch it All breaks right. on one sword swing. Only got seventy-seven dollars. Well, I can live off that for the rest of my life. Yeah. I can't. My parents kept me out long ago. Aw, <laughs> okay, you're 18, you're out the door. <laughs> Joke's on you, Mom, I have stadium events. <laughs> yeah, and I make money on Blip. Alright, so let's cut through all the BS. Uh, what the happened? Oh my god! Now, there's nothing to see there, just backtracking, so... <laughs> now I'm in the door I've been trying to get into. Whoa. <laughs> nothing to see, just have a seat. Yeah. Like, uh, Leslie Nielsen and, the uh, Naked Gun, whatever it was. Nothing to see here! <laughs> Nothing, nothing to see here. 
Oh, oh whoa. The car Somebody. crashes and the Armageddon. Yeah. Alright, ah, uh, another promotion? Yes. Oh, superhero. Woohoo! I sure will. Da, the air da, 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 da. And God, this is not like Superman. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I would Superman say which game. one, but they're all bad. Any Superman game, really. Yeah. Uh, oh, I love the track in this stage. It's pretty good. 8 bit stereo. Cough. Yeah. Pretty <laughs> eerie. Pretty eerie music. Dang it, move! Freaking sage, mage, or whatever it is, get on my freaking nerves. <laughs> and there's what J as J-Man called the uh, emo birdo, or whatever the heck it is up there. Yeah, it looks oh. like it's always talking. Hey, yeah. I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! Oh, there you are! I'm gonna fight you! I'm gonna jump in towards you and kill you and stuff! Oh, oh no! Have you head. tried the grand slam today? <laughs> oh, ah, oh, dang it! Promoter. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, you hungry. Need... Let me guess. Yes. Oh, dude, I didn't know you can go on those. And nope, 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 nope. All aboard the nope train. The guy's like, get out of my house. <laughs> those are monsters. That monster's like, get out of my house. Yeah. I would be like that too, and I'm not a monster. <laughs> get out of my house, if they stupid sold... warrior with a shield and sword. Well, that'd be funny if those monsters, you know, those houses that's supposed to be selling stuff, those monsters were sell monster drinks. Because during the time there was promotion for monster drinks when this game came out. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shut up. Two for five, get them now. That'd be funny, yeah, like, does anyone want a monster drink? Yeah, forget that Red Bull crap. If anything, it would be Red a better... Bull. I think that would be a better promotion for Monster Party. Yeah, yeah really. Forget Drax not out and Reebok pumps. Get monster well, that was drinks. Like, well, that was a legitimate, though, with the Reeboks. I, I know, I know. Well, your face that never came out, though. Oh, shut up, Ron. That's mean. Ah, oh, dang it. I touched poison. Oh, thanks for bumping me back. I need to go there anyway. Dude, from Final Fight, lucky. Yeah. <laughs> dang it. That's not lucky. I do see well, what he is. <laughs> well, you know, it depends yeah. on the context. Alright. <laughs> no, we're talking about original Japanese version. Oh, no. Wait, the Japanese wait. one, uh, she's still he. Damn it. Ah, oh, I can't. <laughs> confuse. In the North American one, they just changed it to a guy outright. Say yeah, okay. Song. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, it's confusing wait. because, you know, she's confusing. <laughs> or he is. Chronologically confused. Yeah. Dang it. I would have been over there. <laughs> it's uh, still very strange how he climbs the ladders like that. Yeah, really. Um, that What happened to Mega Man 2 and Crash Man stage, I know that for sure. Yeah, Mega Man doesn't climb him, like, horizontally, though. Yeah. Well, he's a whore. Horizontal. Wait. No, he's vertical! Yes, <laughs> golds. Avert your eyes. <laughs> ah. I'd be scared, though, if bees were really that big. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, no monsters. a little one seems you like that hurts. Yeah. A big one, you know... Castle or fraternal? Are we going to a fraternity? The fraternity castle. Oh no. Here we go, fraternity castle. Oh. Oh, I see that waiting to ambush me right outside the door. What a cowardly move that is. <laughs> Don't worry, you're in ECW mode. I know, but still, I thought that was <laughs> it. the intent of that person. It's terrible. Make sure that B don't knock me off. All right. <laughs> that was pretty quick there. Yeah. It's it's the B's knees. <laughs> Better be careful. Yeah. You remember, uh, someone used to always say like, I don't know when I was a kid, I would hear stuff like someone say, "How you doing?" I go, "None of your beeswax." Now what? Okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Not your beeswax right there, Sonny. Yeah, can't yeah. you see? I'm enjoying my old routine, and I don't know. <laughs> One time, someone told Swindon he's working at his old uh, job, trying to get people to donate money to the state troopers. Someone goes, "I can't afford it. We're in dire straits." And someone else said, "You can stick it in your ear." <laughs> <He's> like, okay. <laughs> yeah. 
how 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 far we've come from insults or like yeah. talkbacks. Yeah. <laughs> you mad, bro? And we <laughs> well, went from like. Well, <laughs> maybe we're not better with that actually. Yeah. It's still you, just as dumb. You you glad, sis? Ooh. <laughs> Ah! Okay. Ah! Man, not where are we going? <laughs> Good job. I'm trying to go forward. Where are your Wayne Brady boots? I don't get that reference. Where's your wing boots? Who's Wayne? I mean, I heard of Wayne Brady, but who exactly? That played quarterback for the Patriots or something? No, he was on those oh. lines in any way. Oh. Yeah. He's a guy who always likes to sing. He's a black guy. Oh, that's racist. <laughs> Shut up. Well, he was not the only black guy on the show. Indeed. Hey, those guys were playing one under. Whoa. Welcome to Skullman's Castle? Uh... More like Blue Brain Castle. Blue Brain... Or, uh... No, this is a, one of the parts of Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> Quick, grab the spear! Yeah. Hurry, Wake Goldberg. up! <laughs> Yeah. Let's get Roman Reigns to do the spear. <laughs> yeah, I don't think a lot of people know who Goldberg is anymore. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's kind of outdated, like the bee's knees. Or the bee's wax. <laughs> yeah. Not your bee's wax there, Sonny. Remember Bill Goldberg? And he was a real no roughshaw. Yeah, I remember him way back then. That was real wrestling. Well, he made the so spear. Big. He made the... He made the spirit famous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here I am, you know, running you on being <laughs> or using two old references while we're playing a game from the 1980s. Yeah. Oh, another promotion or Oh, no. Oh, what is this? It's the Schwar oh, the dwarfs. Damn it. He goes, I shall give you an oxygen mask, for <laughs> soldier. An oxygen mask? Yeah, so that you won't breathe into the mic during commentary. Use it well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wouldn't that be for Darth Jintu? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know yeah, I think Star Soldier and Jintu should probably switch names, because I actually heard Star Soldier breathe in the mic, he never Jintu. <laughs> Okay, so he gave us a bit of advice there. Vice about, Project Doom? About something. I wasn't really paying attention, but let's go back. <laughs> he said, look up a YouTube video so you know where you're going. Ah, yeah. <laughs> or, uh, let's be a cool if it's an interactive game like Metal Gear Solid. Hmm. Like, what's his name? Psycho Mantis. Hmm. I see you've been looking at YouTube. Fuck, there's a good top past this game. Oh, cool! I now I got ECW mode on top of ECW mode. Oh, I thought I said I thought they said I am tree from injury. I was like, what? <laughs> but uh, it says free, free bird, free tree, whatever. One of those English games. Are you based on belong to us? <laughs> God, English. I'll have an English muffin. Yeah. As we get through Skullman stage. ECW. That one, that theme's better. Oh, Jesus. Get away from that. Okay. Whoa. What? What? Whoa. Oh, that's right. I still got ECW mode. What's this like? Instead of a beehive nest, it's a ghost hive nest? What the heck? Boo. What? Poison knock you off. Poison. Alice Cooper. Oh, dang it. Alex yeah, Cooper. Definitely don't want poison in there to knock you off. Yeah. Or get you off or whatever. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> Son of a mother. Come on. You can do it. Oh. Try I to kill the, the beehive. Can't you just. Uh, can't you just shut up? Not the bees. Not the bees. Not the bees. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, shoot. 
Oh, snap. We're Slow down. Ridley. Fighting Ridley now. This is Metroid. Which Metroid? This is, must be the famous dragon. Other M. No. <laughs> Want to play another game? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Faxandu, you can't use your armor. Activate your missiles. <laughs> yeah. Don't play other M, Ronnie. I'm not playing other F, as in another Fazanadu game. I fail. <laughs> no, another F, as in fail. Just play another M, another Metroid game. Other Metroid. Yeah. Like Super Metroid. Yeah. Yeah. This is Basically, Super Ridley right here. This is Super 8 bit Ridley. Super Ridley? <laughs> I think you'll do if, if uh, Metroid 2. You're saying hell. Yeah, uh, Super Metroid is on NES instead. Uh, this is what really would look like, except it'd be red or purple, whatever he was in Super Metroid. Yeah, I think he was a dark purple. Look at this. This could be Metroid 2 right here, 8 bit. <laughs> uh, oh, I got the Master Sword. Oh, oh the Dragon the Slayer. The Dragon Slayer. Maybe it's the same thing. Slay the Dragon. Kill the Wabbit. All right, so now that I got the ECW Slayer. Wait, no, that means ECW is Slayed. I want oh, to call no. that. Rest in peace, ECW. Like WWE ECW Slayer, and we will see what it can do in part 10. Until then, God bless and take care. Bye. Woo! Welcome to the Let's Play Discuss, Fazanadu. This is Ron Moore along with Star Soldier and the Wee Guy. Let's Fazanadu it! Yeah! Woo! Ooh, I got the title of Aladdin. Oh, wait. Paladin. What the heck is that? Paladin? What's a oh, paladin? Uh, what is. Mm. <laughs> well, well, anyway. I got it. Alright, so now I'm going to go somewhere. Are we going to beat the game yet? Well, yeah, this is Let's Play Discuss. <laughs> you let's are play. the ultimate warrior everyone is talking about. Oh, there's a game. Oh, yeah. I never knew there was a game called Discuss. Yeah. Let's play Discuss. <laughs> discuss with Fantasy. Yeah. Like, what does the n name mean? <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, I just transformed to someone else's house. <laughs> oh, wow, you were inside a woman. <laughs> you were inside her. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm the new Golds bro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty big woman, though. It's hard not to get inside her. That is true, though. So it worked. Baby got back. All right, now let's get some tools. Hello, I will sell you tools. Why, why do you need to buy any oh, tool? Aren't you one already? I get the tilt, the tilty, which get is it? sort of sonic boom. Get, get, get it, Ronnie? No. Oh. I said, why do you need to buy any tools? Aren't you one already? <laughs> like a power tool or a wrench? Oh, I get it. <laughs> I don't, but anyway. Buy the power blade. Oh wait, that's a different game. No, I got the tilty. I think it's the teal. Yeah, I only got $142. Oh, dude, I could buy myself two months of Taco Bell. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> Not endorsing Taco Bell. Definitely buy yourself two months on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get the joke. I never really had bad bathrooms. Especially with the, uh, you know, breakfast. Know. Which we don't have here in Canada yet. Urgh. I've yet to try. I should try. I want to try that, you know, taco, I don't know, hash brown thingy. Well, it I looks think you good, can make it, but <laughs> we can don't make have it yourself. in Canada yet. Just make it Oh, yourself. what happened? You teleported again. Yeah, this is the part of the section right here I forgot to go to. So let me beat this. Let me beat this um, pizza monster. Yeah. It's like an HR Geiger looking thing. Rest in peace. Now right, I, now I just dated this episode. For a while. <laughs> yeah, I just dated this episode now. <laughs> now I got the battle helmet. Now my life it's is complete. It's a 1980s game. We get to date ourselves. <laughs> now, now my yeah. life is complete. I am fully armored. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Yeah, whatever. I don't yeah, care about the like game. That's like the guy from Ghouls and Ghosts. Yeah, Ghost of Goblins. Now oh, yeah, I said that in part 7, I think. But now, now he really does, like, like fully yeah. armed, fully powered up. Yeah. What about fully legged? WWF fully loaded? Fully loaded! <laughs> right, oh, God! Another promotion. What's it gonna Two? be? 
douchebag. Lord. Oh. Lord douchebag. Lords of Thunder. Lord Stephen Regal. Wow. Oh, look, that's the top rank. I can't get no more uh I can't get more experience points, but that's the top rank. Yes, but it should be rank ECW, but that's all right. <laughs> be hey, you worked again. Yep, and now I had to go back here the whole time. I didn't know about that until I looked on YouTube, and <laughs> so I need to talk to the guru that they've been telling me about. As opposed to the evil two. By hiding in his own body. How are you gonna do that? Eat a sword? Yeah, dude. Two swords went inside of him. That's <laughs> like the sword eaters. I seen that in some, you know illegal flits and all that, but still I <laughs> I wouldn't use a sword like that. I thought that was a circus. So now I get the demon's ring, so I can go through that door, and now we are in the final part of the game. Is that like a marriage proposal, the demon ring? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, honey, here's a demon ring. <laughs> Listen to this track. It's like a reverse edition of the uh, the track before you get ready to fight a boss. Yeah, wait, no, pause the video. Go to the 8-bit stereo. Go to this track. Okay, 3, 2, 1, play. Oh, shut sure. We got to plug your 8-bit <laughs> stereo effects and do in all parts of, of this. You didn't game. have to, <laughs> but thank you. I know. Watch my new Padman review. Yeah, bro, There's nothing to do with this. <laughs> Alright, so now this is a, ah, I think this is kind of a maze right here, or, um, ah, dang it, <laughs> see? Good job. <laughs> Goofing it. Alright, so look how eerie and gray this, uh, this part of the game looks. It reminds me of Simon's Quest in the, uh, Dracula's Castle, except in here there's actually enemies to watch out for. Or green to me. Well, it's yeah. always, it's always green there on the other side of the castle. Yeah. Oh no. What the hermits say it's always cool to be green. But these things aren't cool. Whoa. Ah. Oh yeah, I remember these guys from like part 7 or 6 or something. Yeah, part yeah, 7. Well, yeah, we commented on them for like a minute because Ronnie was, wasn't doing too well. <laughs> yeah. Are you trying to beat this game without ECW mode? I'm pretty oh, sure I can do it. I'm actually using ECW mode. Well, there should be have a mode where... You don't get knocked down. Yeah, I think that's called Game Genie. No, there's no such code though as that in this game, I don't think. We'll make one. We okay. have the technology. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> no, we don't. Well, well, it's, it's society does, stuff. but us three don't. Ah! Yeah, I only can oh. criticize about bad games. I can't actually make them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, you guys made bad games, so I can make one of you. Yeah. <laughs> Even though you guys worked very hard on it, program. Yeah, you worked hard yeah. on the, um, on the spelling <laughs> of uh, Ghostbusters. Really? Oh yeah, the uh, Ghostbusters game. Congratulations! Yeah. Improved improve the culture of our justice. Yeah. Now all your base belong to us. Yeah. Whoa, it's a pizza monster again. As I use the uh, wing boots to get past that, that crab. Wait, pizza monster? Pizza yeah. the hut! So we got what we eat, I'm trying to do. Uh, pizza with the wee, uh, the wee monsters. But the pizza monsters? What? Yeah, I'm we never gonna eat at Little Caesars again. <laughs> no, pizza is wrong. Dude, I love Little Caesars. Like, two largest oh, for 10 shoot. bucks. Oh shoot! Oh jeez, yeah. lord. Is this the final boss? It's the final boss! Why is this so like the ATDs or whatever they call it from Star Wars? <laughs> like, or, I got old and... and I it's ET! I thought it was Ed 209 from Robocop. <laughs> it is, it got, it got old, I guess. I don't know, but... That's it. Oh, that's it! No! As Odin, as Odin uh, now con congratulates us. There's barely any build up to that. Oh, that's a good enough boss. Big but, dude. Probably, well, I had ECW mode, so I made it look easy. Yeah, really. So this is the guy with the sword in his... I don't know, Rectum? No, he was <laughs> that, that oh. dragon I beat for part 8. Okay. Whoa. 
And now it's a beautiful day once again in the land of tree. In the land of yeah, world tree. Land. The uh, secret of Minecraft, Minecraft Martin Skype name. No. Yeah, yeah, so that's it. The tree. Uh, yeah, that's it. Not much to the ending, but not bad. At least it has it. It's the same as okay. the opening, except it's slightly greener. And <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, walking yeah. away. Why? Oh, you're right. We got oh, the grass is greener on the other side of the castle. Ah! I said inside, but yeah, that works too. Uh, yeah! Alright. Reminds me of uh, Uninvited Ending. Everything's all gray and gloomy when you beat the game. It's all beautiful and pretty, y'all. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, those are reflection effects. You know what? Let's discuss 10 out of 10. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Look at the size of that tree. It really is a world tree. Imagine yeah, a tree that big. I think there is. They exist. Alright, so that is it for Let's Play Fezanadu for the NES. Um, yeah, so I mean, this game definitely is, it's, I think it's pretty underrated. I don't know if Happy Video Game Nerd ever reviewed it, uh, but I don't know what he really thinks of it, but honestly, this game is very underrated. I first played this when I was like 11, 12 years old, I rented it from a local rental store, and uh, I was never good at it. Me and my friend played it all weekend. I never got past the first segment of the game, really. But I remember like seeing, I think seeing it in Nintendo Power Magazine or something. I forgot where I seen that. Like I think I had one of those Nintendo posters that would come with the games and stuff. And then I heard a lot about this game or I don't really hear about it. I just saw the pictures of it and I was like, hmm, this seems like maybe a good fun adventure game. And so I rented it at uh, Flix. That was the name of the store. And like, my mom was with me and she saw me grab the box from the uh, shelf. And you know, the box cover... And I'll put it right here, just the box cover. Um, it shows like, it looks like Zelda box cover, kind of, but different. Like, you know, a bland background, not really showing the, any characters or anything on the box. And so my mom's like, is that the game you're going to get? Do you even know what it's about? <laughs> Judging a video game by its box art. And I said, no, I don't, but I'm going to rent it anyway. So, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I just always sucked at it, except now because they used ECW mode. And I did a let's a long time no play of it back in 2009, I think, on the Ron Moore channel. Didn't get far there either, but I really wanted to do this on the S2K channel, and I really wanted to get through it the whole game and beat it. Um, so I cheated, and yeah, it was very fun. This is a real awesome game. The soundtrack is real sweet. Who did the soundtrack again? We got Jun Shikuma, I think is how you pronounce it. Yeah, and he did an awesome job with the soundtrack. This game has awesome music. Graphics, eh, not, not, no, it's okay. Uh, gameplay, um, gameplay's okay. Uh, he kind of looks stupid, like Star Soldier said, flying in the air is not really like, he just, I don't know, it's like floating or something. It looks kind of dumb. But as far as like the controls and the mechanics, um, I mean, eh, it's alright, but it's just a, it's a fun, underrated adventure game. Like, you really go exploring in different environments, uh, and different music, and so, yeah. I don't think it's as good as Zelda or Star Tropics, but it definitely is fun. It's worth playing at least once and maybe going back and playing again one day. So, yeah, I give this game an 8 out of 10. We got? All right, well, uh, unfortunately, I have not played this game. I don't actually even have it. I just uh, haven't really, I guess, come across it. No, I have. Maybe it was the pricing that was getting me to get it. But either way, I have not picked it up. I should definitely next retro gaming expo i should but uh from what i saw even though if i came pretty late into the let's play it still looks pretty cool i would definitely give it a try i mean hudson soft really they make they made good quality games they did make good games and of course the soundtrack is very good check out my ape hey, stereo version of it if you're interested in hearing it in a in a new sort of enhanced uh better sound i guess yeah <laughs> shameless plugs all the way all the way but, uh, yeah, if I were to play it, I probably would give it, like, maybe, like, a 7 out of 10. I would have to really play it to get a definite score. But the preview, I guess, score would be that for now. Yeah. Okay, and Star Soldier, I know you played this a long time ago and beat it. But I don't know how good your memory is uh, of it. Or, I guess it got refreshed after seeing this LP. But what do you say, Star? <laughs> yeah, it was definitely cool, you know, looking back on this one again, because it has been a while, but I do remember having a good time with it, and, I don't know, maybe because I haven't played it in a while, is because I know I can get this game easily, 
Well, I already have it in my collection, of course, but, you know, bots, instructions, everything. Getting it like that is actually no problem at all. I'm actually surprised Wii Guy doesn't have it because he has, like, ones like Cheetah Man 2 and some rare ones out there. But <laughs> this one is, like, super, super common. It was a huge hit for Nintendo, Falcom, and Hunts and Soft. Like, I think that's the main reason why there hasn't been a sequel to this game, at least... Not like a real Fat Santa do too, in a sense, but maybe spiritual sequels. But anyway, yeah, the main reason there wasn't a sequel is because there are so many companies making it. Who made the sequel? Nintendo, Hunt and Soft, or Falcom? I don't know. <laughs> and they all probably say, okay, uh, we're Falcom and we want to make a sequel. Well, you can't do it without us. We're Hunt and Soft. Well, you can't do it without Nintendo because, you know, we're Nintendo and, uh, you know, we're the big consoles. <laughs> we actually made the systems. Oh, fine. We will make it then. <laughs> yeah. And it's a shame, too, because it is a good action-adventure game. You know, you can build up your levels. You can see your character grow stronger over time. It's an interesting story about a you know, mystical tree, and you get so many weapons and people to talk to. It does get repetitive. Like, there are definitely better action-adventure role-playing games out there now. And the controls definitely take some getting used to, especially when you have to get used to the running and jumping mechanics. But other than that, you know, you got good weapons, <laughs> an interesting character to you. So there's a lot of variety in the gameplay. And, you know, like you said, the graphics and music are definitely above average. And it's a huge game, too. Like, we have to go through, like, a lot of playthroughs play just to see it all. And... Yeah, it's just a big, awesome game, and it's cheap. Get it. Get it while you can. Well, the getting's good. <laughs> I keep on telling people, you don't have to get, like, the little Sansons or the Flintstones at Dinosaur Peak and drop a thousand bucks. No, just get this one for ten bucks, and you're happy. You're good. <laughs> yeah. Please play some Nintendo. It, it's honestly not as scary as people would make it out to be, <laughs> yeah. especially with good, cheap games like this out there. And I give it. A 78 out of 100. All right, yeah, and I think this game would have been a little better if it had, you can throw some spears, like in Not Me on Elm Street. That would have been pretty easy, W. Um, and, yeah, so, yeah, this game definitely not bad, and I really enjoy this LP. All right, guys, so that is it. We are out of here. As some of you already know, my next LP on the channel will be Mega Man 5, oh. Star Soldier's favorite game. Yeah. All right, so... We'll see you guys then. I'm Ron Moore. We guy. I'm not looking forward to making it five, but hey, um, whatever. I'm Arizona World Champ. See you all later. All right. Oh, God Man bless five. and take care. Uh -huh. Woo! Uh -huh. I'll be the Mega Man Five World Champ. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh man, I'm in hard man stage now. No, it's concrete man. <laughs> Love Typical this stage. Capcom. Love this track. Hard man. Check out We Guys 8 bit stereo of Mega Man 5, Shamer's plug. Yeah, no. As, as I said, when it's just 8 bit stereo, there is no shame. It is just pure like that is the thing to plug. Yeah. Besides yeah, plug check it. out my Strider review. Much better than this game. Another oh. Capcom classic. Alright, so. Oh, dang it. Alright, here we go. Getting the first letter in the game. What up, Shut G? Up. Yeah, I love that. Collecting the letters. It's so you almost like all the, G, I wish I was playing all the game. <laughs> Shut what? up. You're just mad <laughs> that Strider is basically Mega Man, but with a human guy instead of a robot boy. <laughs> <laughs> So when you, you collect, to be the best. when you collect all the letters and the Roman, Roman, the Roman numeral five, you get the room. beat. Yeah, you get beat. No, you don't get beat as a beat up, but you get beat the bird. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Go base on. Fail. This game can beat it. <laughs> God, I love those names. What do you got you against know? this game, dude? This game freaking rocks. Well, sure. it's five games in the series that. Here's a fifth one we don't need. We got the lamest bosses in the collection, practically. Whoa, 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 wait. Dude, but, Hold on but, a second. One of the best soundtracks. Dust Man, Plant Man? Not on this stage, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, well, Shut we, up. we can argue and debate and let's discuss. Right now, let's discuss how awesome <laughs> the stage is. Yeah, I will say, more Mega Man games will equal, did equal more great soundtracks. Yeah, it sure did. Are you listening? What, 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 the robot? Yeah. Well, the Robot Master names have failed. At least the soundtrack's got awesome. Yeah. Just don't make it like Mega Man 5 and we're good. Oh. Alright, so, well, I guess we're in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can see Sylvester Stallone on the cliffs over there. <laughs> John Lithgow. Yeah, yeah, who was that chick in that movie? Uh... <laughs> Nobody remembers. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Just like Mega Man 5, nobody remembers it. Oh, please. Dang it. <laughs> this is the new Wii Guy vs. Star Soldier, except it's oh, Raw Mortar vs. Star Soldier. This game way better than Mega Man 1. Mega Man 1 was the first. This one is the fifth. So, no, well, not, well uh, you know what? I'll play the fifth. Not all the first ones are great. What about the uh, first Star Trek movie? That one wasn't good. And Star Trek 5 was much better? Uh, probably better than the first one, yeah. <laughs> I've seen it. Trust me, it's not better. I've seen it, and I say it is, so you know what? Suck it. Double uh, Dragon 5 was better. No, I'm not ready. Oh god, no, please don't. <laughs> yeah, almost everything in the 5 in it pretty much sucks. Yeah, well, so, yeah, I guess so. I heard Die Hard 5 wasn't that good, but... I mean, Mega Man 5's not good. And episode 5 of Star Wars? Okay, that one was <laughs> Dang it, I keep failing right here. What the heck? This game the, fails. I knew, I knew, the... I knew Star Wars was going to say, Oh, this like this game failed. Ooh, <laughs> I can't be... We got Jay with us now. This game sucks because it's the fifth one. I <laughs> know, oh, Basis Loaded 5 wasn't too bad. Dang it! There was no Basis Loaded 5. <laughs> yeah, no. I think I'm... the Super Nintendo one might count as the fifth one. Super Basis Loaded. Oh, there, there we go. go. Much like how Super Double Dragon is Double Dragon 4. Yeah. What about, what about the fifth 8-bit uh, stereo? I think that was Blaster Master. Oh, well, yeah, there you go. See, that, that's a much better <laughs> game. I don't know, I never played Master... Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> master! Master! Yeah. I never played Master Eater. <laughs> oh, another extra man. I think, I think these games do get easier though as they go along, even though at first this game was hard to me, but Mega Man 1 is definitely the hardest, 2 is at first very challenging, and then Spike 3 is pretty easy. Yeah, here you're pretty much just going through the motions. Not really. I mean, well, like right here, again, like when you first play it, it, it I think starting with Mega Man 3 and 4, once you actually get used to the game, it's easy. Like he's got re like regular Metroid is still hard, at least to me to this day. But some of these games, like once you learn them, it's freaking you can walk through them. And like Stone Man right here, very yeah. easy. Brick Man, yeah. 
It's pretty much like Toad Man. He's just hopping around. Uh, I will say though that there's a, maybe two soundtracks in this game. Is kind of oh, this one right here. I think it's too bad, but in the beginning it sounds like a news bulletin is about to start. This just in. One of those old 80s bulletins. Yeah. This just in. Mega Man fires up his ass. I knew you were gonna say that. I knew you were gonna say that. Mega Man 5, the disappointment of the series. Oh, no way. <laughs> Forgot about Look, Mega Man X. spin in because it's so bad. What? I want to spin out of this game. See, he wants to play Power Stone instead of Mega Man 5. Alright, so next. Oh. Oh, no. Now, this guy <laughs> It's not gonna get any better. I'm sorry out there, everybody. Oh, but his stage and soundtrack is pretty cool. No, it isn't. <laughs> yeah, it is. You don't like the music? Not in this stage. No, it's too corny. What? You're corny. You're in corn chat. You're corny. Corn man. That would be cooler than charge man. Let me get corn shack in here. Hang on, it's corn shack here. I gotta put Star Soldier in this place. You don't know what a good game is. This is the Mega Man 5 came out. Capcom 992. <laughs> yeah, he hates my guts. <laughs> Screw him. <laughs> I'm gonna call him, uh, him out in my next video. <laughs> Star Soldier calls out, uh, <coughs> Corn Shack. Yeah. Again, put the shack attack on him. Yeah. Put the shackles on him. Ah, uh, here's a Frosted Flakes chicken. What's a chicken doing in a stage like this? I don't get it. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? I changed my mind. Maybe if I does suck. Star Soldier. Ooh, this game sucks because you got chickens in it. Yeah. It's a KFC what? level, yay. But at the time they're doing a promotion for KFC, I didn't know that. What a cock. Wait, we what? got rats and chickens. Best Mega Man ever. Alright, I'm gonna get an A, which means this game deserves an A for its awesomeness. It's a get an A for atrocious. Oh, please. Oh, I thought you were going to say A meant for ass. <laughs> that too. Oh, come on. If AVGN didn't make fun of this game, that means it's cool. <laughs> it was in the point of his videos. The game glitch. Oh, yeah. That, the game glitch. Yeah, but that's, a, that's yeah, good. Yeah, he showed the entire game and he said, Oh, the game sucks because the entire game is a glitch. <laughs> Your, commentary, game. Your commentary is a glitch. <laughs> In fact, this is why Capcom canceled Mega Man. Oh, we played Mega Man 5 again and realized this is really bad. Sorry. <laughs> they canceled Mega Man Legends 3. <laughs> and Universe. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm waiting for Star Sword. Ooh, this game, the Capcom only has 128 million in the bank because of this game. Pretty much. Oh, charge, we're gonna get a charge out of this one. Yeah, this is a lane. No, no, we're not, actually, because this boss is probably the worst boss in Mega Man history. No, I've had to say, uh, Dust Man or Plant Man is. It's a train. How oh, can it be any worse? Well, you fight <laughs> dust. <laughs> well, it's a dust. You fight oh. dust or a flower. I mean, a train could do more damage than Get dust. aboard! Or get aboard! <laughs> it's only board. Let's abort this. <laughs> Uh, oh, the, the commentary. oh, he's gonna charge at you. Watch out! <laughs> I charge you to shut up. <laughs> I charge the fifth. <laughs> so you use Power Stone uh, to defeat Charge Man. Yay! And now we get the worst weapon in Mega Man history. Well, you're there, the top spin. No, I think this one's even worse because you have to use a melee move. And you can't pretty much do anything else. With the Todd spin, you, you can at least kill the end boss in one hit. Oh yeah, which is too that's, easy. That's just cheap, but... With the charge kick, you know, you pretty much have to stay on the ground to use it, and hopefully kill enemies with it, which we, it usually doesn't. We get a kick out of this. Wave Man. Yeah, I love his theme. Oh yeah, this theme is like, it's so relaxing. Yeah. Venom 22, is telling me, Venom 22 is telling me on Tom, oh, this song is like so relaxed, makes me want to 
dance slowly or something. <laughs> Slow dance. Yeah, if only this soundtrack was in a better game. <laughs> you know what? Even if this game really did <laughs> suck, you know, not me on M Street has a, a good soundtrack. Even though the game sucks. Yeah, if only this soundtrack was in Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> it would make sense to Nightmare on Elm Street. Well, no, no. Yeah, this song, unless you, like, woke up from Freddy's Nightmare and this is happy music. Yeah, this is, like, it's like this the is end definitely game. my nightmare. <laughs> Please, Freddy, kill me already so I don't have to watch this. No offense. <laughs> I would Freddy? definitely watch this if it was Mega Man 6 or Mega Man 4. You know, the good Mega Man's, but... Mega Man 4. No, no, I think, I think, uh... Dude, those water effects. I think this is definitely better than six. Maybe not four, but definitely better than six. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you know? You think this is? You think one's better than this? Oh yeah, one is way better. <laughs> it's way more. At least Mega Man Five is not be as hard, where it's cheap. I can beat Mega Man One. It's a legit challenge. That's this like is saying. like almost like too easy. It is I don't not. Dr. Wadi's stage. Pretty cheap. Like you barely had yeah. any problems in this stage whatsoever. I don't know about that argument. That's like me saying I can beat Festus Cuts without even dying once. <laughs> <laughs> like I proved in my LP of it. Yeah, Mega Man might be hard because it's the original, but it's still very cool in a way that I introduced so many gameplay elements. This one it feels just like a rehash. But dude, you're in a boat, or whatever this thing is. <laughs> Yeah, this is something new. It's not like all the same. It's I mean, pretty it much just a poor man's rust marine that you can only use one part of a stage in the game. Well, it's like making the stage different, like different uh, elements of the stage rather than the same jump and shoot. So, I mean, I thought it was a cool addition right here. I mean... Oh, you're cool. moving and you're shooting. It's so different. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, but the way it looks, the way it's done is different. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, Wave Man stage. <laughs> I mean, you could even do this in Bubble Man stage. I'm not feeling the waves on this one. Do the wave! Get the E! Yes! Got the E. Yeah. I give this game an E for effort. <laughs> That's worse than an F, because it's not even on the grade scale. I give an E for excellent. I give an E for ECW. WWE edition. Oh, damn it. No, that's that's oh, no, a, it's this game. That's a low blow. Game. That's a low blow. This game ain't that bad. Yeah, you're talking as if this is like uh, 1942. <laughs> Capcom was worst effort. All right, wait, man. Now he's a stupid charge kick right here. I mean, I'm not a fanboy of this game. I will say where parts were stupid and it sucks. Like this right here, the charge kick. Like, oh, come on. It probably is the lamest move in. Uh, the Mega Man series. Oh, I thought you were talking about the rest of the game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and we never had to use a charge kick ever, ever again. Yeah, you gotta use it in uh, Dr. Wally's stage. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Thank God you guys are just watching this video. You don't have to play the game. Hey, we got water! The water wave! Be careful everybody, he's gonna shoot water at you! Uh, I just well, can't take the criticism! <laughs> well, in Mega Man 2, you use bubbles, no one said anything about that. It's a lead bubbles, man. Yeah, and you're actually using them in water, so it made sense. Watch out, cheese! Hey, you don't you use bubbles in <laughs> that the entire game. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, the bubble man, it made sense for him because he's underwater when you fight him. You can still shoot water in real life. You don't have to be underwater to shoot water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, water gun man. No, no. Starman. But Starman stage right here. I don't like the track the stage. The stage is pretty cool. Except you actually jump. You, you know, you're actually in outer space. They care too yeah, much for too the track. Too bad could be though. like two Starman stages and take out, you know, Charge Man. Yeah. And maybe this game would be good. Oh. Well, if you take out your commentary, maybe this video would be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Let's see if I can get this. Yes! Oh! He got it. 
Just touch the spite so this game can end. I'm thinking of Star <laughs> uh, Track right here. Star Track. Star Soldier Track. <laughs> uh, Star Soldier, you don't realize this game is the best because it's the most expensive to purchase. At least in all the Yay. Mega games, they, they thought of different ways to use the Mii tools. Yeah. Except, except I got this from Ronnie, so thank you, Ron. You're welcome. Best present I ever received that wasn't a present. It was just a gift. Well, not was really a gift. I was paying to help you with your with your stuff. Yeah. Shout out to Ron. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pay him and he'll give you games. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he'll give you a good game instead of Mega Man 5. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we Star Soldier say like, You call that a gift, Wee Guy? <laughs> It was a gift. Yeah. Sorry, we got ten guy. bucks. Totally worth it. And three other games. About you 50 paid bucks. that much for it? It's not worth ten bucks. Yeah, I can't think of other games with five in the title that are pretty bad. Action Fifty Two, Mega Man Five, Star Wars. Oh no, no. doesn't count. Or Star Trek Five. <laughs> Mega Man Five, to Action Fifty Two. Easy. No, it's not easy. <laughs> Charge Man. Well, this boss is easy. Use the wave attack on Star Man. Mario Party 5? Is that better? <laughs> Mario Party That's 5 a much flows. better game. You don't party in that game. You can't smoke a joint in that party. Whoa. Star Soldier. It would be a party. I'll throw a party when this game is over. <laughs> I'll bring I, uh, the party favors. Right the wave. <laughs> Ah, see what they did there? You're still floating even though the stage is over. <laughs> nice consist consistency there. Mega Man ain't no consistent constancy, whatever that game was called. Yeah, make it, yeah, that ROM hack. Yeah, Super Arrow. That's like a plunger more than like a, than an arrow. All right, so yeah, this game definitely uses a plunger because it has so much crap back here. <laughs> Alright, so that's the end of part one for this awesome game, no matter what anybody says, of Mega Man 5. Till then, God bless and take care. Yeah. Yay! <laughs>
definitely want to make this throw off or throw up. Okay, as we, as, we as we're not paying attention to Star Soldier, here's Gravity Man. Use a star crash, because you know, gravity, star, and that's how I you want to pay no man. attention to this game. Then why are you here? Oh, to bash it. <laughs> yeah, to but like people, not to play you're it. not paying attention to it, but you are by bashing it. Your argument isn't invalid. My argument is very valid. Please don't play this. Very invalid. Play the very Mega good Mega Man, Mega Man very, very invalid review Mega Man 9. Now you're being very invalid review Mega Man 5. <laughs> Yeah, maybe at 9, oh. we're getting way ahead. Points for reference, as I get gravity hold. As hold it. Star Soldier's, Star Soldier's call on hold, so we have to hear his hating. No, um... Yeah. This game needs to be put on hold. Gyro Man! Yay! <laughs> Windmill I, Man! I like this Air Man! I like this oh, music, but it's a bit too friendly. Yeah, it's the, like, <laughs> lightest, lightest track. No pun there, either. And an ECW. But I like it. Eh. Yeah. I it's know. okay, but it doesn't belong in the Mega Man game. Shut it! <laughs> Shut it! Enough! <laughs> I'm going to rage quit this like Jamin did in Shout Yet 64. <laughs> <laughs> Not because of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Mega Man is an action game where you shoot shit. It's not like a Tolo collecting flowers type of game, no. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Flower man, flowers. plant man. <laughs> flowers, flowers of Robert Maplethorpe. Oh man. <laughs> oh, the yeah. chick in his back. Extra man. Yeah, oh, Airman, mean... Airman stage is much cooler. Whoa, another one. Oh, Airman another stage one is much that. cooler than uh, this stage. Yeah, pretty much all the air boss masters are cooler than <laughs> Anything else in Mega Man 5? Eh, I don't know about Sheep Man. Sheep Man was cool because uh, not you know, it's sort of a pun. This one it is has just nothing to do yeah, with electricity. Like, the man. Look at me, I got like blades on my back. Well, well it can't be worse. A, a freaking flower. <laughs> at least it's not Mega you Man 8. Soundtrack? Talking about Plant Man. I'd rather be Gyro Man than Plant Man. Look, I'm a Plant Man. I'm going to shoot seeds at you as I grow in power from the seeds. What the heck were they thinking? <laughs> what were they thinking with this game? Well, they were thinking pretty good. They're much better than what they do with Mega Man 6. You just Plant Man. <laughs> That's only one bad boss master compared to the eight in here. Oh, Dustman's still worse than any of the eight in here. Even Choo Choo Man? Choo Choo Man. Yeah, at least, you know, a train can hurt you more than dust. I don't know. I'm more likely to get dust in my throat than the train. That's the target. Yeah, there's, there's dust all over the place. It's a silent killer. With the train, it's not very silent. It's very annoying, actually. Yeah, but you can do more damage. Ask no J-Man about the train. About the train. I'm very clean. All right. Here we go. Helicopter man. Turnstile man. Who? Wake it, little man. Now this battle is kind of a joke. It's pretty much just like Pharaoh Man's battle. You keep using the bright They're stopper joke. or flash stopper or whatever it's called. And that's it. Oh, kind of like the flash yep, stopper also it. against Quick Man. <laughs> that's all we're gonna be saying throughout this playthrough. That's it. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, wasn't better. You know, the playthrough is fine. It's just the game itself. Wait, what? He says you playing this game sucks. Wait, did that make sense? Even no, it's I don't know. That sucks. Not You're doesn't. actually playing this game very well, but it's hard not to play it well when the game is so easy and so void of challenge. So but you, back then, though, it was challenging when you first play it. Oh, so you want to play hard games, eh? Yeah. Look There's at Crystal this, Man. it's a mess stage. Crystal Man, real similar, kind of similar to um, uh, Gemini, Gemini Man stage. Except Gemini was way better. Oh, yeah. Multicolored, you know, areas, you know, you 
can go underwater. Gemini Man was pretty cool. This is just kind of wussy. Oh, oh look, no, it's I Diamond Man. Wussy. These uh, crystal things can really be a pain in the neck. <laughs> crystal oh. shards, isn't yeah. that a Kirby game? I don't know, I never played any Kirby game. Oh, that's a bad choice, first of all. But, I mean, what do you expect? It's the fifth game. Is there any game series on the NES that went <laughs> more than four? <laughs> Shut up. I like the ladder. I mean, really? The design of the ladder. <laughs> the ladder's pretty chill. Yes. ECW tank. I mean, what is it? This base is loaded for. There was a fourth hut, Adventure Island, but no games went past five. I mean, they had now, six here. Right here, I want to say real quick. Hey, remember Counselor's Not Corner, or whatever it's called, uh, Counselor's Corner Nintendo Power Magazine? Somebody uh, actually wrote a question. How do you get past these crystal gunners? All you really? do is this! <laughs> they never knew. How? What? Well, that's not a legit question. It's not even. That's not a challenge right there. I mean, it's kind of tricky. You can't shoot the them while they're charging challenge. their crystal guns. But that's all you do. It's not like it's freaking hard. You got to ride a letter to Counselor's Corner. <laughs> How do you get past the crystal gunners? Come on. <laughs> if you can't beat this game, you have to give up your gamer card. Well, I mean, it is. Fa now, remember, even ABG animated this game is freaking challenging. Just playing it all night to get to. To beat the game or get to Dr. Wadi's castle. At first, it's challenging, but once you figure out all the patterns and stuff, I mean, just like Contra. Contra is very challenging at first, but once you beat it and play it over the years, it's freaking easy. Well, it's only challenging because the game glitched out on them. <laughs> but even so, like, this game. It's one of those games that first is challenging. Wait a minute, hold on. Yes! You got it! It's one of those games that was challenging at first. But like, to me, Metroid, original Metroid to this day is still freaking hard. And Mega Man yeah, 5... because it's good. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> Mega Man 5 is one of those games where, well, you know, it can be hard way too easy. And then once you get used to it, it's easy. It's like Contra. Contra's good, but it's easy. It's way too, you <laughs> it's way too easy to get used to it. And that's what made it lame. That made no uh, sense. We got it's fighting Crystal Man. Man. Ryan, Ryan's running out of... He's run out of things to say. <laughs> run yeah. out of trolling. Run out of insults because this game has run out of things to work with. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. You got Shiny Man. Yay. No, you become a... Uh, kind of, you know, super power you going to get here? Oh, you become Brian Cranston. This is Crystal Man, right? Yeah, you got, you got Crystal Man. Yes, Crystal. Ah, uh, Crystal. I see what you did there. Mind All right, side. the final Robot Master, Mega Man Five, Napalm Man. Uh, the fate is in the napalm of your hand. Yeah, more like nap lame man. Oh, that was lame. <laughs> this right. game is lame. Watch out for Tony. How? Look at those trees moving and the wind. Dang it. This game is great. Wow. See, look, Tony the Tiger. <laughs> see, look, there he is. This game is great. Rest in peace, Lee Marshall. Love the track and the stage. Very easy. It's pretty good. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll look at the background, though. It reminds me of a uh, worm. Journey to the center of the earth. Yeah. Oh, boy. oh, a better game. Now, be sure right. that it, now, sure about now, that? Now you're just straight up BSing right there. I don't know, the girl was kind of hot in it. Oh, so that but makes the game automatically better. Better than Mega Man 5 anyways, which has nothing. No. You have nothing. Well, post your hate comments <laughs> under this video. Call Star Someone needs to call Star Soldier out on that BS comment saying Worm is better than Mega Man 5. All right, bring it on, fanboys! All two of you that are Mega Man Five. No, even people hate Mega Man Five. I'm gonna call you out. That's like saying Shadowgate '64 is better than Mega Man Two. There's no comparison. No. Give me another E. <laughs> this game is an E. BCW. WWE edition. Oh, you said that joke last time. <laughs> yeah. I, 
It's almost like this game is recycling content. Well, you act like Jerry Lawler <laughs> right now, recycling commentary. Ha ha ha! Burn! Oh, extra life! Oh, wait. This game is a burn. <laughs> ah, there we go. Yes, now I got beat. Yay. Beat it! Okay, I'm all maxed out on, on extra lives, so... I'm gonna skip that. Oh, look out. Gee, what a surprise. What? You hear Matt Sal on Extra Lives in Mega Man 5. I maxed out Extra Lives on 4 and 6. Yeah, yeah. but you get way too many of them in this game. So that's good. Mega Man 4 was like, you know, balls to wall hard. Not really. <laughs> it was just Ring longer, Man. that's all. Well, I mean, I do yeah, agree. Certain it enemies like Bright Man, Ring Man. They had much more health compared to like the original trilogy. Here they yeah. made it a bit too easy now. Yeah, right. it's I mean, unbalanced yeah. in the way I mean, that it is. It is easier than Mega Man Four. Oh yeah. But one thing that's stupid when the energy filled up when you get ready to fight, like right here, this fills up fast. Mega Man Four, you gotta wait for one little notch at a time. That was stupid. I hurry up, I want to get the fight. Now I use Crystal Eye to bust Napalm Man in his eye. I see what you did, there. <laughs> I see a really bad game. Uh, this is like bashing a dead horse with a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> I've just about had it. I'm quitting the SD2K because of the Star Soldier. <laughs> <laughs> making fun of my fa new favorite Mega Man game. I don't know why, but... <laughs> Wait, I know why. <laughs> Nobody knows why, because... I know! <laughs> You're ruining my dreams! You got a net bomb. Yes, Proto now man. we're going to Proto Man's castle. Prototype man. Who's go, behind? Proto man castle. Who's behind? Yeah. Oh, who's behind all the evil in this game? We must stop him. Well, I stop I him. Need to know it's Proto Man's castle. Oh wait, by the giant sunglasses. <laughs> That's so obvious. <laughs> the commentary is obvious. As we will see you guys in part three. So until then, God bless. Take care. Oh, there's more of this crap. That's it. Welcome to Let's Play Mega Man 5 Part 3. This is Ron Moore on the Star Soldier and the Wii Guy. <laughs> I, I love Pro Man's Castle. And the sounds and the track in this castle. I don't. Oh yes. And this the pink background. I don't know about that, but oh well. <laughs> That's Tony the Tiger. Not even girls love this level. Oh, it's Bro Man stage. A pink castle. <laughs> oh, Bro Man, he's so <laughs> hot. My little fucking pony. <laughs> hot stuff coming through. Ah! I bet Ryan thinks oh he's hot stuff. God. It's Barbie's favorite castle, Promen's. Promen's castle, my little castle. <laughs> I used to wonder what How this, this game, game any worse. You know, I, I learned a lesson in. <laughs> you can in, probably get those power ups, but you don't need them. I learned a lesson in humility earlier because as I was recording this, this castle's kicking my butt. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Now, I don't like the rush jet in this game. Like, in part 3, you can use the rush jet anywhere, then part 4, they made it even more limited, and then part 5 is real limited. Like, what the heck? They just neutered rush. Yeah. They, they were... Oh! <laughs> yeah, because they, they were also going to make a female rush, and, um, <laughs> you know, we couldn't have any more rushes. I don't know. She would have been a bitch. Yeah. Well, if they neuter her, I'm going to use pretty much a woman already. No oh boy. <laughs> Dang it. It's Ed 209, watch out. Yeah. You have 20 seconds to comply. Oh no. Thank you for your cooperation. I hate, this in, any, I hate this in any Mega Man game. I like it. Too bad it's in this game. Nah, you like something to Mega Man 5. Uh -huh. Forget this. <laughs> yeah, forget it. The whole game That's is it. a joke, though. Ha ha ha. You what? 
but I didn't hear you. <laughs> I don't think the you need to. I, yeah, you don't need to hear Ryan. We already yeah. know what his commentary is. We don't even need to bother anymore. Yeah. He's the heel commentator. He's, he's the heel. He's the heel color commentator of X2K. Yeah, he's the new bear, pretty much. Yeah. Except Star Soldier talks, and here's the first boss of <laughs> so Proto Man's so castle. Man. The, the bosses in this castle Suck. are lame. <laughs> it's like you're fighting toy robots. Is this Toy Story for the NES or Mega Man 5? It's pretty much the same boss, uh, just slightly different variants until you finally meet Proto Man himself. Yeah. Who's the main bad guy of this game, totally. Yep. <laughs> it's right not Dr. Wily. The first step yeah. not Dr. Wily. Look at that. Back then, see that satellite dish? That was real cable back then. Yeah. They were developing this game in 1986. Wait, <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait, yes. <laughs> All right, Pro-Man's Castle Stage 2. One of the best channels, get to Red TV. And don't play Mega Man 5. See, we were actually doing you a favor out there. And we're playing it so you don't have to. I gotta use a plunger. No, but they got... We got... I can't even anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I just give up. <laughs> yeah, it's a plunger because you're, you know, digging down through the shit. Oh, God. You make that the joke superhero. Part, yep. See? You're recycling commentary it's here, like Jerry Lawler. It's like in Mega Man 5. They totally recycled stages from earlier Mega Man's. It's oh. not like four or three ever did that either. <laughs> they were cycling earlier commentaries. <laughs> I don't know, in realistic terms, isn't every other Mega Man after one just the same recycled stuff? It really is. Pretty much. It's just, it's a declining, well I guess maybe two would be like the first we'd be like, well that's where it started to decline. Maybe three, but what, I don't know. <laughs> it's a whole mix match no, of things. No, I'll start with five. Even though you Thankfully, like six, six, so they never even or, went down. It just yeah. you just don't. Even though, I was just... even though you like six better than five. Yep. Six, six is, is good though. Yep. Yeah. Oh, does that mean Ryan's gonna LP man, Mega Man Night Six? Man. <laughs> Night Man. Ryan's gonna LP yeah, Mega Man Six. Wind Man, and, Wind Man and Night Man wasn't even created by Capcom. The stages were, but not the care, not cool, the robot masters. I know, Capcom did they not finally create realize, Man and okay. Night Man. They finally realized, okay, the ones in Mega Man 5 are really bad. We need some creative input in here. Yeah, so... Oh, why didn't you get the that. one up? All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're already right, matched up. Yeah. <laughs> we had the boss yet. The boss is the, you know, the boss that's going to be exactly the same as the previous boss. Not exactly the same, but real similar. <laughs> it's not exactly. Just like all the other Mega Man games. It's not exactly. It's yeah. just similar. I know. Similar. Tony the Tiger again. It's only kind of lame. Your face is lame. <laughs> so is your commentary. Oh, wait for that one. <laughs> Alright, I'll get it's ready for the fight of your life. Commentary. Oh, I hate this guy. He's an asshole. Yeah. He's got that oh, electric no, he's shield. Power walk towards you. Power walk with my Walkman. Now who's worse than Charge Man? <laughs> ah, that's please. our game. It technically isn't a <laughs> robot master. Oh yeah. Oh no, he's walking left. He's walking right. Oh no! Walk this way. He's going left. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way now. Oh, yeah, but he's walking faster. Now. But he's walking faster, which means he's more challenging. He's a Walker Texas Ranger. Oh my <laughs> God! Seriously. I think this castle Power was just a placeholder. I think Best this castle was just uh, all this castle was probably just a build-up to Doctor Wally's castle. I guess I don't know because I think Capcom knew that people were not gonna fall for the fact or fall for. Uh, the storyline of, oh, Poro Man's the real boss, and then they, I think... Of course not. <laughs> so, I uh, think this is just like... Nobody believe it for a second that Poro Man is the real boss. Ah. I mean, after Don't part worry, four, you part only four, got four. Four. <laughs> Oh, what the heck? Ah, oh, come on! Oh, look, they disappeared. Good. <laughs> Wait, there's almost a little bit challenge there. 
Mega oh. Man 4. <laughs> that wasn't the joke. Had, I was expecting. had two castles in Mega Man 4. I guess I had to have two castles in 5 and 6, too. And like, hmm, what's the placeholder boss? Okay. Proto Man. Or fake Proto Man. Well, at least they tried to, I guess, keep it like, you know, we gotta add another castle we it did does. last game. Yeah. I like the stage right here. And, yeah, anything to hear more of the I, my favorite Wily. Well, it's not a Wily stage music. It's the part of the main castle, but whatever. Yeah. Wily stage is still good. Why is it only there. one soundtrack? Remember, in previous castles, you at least get some more variety. Yeah, I was wondering that too, but I don't care because I like this track. Well, two castles, two tracks, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the first three only have one this, castle, so yeah. This track is so awesome. It's, it's just track, not eerie. This track one is so at awesome. Time. This track is so awesome. They had that's why they used it out the whole castle. Oh, this part right here gets pretty challenging. Well, there's two two parts. This this is the first part of the snake, whatever that game was called. Snake man. Snake round and roll, and then they got a second part of it later on the stage. Centipede. Yeah. Snake's revenge, whatever Little it's called. That snake bow, bow toes level. Yeah, the uh, car nuts uh, layer. The clean your winger, yeah. The clean your wiener. Yeah. What? One of me and J Man's first commentaries <laughs> together for <was> Bow Toads. <laughs> okay. I hate yeah, this Bow douche. Bow Toads is much better than this. This douche <laughs> is on the cover of the game. No, come on. Is, no. Is ah, he? Ah. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's the uh, the big guy. The giant gravity dude. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was Gravity Man. <laughs> Ugh. Start over here again. They ripped that sauce to Mario World. Yeah, maybe they did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just another thing in Mega Man 5. What did they rip off from in their good game? And then screw it up. Well, then I guess Mario World ripped off Battletoads because it didn't have this too, and also what? Snake Round Roll and. What? Like Mario yeah, World. Yeah, at least oh. Mario World was good. Oh, no, 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 no excuse, no excuse, no, no. Alright, there's no excuse for this game for sucking. It's just Mastery sucks. No. The commentary sucks, and... <laughs> there we go. Of course, the game is awful. I can bring yeah. nothing new to the table. We've commented on awful games before. How I before. can make them in five This is just make terrible five commentary. Five stuff. Five stuff. This is awful. This game is terrible. Oh my god. So bad. So He's bad. So you've actually been legitimately <laughs> giving complaints about the game. You don't just say, oh, it sucks. But I guess you gotta wait for the less discussed. Well, ah, dang it. Well, when you hang around Jay long enough, all you can say is it sucks. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I totally forgot. And look at the snake is back. Here's the second part. Or the snake round and roll. Freaking things from ah, it's like Jower Man stage. So easy though. I remember it was so much better in Super Mario World. And let me guess, it's gonna be the same. Yeah. Now this boss actually, no, same this boss piece. is different. Actually, pretty challenging. Oh, he's not gonna walk left or right. Nope. Get the, those little. Oh, uh, he has a gun. The Cheerios he shoots at you will freeze you. So what are you gonna dump on milk now? Ah. Ooh, the milkman. Yeah. <laughs> was that one of the bosses we fight, fought in this game? I don't know. Probably was. I think uh, they also mentioned this in, in uh, classified. I uh, court. What's it called? Counselor's Corner and Nintendo Power. This is a legit question, because this guy can be freaking hard if you don't know what to do. And I'm right here, just get my butt kicked, haven't fought this enemy in a long time. What's the weakness? I mean, guess it's a charge kick. It's like use the uh, I forgot what it was. I think it is a gyro attack. I don't know. It might be the charge kick. I, don't I think this is it. <laughs> ah. No, no, no! Jump, you idiot! <laughs> Hit the jump button. Come on. Oh. The controls aren't that bad. We start sort of say, oh, Dark Castle's better than this. <laughs> I didn't say that. Yeah, you, you were did. Thinking it. You we're were gonna thinking go back it. on the tape. You were thinking it. I know, but you said it. 
<laughs> Come on, it's not that bad, guys. Go easy on it. You said worm. <laughs> <laughs> Journey to the center of the earth. Journey to the center of my ass as we get to the last portal Oh, Right Thank ass. God. It's almost uh -oh, over. Here we go. Here we go. The yep. final power portal. It's almost at the end of the game. And this stage is the hardest right here in the game. Yeah, this is a unique idea. It's yeah, like, they um. He did something new. <laughs> Ryan's just way too hard on this game. <laughs> yeah, wasn't uh, this part of uh, Dustman's area though? Yeah. No, Mega Man, 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 Man 5 yeah. ripped off Mega Man 4. Yep. They ripped off each other. Fade shock there. <laughs> ripped off itself. Oh, there he is. Here we go. For the first time since part 3. They're that was short. Over. Here they did something innovative and <laughs> holy crap. It was over in like a few seconds. That's because it was very challenging. Uh. Wait a minute! What? Two Prolo Man? Whoa! L? Love? He showed me that some love. It's oh the my. Power of love. Dun, 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 yeah! Dun, dun. Oh no! He's gonna walk left! Watch out! This boss not as challenging as the previous boss. I, I forget it. I think it. Well, I forgot. See, I forgot what we, these uh, <laughs> elite weaknesses are in Pro Man's castle. Alright, forget it. Mega Bust is probably the best way to go. Mega Bust in the mouth. It always is. <laughs> no, not always. Just use the Mega Buster. Remember, Mega Man X, you had to use, uh, what was it? Against the uh, Armored Armadillo? Yeah. Just use the regular X Buster, took forever. I think it was, uh, Spark Man Shock. Yeah. The good Mega Man. Imagine having a Charge Cake and Mega Man X. <laughs> like the dash attack. No, but you don't. You can't hurt a body with it. Well, you kind of can with the charge kick either, though, sadly. Well, you can't, but you can. <laughs> it's just not that effective, though, tip generally. Right. But you can use the dash naturally with the other weapons. <laughs> yeah, the charge kick is pretty much worthless. You've done well, Mega uh, Man. Who's just talking? I never expected you to defeat my powerful Dark Man robot. Whoa. Dark Man with Liam Neeson? Dr. Wally? He was behind it the whole time? Oh my god! What? That's such a revolution! I, I don't never believe would have thought. This is just I'm like Hulk, my this is just like, right now. This is just like Hulk Hogan turning heel. Who would have thought this he was by, Dr. Wally was behind this? Who would have thought? <laughs> oh, and here we go again. Here we go, That's Skull Castle, it, everybody. Let's go to Wiley Castle and do it all over again. For the fifth time. That castle does look ugly. <laughs> I think after the part, after going, part three or four, they just ran out of ideas of how to design Dr. Wiley's castle. It gets worse in part six. I don't but know is how the castle, get... what, are the castle levels themselves ECW? We'll find out in part four. Until then, God bless and take care. Spoiler, no. Spoiler, yes. Welcome to Let's Play Mega Man 5 Part 4 slash Let's Discuss. This is Ron Moore along with the Wii Guy and Star Soldier. Why am I even here? Because <laughs> you love this game. You know you do. I don't. I honestly don't. Why are you guys pressuring me to like this game? <sighs> There's cool no need to like pressure. It. Cool people like it, and we thought you were cool. Yeah, we thought you were cool, man. How can it be cool when it's this bad? It's so, this pink. So How can now... a Mega Man game be cool when it's this friggin' pink? Is this a game for little girls? Might as well be, because the difficulty is so easy! Well, Mega Man was pink in Mega Man 2 when he was Quick Man. <sighs> oh yeah, I think they that meant was to have still awesome, though. He had Quick Blades. Here, the whole thing is pink. You know, some people can do pink, like Bret Hart. 
<laughs> make make it do pink if he has the outfit. The whole castle can't be pink because it looks like a dream house. A Barbie dream house. It's such a waste. Oh, your face is a tree house. <sighs> Ooh. Climbing How is that? that burn? How is that burn? <sighs> well, anyway, wait, this is Wadi's castle. Stage one. Jump on the eyeballs. I like to call it ECW castle. Oh. I don't. <laughs> No, oh, this is WCW Castle. No, it's not. Shut up. It looks like a indifferent face the way the eyeballs were lined up with that. Indifferent video game nerd? Yep. Uh, more pink. <laughs> I think this game just wants to troll Star Soldier. It's trolling everybody. Well, I guess we're in Dustman stage again. Uh-oh. Yep. They reused the model. Yeah. Recycling more content. <laughs> we can't come up with anything new. I think Captain Planet was going to be a Robot Master, but I don't know. They didn't get the license. Hmm. <laughs> Unfortunately, they already used up the names like Fire Ice. Heart. <laughs> well, heart, heart Man. Man. Yeah, Heart, heart Man. Man. <laughs> With the power of love. There's a uh, Heart well, Water Man. <sighs> Seriously, why am I here? I don't get it. Oh, you can't All you people are defending Mega Man 5 here. I still don't understand why. Because it's cool? Yeah, Gage and Goomba, who I agree with. Uh, I don't agree with him. But he's too scared to answer any of my, you know, relevant questions I have about Mega Man 5. No, I make <laughs> video that's way better than his, yet he's too, you know, afraid to even respond. No, he oh, just don't... here's the... Uh, AVGN glitch, boss. He just don't respond to trolls. He doesn't respond to the truth. <laughs> he can't handle the truth. Yeah, he can. He, he just speak the truth. Mega Man 5 is awesome. Yeah. Here's a... Yeah, this, this is boss is right here. Yeah, let's jump on the platforms. I like that. That's unique. How you have to actually hit them to move yeah. them. Yeah. <sighs> it looks like a Russian doll or something. You know, those things where you move... Yeah, it's a little dolly. What? Think about it. You got the pink palace and everything. And you get this little dolly here. Oh, it's You're just... dolly. Hello, dolly. Dolly Parton. It's too kiddish. I beg your dolly Parton. Yeah. It's like Parton. we're going through all the motions all over again. Well, these no, even cool. the things he's shooting out at you are like little figurines. Ouch. I might die at this thing. I'm Dr. Wily, I'm gonna take over the world, and I'm gonna throw my uh, dollies at you in my pink palace here. I think he's you're using do uh, <laughs> Dr. Cossack stuff, because he was Russian. Yeah. Oh, shoot. <gasps> oh, Ron, I see don't if do it. I wanna see if I can not use my E-Tank here. I don't wanna be Skip Rogers. No! Oh! Oh, oh come but on, I shot him in the face! Don't you have E-Tanks by now? Oh! No. I'm gonna be a man, and not use E-Tanks? Yes. Yeah! Just use save states. Or whatever. You don't even need it. You got like 20 lives or something. 50 E tanks. Thanks out on that. Because not. the game throws you every possible easy thing there is, so the game is a total cakewalk. Oh. I'm more like, pink. It's more like purple, actually. Yeah, more like purple, purple yeah. <laughs> more like purple. What do you say, J Man? It's, it's pink. Oh yeah, <laughs> then pig. What? Seriously, how can you defend it now? It's a pussy it's cool. game. Yes, pussy man. E -tank. Oh, pussy there's man. even no challenge in that e tank. It's just right there. Well, yeah, they want you to get it. Oh. oh. So you, what? You can have a 51 now. Yeah. 51 e tanks. Why not? Is it an, is it an action 51? <laughs> oh. Area 52. Wait. Yeah, maybe this is the Action 53 game. Mario Gonzalez started got to include it. Mario it's Gonzalez. Oh, you know, he was a composer in uh, Action 53. Seriously, it's so bad. Why are you guys doing this it's to not me? Not that bad. Come on. And a power glove. Yeah. It's so bad. Play this game in the U Force. It'd be cool. But this is probably the easiest water level I ever seen in a Mega Man game. You're just drowning in hate. <laughs> I'm drowning in the truth. I'm drowning in... I'm drowning in... Uh, oh, more pink. 
Can we just replace my commentary with a little girl here? Or it's a game. It's a game for little girls. It might as well be Barbie Man. That would be like a my little pony man. Oh, dude, <laughs> like, Rainbow Dash all the way. Polly Pocket Man. Who? Dude, Polly Pocket. That thing's out of that thing's out of. Uh, that's like, probably Canadian little Pocket. girl thing. I don't know. We had it here. Little I girl just... baby shit. Oh, and pluck the you. chicken's back. Fuck you. <laughs> the chicken. Oh, Probably shoot. the most creative enemy in here. It's just the chicken. Cheep, 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 cheep. Hey, this ain't fair. Yeah, Star Soldier right here trying to crush me. Use the gravity crush. Or wait, what was the one? Crash bombs. I don't know. <laughs> they all suck. I forgot. I was going to use E tank here. <laughs> use the charge. Use the rush jet. I'm charging you with assault. Oh. On a this good game. This game already assaulted me. You're salty. Oh. Seriously? Do I have to keep on doing this? Yes. Well, I've been here the I past could three parts. sleep in right now. I could be going to work. But... Uh, you know, work on your I have to watch a comment on the worst Mega Man in history. Even more at worst than Alright, he's the second boss of Dr. Wadi's castle. And guess what? It looks freaking stupid, just like all the air bosses. Oh, you're stupid. <laughs> you're stupid. Come on. Probably, stupid you probably how can you game. defend this little circle? I had enough of your crap. Thing with its big eyes. Remember when bosses were cool, like the Gutstozer or the Gutstozer sucked. The, yeah, the giant strike. Like three All seconds. the Gutstozer did was like shoot. You know what? Bolts. You guys suck. Mega Man Five sucks. I, that's it. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. That's it. Oh, so you're gonna leave? You guys can do this on your own. You gonna leave like a little pants? Oh shoot! You <laughs> already hung up. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, good. Finally, we don't have to deal with the hate no more. Yeah, finally, God. Commentate you know, on how awesome been, this game is. You know, I've been chill. You know, I, I take his his hate with stride. But really, I mean, damn. I mean. I'm glad, for once. Yeah, really. Alright, so glad here's the... Go. Yeah, let's talk about something cool, like... Here's the first boss battle with Dr. Wally. This can't get yeah. tricky right here. Yeah, I remember, I was like, oh man, this is like... Like, where's he gonna land? I don't know. Yeah, so I and stay in the middle right here and kinda like... I don't know what I'm doing, I guess I kinda confused him. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna get you! Aw, oh, dang it! Yeah. I mean, it's a simple, you know, it's the... He does a pattern, and then you shoot him when he exposes himself. I mean, yeah, it's not that original, but still, I mean, it keeps you on your toes. Yeah. More than the I... Guts Man thing that Brian was talking about. Yeah. I mean, I like Gut the Mega Man. I like Mega Man too. The Guts those look cool, but all I did was shoot the hard hats and the little, I think, little bullets at you, or whatever. It wasn't as challenging as it looked. And yeah, see, it's like the quick boomerang. You can kill him in like three seconds. Yeah. Not even challenging. I don't know what the weakness is here. I guess I use Mega Buster. I mean, honestly, the Mega Buster works pretty good in anything in this game. So, oh yeah, it's the universal. You can eventually, you know, beat everything if you just have the patience. Ah, dang it! Ha! Come on! I think one more squash and I'm dead. Yes. Yeah. Beat the boss! Alright, here we go. Skull Castle again. Oh. <laughs> oh, here we go, the real final Skull Castle? Yeah. Oh, look, it's green this time. Oh, yeah, baby. We're at the final level here. And it's not pink! Who's green with Envy now? Yeah. Gonna start Hero 21? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, son. <laughs> Alright, here we go. In case you haven't noticed, he has to put his initials everywhere. The Dr. W copyright. Yeah. I mean, it smells me the... Uh... I think that battle with Dr. Wally Mega Man 2, like a little helicopter thing, whatever it is, I forgot. She's the bouncing balls at you. 
Oh yeah, it's the same, yeah, little... Ah, dang it! Oh, did you... I rode the arrow and it takes more energy off and it does it. <laughs> dang it. Good job. I guess I'll ride into it and crash and die. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now, once again, another challenge, but I mean, I like the design. Oh, here we go. It was kind of a challenge at first, but now, I mean, yeah, all I gotta do is use beat. It's pretty the only time in the yeah. game I use beat. Yeah, and once again, it's a simple pattern, wait, and patience. I think you can okay. use the, um, oh, what is it, God, that you can also use to whittle down more health. I forgot. Well, sometimes, sometimes tweet, a tweet, Twitter, whatever, tweet, <laughs> whatever his name is, um, he'll, like, see, right now he's not doing it, but he'll fly and, ouch, idiot, he'll fly in the area where he's about to, Dr. Wally's about to appear at next. Yeah. I guess he does it when he wants to, I don't know, maybe he's got to be near the area he's going to show up at. Even if it takes a while, I definitely like uh, the Wily final boss theme here. It's pretty yeah. nice. Yeah, I like this final battle theme. Ooh! Look out. Yeah, it is a bit unfair when he does go like way above your h jumping height to hit him. So, but of course, yeah. if you got beat, it's, it's pretty simple. I didn't the very first time I played, so... I had a lot of waiting to do to get him. Yeah. Well, just a second ago, he appeared where Dr. Wally was going to show up at next. Well, that's the end of him. I'll just use my Mega Buster. Yeah, maybe it was the bomb, the end bomb, Napalm bomb, I think. If you get close enough to him, you can. That takes off a good amount of health, I think. Oh, wow. Damn! That is it. Uh oh. Oh, I've been foiled. Again. Oh, come on, he can't run faster than Dr. Wally? Come on. Move pretty fast for old guy. Oh, there's Dr. Light. He's like, here, I'll show you where he is and I'll beg for mercy. Yeah. Uh-oh. JK lol. Whoa. Maybe Dude. pretty strong. Yeah, he's holding it like an entire castle wall or roof. Oh, wait a minute! They got me one thing! Proto Man, as the ceiling stays up for three seconds so that they can escape. <laughs> as the castle destroys itself. Or castle from... crashes. Yeah, castle, castle crashes. crashes. Uh, and Proto Man sneaks off into the Jesus. abyss. <laughs> okay, the ending is kind of lame right yeah, here. Yeah, I gotta but... say, the ending pretty lame, but I mean, like it has to be like, oh, well, you know, well, what else is there? Dr. Y, he was the villain. Now he escapes again to... Get, make Mega Man 6. Yeah. And so here's the Robot Masters. Gravity Man was ECW Wave Man. His stage music was real cool. And the bubbles part. Definitely. Stone Man's music was cool. They're all pretty good. Um, I think Charge Man would be one of my favorites. Who do we agree was the worst? Star Man? Gyro Man's music. Too friendly, but... Still pretty good. I still liked it, yeah. Star Man. I'm not a big fan of Star Man. One star power! <laughs> One star power. That's what Ryan's gonna give this video. This is a stupid Except... robot master right here, but I like I like to stage. Charge man. Charging you with well not assault, I already said that joke. <laughs> hey Paul man, pretty cool, but kind of a weak fight. Yeah, he totally could have like had he like nuked everything if he wanted to. He could have had more of an arsenal. Hey Crystal Man. Eh, not too crazy about the robot master, but the stage and music's pretty cool. Yeah, when it comes down to it, even though if the Robot Masters weren't original, their stages and music were pretty dang good. Yeah. I saw, like, an avatar a long time ago on the forum of Starman, and it showed him, a uh, Man, I think he threw a star. Uh, it, it shows him throwing a star or something, and he gave someone a one-star rating. <laughs> ha! Pretty cool. One-star power, once so, again. Alright, which one of these guys is the composer we got? Well, it would... Well, the... The composer of this game was, let's see, how do you pronounce it? Miri Yamaguchi? So, I gotta, it, they're probably using an alias in this one, so. Christy Yamaguchi? Yeah, if there's a, oh. if there's a, yeah, it's, yeah, Mary Yamaguchi. It's M-A-R-I. I think they just used her first name, or his first name. I don't know <laughs> the gender. Yamaguchi-san? Yeah. There was a Japanese wrestling manager in the WWF years ago named Yamaguchi-san. <laughs> what a name.
Oh, yeah, I think here is where it'll list, list the uh, the composer because I think the Tom Pawn. Oh, Tom Pawn. No, oh, jeez. Tom Pawn. Jeez. Bamboo. Ari. There it is. Mari or Mary. I don't know. Mary. Mary. Sound composer. Yeah. Did a great job. Yep. As Pete tells us, this game is made by Capcom. And so just beat it. Yeah. Beat you it. beat it. You did beat it, Ronnie. Yeah. Sure did. And so yeah, that is the end of Let's Play Mega Man 5 for the NES. Uh, definitely one of my favorite Mega Man games of all time. I first played it in the summer of 94, really enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, I mean, at first it was real hard, but over the years it becomes a game that's pretty, it's pretty simple. So it, it definitely is not one of the most challenging Mega Man games in the original series. But I really enjoyed it. It really helped make my summer great. And uh, for, for that year, summer of 94, really enjoyed it. And me and my, a lot of my friends played that game. One of my friends had it, and we just played it a lot. That, that year, that summer, along with Mega Man X, it was real awesome. And uh, so, yeah, I really enjoyed Mega Man 5. The, the great soundtrack. Challenge, not very challenging I mean, once you get used to it. Um, and the Robot Masters, I mean, yeah, some of them were kind of dumb. Uh, Charge Man. Um, Gyro Man is not that good either. But, I mean, Robot Masters is definitely not the best. But at the same time, Capcom is running out of ideas. Because after I said, you can tell that in Mega Man 4, robot names kind of got stupid. But at the same time, I mean, there's still some that are pretty cool uh, in Mega Man 5. Gravity Man stage, uh, I mean, it was real awesome. It's very different for uh, the Mega Man series at the time. No other Mega Man game, you know, to like walk upside down and all that stuff. It was really cool at the time. And so, I mean, Mega Man 5, uh, of, course, of course, like, in Mega Man 4, it was, it was believable. At least, to, well, even though back in my mind I knew Dr. Wally was the boss in Mega Man 4, it was still kind of believable then that uh, Dr. Caustic was the boss. But then in Mega Man 5, you didn't really fall for it no more. And you definitely didn't fall for it anymore in Mega Man 6. So Mega Man 5 was kind of predictable. I knew at the very beginning of the title screen, yeah, I'm, I don't think Pro Man is the boss. You're not fooling anybody. But it was still cool. And uh, I, st I enjoyed Pro Man's Castle, the soundtrack. Uh, so I really love this game. It has a real, uh, real good charm to it. It uh, really takes me back. And I really enjoyed it. I give this game an 8.5 out of 10. We got? Mm, very nice. So yeah, Mega Man 5 would be the actually the last game I would play of the original six games. And of course, the game is definitely not original. Definitely, they're running out of ideas, but I mean, when you come up with a fifth game in a series, I mean, it's kind of hard to really meet expectations to like make it even better than before, even though you they have... Or did do a lot of aspects I thought were much better than the, like the previous four games. The um, I really do like a lot of stages. Gravity Man is definitely like the highlight with the being able to uh, flip, uh, walk on the the roof and just have to deal with the the uh, that whole thing. And of course, uh, white uh, why, writing on the uh, like the, the writing's uh, on the jets, wall. The, the writing is on the wall that when you ride the jet ski in Wave Man stage, I really like that. It was a nice change of pace to just, you know, be like on a, like a little uh, on rail, like, <laughs> like jet ski stage, you know, that was pretty nice. And I like Crystal Man stage, Napalm Man, even Charge Man, of course, but his tr dumb train design is definitely like one of the worst. But yeah, I mean, I just, I, I, I loved it. It's... Even though it wasn't that original, there was something to like the stages and of course the great soundtrack that just made it stand out for me. I just really loved playing the stages and going through one of my favorite Dr. Wily themed castle music stages. And Proto Man stage was uh, castle was also awesome as well. I just I did I just love this game. I d I do. And no matter what Brian says, he'll he'll never he'll never beat me down. With his negativity, because this game is awesome. Yeah, he never beat it's, you down. Yeah, beat. So beat it. Just beat it. I will give Mega Man Five. Mm, yeah, like around a around an eight out of ten. Darn good. I like it. One of my favorites. Yeah, yeah. All right. So that is it for Mega Man Five, and uh, we will see you guys later. I'm Ron Moore. Oh hell no. Well, wait a minute. This isn't over till I say it's over. The blue hell. Okay. How'd you get I back in the call? Quit. The world needs to know.
The world needs to know that this is the worst Mega Man ever. And I'm sick and tired of hearing this love fest. Yeah, I could still hear you guys from the toilet. I was taking a Mega Man 5 dump out there hearing all that shit you guys talked. Oh. Now the truth is going to come out. Why is this the worst Mega Man 5? You got the worst weapons. You got a lane charge kick that you're forced to use. You know, you're pretty much going forward with an attack that may or may not work. So you get hit <laughs> and the enemy may or may not take damage. That's bullshit. Mm -hmm. And then you get the power stone. Oh, that's a circular weapon that you can't really control. Oh, oh, just such lame weapons. The lamest in Mega Man history. Yeah, if anybody wants to make a top 10 list of the worst weapons, you pretty much got uh, all eight there on Mega Man 5. Ah. Oh, and you can get letters to make beat. Who cares? It's just a stupid little bird. Oh, look at this. I'm spelling letters to get a bird. Yay! It's only useful one part of the game. Yeah. Shit. Oh, Holy shit. It. And Okay, and let's talk about that music, eh? Yeah, you got wussy soundtracks throughout the stages. Oh, hell no. <laughs> no. Oh, you oh, may no. like them, but they don't belong in a Mega Man game, which is an action game. You're jumping and you're shooting, and it's hardcore stealing action. You're stealing cool weapons off people, but not Mega Man 5, where weapons are shit. No, it's all relaxing, calm, easy-going music. Ah. And the graphics? Huh? The castles are pink. So the game is for little girls, especially with the easy little girl difficulty. ECW. Hey, little Betty. Hey, little um, Mary Sue. Why don't you play Mega Man 5? <laughs> it's a game for you. Oh. Oh. Ooh. I, oh, my God. The world has to know. I don't care. I don't care what Cornshot says. I don't care what Gaijin Gumen says. I would jump on his head and get 100 points for defeating him <laughs> in that stupid little discussion. Oh, it's the best main man game ever because it's so easy. No, it's not. You play it and there's no reason to... Once you finish it, there's no reason to go through it again because the weapons suck. Oh, maybe I'll use a charge kick in different areas. No, you can't use it in any areas. Oh, my God. And controls and everything are fine because it pretty much... Plays like the other Mega Man games out there, except it's way too easy now. Mega Man game. Oh, one through four had like a great challenge to them. Mega Man Five, way too easy. Okay, I'm done ranting on this shit. Mega Man uh, Five here. It gets a 55 out of 100. It's still okay if you can find it for cheap for like five bucks, not a penny more. But yeah, it's so boring. Don't get by it. Don't listen to the hype. Don't listen to these guys. With, oh, it's so great because the music is so relaxing. <laughs> no, it's shit. It's so disappointing and it still hurts me to this day how many people like it and how many people give it a free pass just because it's the fifth one in the series. Oh, it's not that bad, everybody. Come on. You're seeing it through rose-colored glasses. It's not that good, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> now that we finished it, we never had to play it again because it was so damn easy. The weapons suck, and everything about with the little pink castles and the little relaxing of music, it's all forgettable drab, and I'm glad we're done talking about this. Now, is this over and done with? Can we go on to the good Mega Man's now? I'm glad you're done talking. <laughs> <sighs> no, but uh, seriously, well, Genre Man's music, yeah, was a little... Freak, not little, real, real friendly. It okay, definitely right. did not fit in a Mega Man game. Uh, I was going to say earlier, the part with the jet ski, uh, not the jet ski, the water ski oh, thing. Oh, no, and, I don't uh, care about that part anymore. End this, end this. No more Mega Man 5. <laughs> no more Mega Man 5 error. The part about... You hear the, me, uh, Corn Shack? You hear me? All you other people out there that like this game? No, I'm sick of hearing about Mega Man 5. We're well, going to hear more about it, because I was going to say... Actually, I was making reference to Mega Man 6. It would have been cool if, like, in Blizzard Man stage, they had, like, a jet ski part or a ski part. At least it would be in the good game. Okay, um, and I so... Guess I, I guess I should cancel that uh, Child's Play stream with Mega Man 5 that you were going to play that game, because obviously you're not going to do that then. Oh, hell if no. You, if you, you wouldn't I'm play Mega Man 5 Mega for Man charity. 5 
Oh man, I, I gotta get that. I happening. lived in the prison camp of Mega Man Five already. Well, Star Soldier, we have a nice parting gift for you. I'm gonna mail you a Mega Man Five shirt. Um, Yay! Kind of like the Robot Master shirt I got from like, GameStop. It anyways, remember the GameStop shirt I got? Like, uh, make the eight. It says I beat the eight Robot Masters. It was based off Mega Man Two. When I reserved Mega Man Anniversary Collection, I want to send that one to Star Soldier, but redesign it to Mega Man Five Robot Master. <laughs> And then we have, to, we have to make it Star Soldier Who loses the bet. Who hasn't beat Mega Man 5? It'd be funny if Star Soldier loses the bet. He has to wear that shirt in his next video. Not a whole lot since the game is uncommon. And your five for five bucks even won't be a thing unless... Not sale. anymore. Yeah. It's one of the best five dollars. It's the best five dollars we guys ever spent. <laughs> ten dollars. I got it from you for ten. Oh, ten dollars. I Thank forgot. You. It was off. great. I played the hell out of it. And I love... You should... <laughs> we got his yeah. money's worth. Yeah. All right, so that is it. We are out here with Mega Man 5. See you later. I'm Ron Moore. I'm the Mega Man 5 loving Wii guy. And I'm Arizona World Champ. Please don't play this. Indifferent video game nerd. All right. God bless and take care. Ah! Yay! Welcome to my first regular Game Boy game Let's Play on the S2K channel, Super Mario Land. This is Ron Moore along with Star Soldier. Who has nothing to say? Oh. Why is it black and white? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I remember. I, I remember the good old days when it was black and green. Hey, get better to uh, see yeah. the screen. That was real <laughs> video game days back in my day. Yeah, Not with this fancy save scene and emulation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I did a Game Boy uh, Let's Play on this channel a few years ago with Super Mario Advance, but that was Game Boy Advance. I never did a LP, I think, ever on YouTube, including Rumble Channel with a Game Boy game. No, it, it may be old, but it's still pretty cool. And we should say it's one of the launch games for the Game Boy. So it may look ancient now, but it was fun back then. Yeah. You know, you take it to school with you. You take that big eye. <laughs> and it was fun. It didn't save your game or anything. And compared to like Mario 3, it looked kind of ancient. But hey, yeah. you're still jumping on Goombas. You're still being big and small Mario. And you get freaky new enemies in here. Look at this, we're in yeah. Egypt. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Not as good as Mega Man 5, but still. Oh. No. <laughs> it's Mario! No more Mega Man! Well, no Gage and Goopa. Oh, why did Gage you go Goopa's in this game. Gage and Goopa's in this game, and you got to fight him. His weapon is uh, the Mega Man 5 cartridge. <laughs> oh. Jump on the Goombas, jump on all of them. We need revenge. <laughs> Oh look, it's World 1-3 from Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, they recycle a little bit of content, but that's good. You want a little bit of hint of the original Mario Brothers in here. Mario I Brothers. Think, uh, yeah, yeah, this is Super Mario Land, not Mario Land. <laughs> I'm always saying Mario and not Mario. Oh, well, I'll land on that thing. <laughs> yeah, the visits in this game can be kind of weird. I always mistime my jumps sometimes. Especially in the original Super Mario Land. When I was a kid, I would talk about Mario Brothers a lot. And I would also always say Mario. And some kid got mad. It's not Mario! It's Mario! <laughs> so ever since then, I said Mario. And the reason why I paused right there, my pet rat was getting to the trash bag. And I forgot to edit that out. Oops. <laughs> oh, well. From. Right. At least Ever it was a pet pause. rat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not the rat Ever since my I... home. Ever since I paused right there, the music sounds a little different. Ah, there we go. Now it sounds normal again. Yeah, now you I hear remember the... there's a secret one up here. <laughs> I think oh, you're I missing ah! Like you're missing your jumps. Yeah. Are you going to finish this game? <laughs> or is oh, this no, just like a couple of levels and then... Uh, let's discuss. <laughs> yeah, this is a let's check out. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm trying. Yeah, I've beaten this game. Uh, but it's been a long time. Probably since 2009. Yeah, thankfully, it's not a super game. long game. Yeah. 
I think the boss of this game is Tonka Topanga. I forgot. Yeah, the, yeah, the Native Topanga. American dude. Yeah. Uh, Topanga, the girl from Boy Meets World. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's a far off reference. Yeah. Points for reference. Well, I just said the reference. <laughs> anyway. A bonus game. Oh. Three lies for doing nothing. But you need yeah. them now. <laughs> since. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of uh, <laughs> lost a few. Yeah. I love the track in this stage. Oh, yeah. Very creepy and eerie. Yeah. This is my hunt. This gave me an idea for Robot Master. Aztec Man. <laughs> They're pretty cool. Yep, you know, like Pharaoh Man. Yeah, kind of like Pharaoh Man. Yeah, just, but uh, that would've been a pretty cool. Aztec Man, or Amazon Man, or something. I love how Amazon this Mario Man. goes out the beaten path. Whoa, what? Whoa, this ain't Burger Tom. <laughs> freaking buns fall on top of me. <laughs> no, this Pharaoh, watch out. I wonder how I get up there in that pipe. Oh, what? <laughs> am I stuck? How am I gonna? I think oh, you have wait. to, yeah, break him. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, oh yeah, if you jump on the Koopas as well, <laughs> oh. they explode. Which mm. is a very weird thing. Yeah. Oh no. Thankfully you can jump on most enemies, so. I like that. Yeah. Oh, you can? You know you can edit that stuff out, man. <laughs> yeah, what stuff? Edit <laughs> your death so. Oh, it tricked me! I was gonna shoot down! Nope, no, I even knew that, dude. <laughs> well, this is already recorded anyways. I'm sorry if I'm breaking the illusion. Ah. <laughs> Don't worry, you can do it! Yeah, there, take it easy. Yep, there, go. there, there you go. go. Oh, no! Oh, no. no, no, oh, no, no, no! Oh, oh no. I run on Oh, oh you gotta be kidding me. I was trying to run like Is that game trying over? to run under him, but I <laughs> jumped too far. Okay. Right, come on now, I can do it. Come on, I used to do this all the time as a kid. Ah. Uh, well I didn't. <laughs> and that's the end. That's the, now what? The, that's the discuss. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Super right, Mario Land is awesome. <laughs> Good graphics for his time. There we go. Soundtrack is decent, and it's not a total rehash of the real Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened there? Did you save state real? No, I went back. I had to start this, uh, I had to start over from World 1, and then I just played all the way up to here and did a quick cut. Oh, yeah, and this is a let's discuss because we finished the game. Thank you, yeah. Mario. <laughs> we saved Daisy. Yeah. What? Whoa. Turned to a giant mosquito. Yeah, from the original Mario Brothers. Mario yeah. Brothers. I was about to say, that's like one of those enemies from the original Mario Brothers. Yeah. Rip off artists. Ooh, three up again. <laughs> You're gonna need them. Did I say three up or throw up? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's the end of part one of Super Mario Land. We'll see you in part two. Till then, God bless. Take care. Woohoo, a timeless classic. Way better than Mega Man 5. Welcome to Let's Play Super Mario Land Part 2. This is Ron Moore along with the Wii God Brothers. Wait, that's right. We're brothers? Yes, Wii Guy and Viper. Yep, the long awaited return. So this is Let's Play Super Wii Guy. Can I be brothers. Luigi? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, but why not? I'm perfect for the role of Luigi. Mm, no. So then Super Viper Brothers then, since Mar uh, I mean, uh, Wii Guy is Luigi. I <laughs> Wait, so we. <laughs> Wait, where are we? Viper or Wii Guy Brothers? I'm confused! <laughs> where, are the, where are the brothers? The brothers. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense to me. Swing your arms from side to side! <laughs> Alright, so, Super Mario Land World 2. Oh man, I definitely love this game. One of the, definitely a classic I actually did not get to play as a little, as a child. I played a little bit as a kid, not as much as I did Mario Land 2, Six Golden Coins, but... I did play this one, and man, I'm still trying to get used to the controls for this game. Like, I can see too, that. Too sensitive. Yeah, I happily owned it for the game for the Game Boy Color or the old original Game Boy, but I've only beaten this game. Wait for it once. I'm so pro. Yeah, I haven't beaten that many times either. 
I beat it multiple times, and the second quest. And of course you do, everything game is easy to you. Everything's easy to me, Wait a and second. it goes well in 8-bit stereo. Wait, there's a <laughs> second quest? Yeah, yes. there is. I didn't know that. Yeah, I knew it's Mario Brothers, hard. I did, but not this one. It's slightly harder, it's, it's really nothing special. Oh, just like do in you, the, just like you in, it's that special. Just like in Super Mario Brothers, just like the second quest, the only difference is that the Goombas are their midget gorillas or whatever they are. Uh, Buzzy Beetles, yeah. Yeah. Oh, ouch, I guess- What? Oh, wow, how the hell did you manage that? Because I didn't know they turned to bombs when you kill them, I don't remember that. <laughs> it's the okay, Goombas, pro the Goombas since... become suicide bombers. It's okay, pro gamers since for 10 years straight. Jeez. Alright. Kinda like the platformer- Don't like the platformer controls, cause sometimes you can fall through them. Really? Yeah, I don't think so. I did in part one, did you see that? Oh, well. I saw you kill oh, yourself. Oh, there it is, Death. Yeah, starting part one, I landed on the edge of those platforms and I fell through it. What is this, Dracula? Bram Stoker's Dracula for the Super Nintendo? Maybe. No, it's just you sucking. If it was the NES version, it would be better with the music. Do a 4-bit stereo uh, we... series next week, huh? No. Screw... Shut up, Ronnie. Everything's with you. Everything's 8-bit with you. What was 16-bit? What's wrong with 16? Right. It's overrated. <laughs> you overrated. That's my ah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Oh. <laughs> Who's shining up now? Who's shining up now? <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe you should focus less on making us shut up and more focus on you just actually su just surviving. How about focusing on focusing? Yeah, why don't you focus on jumping on the three, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, damn it. <laughs> okay. I was gonna make fun of the platforms, <laughs> they look like, um, no, it's like, uh, what's, what do you put in your ears? What's, what are those tips? Q-tips, yes. I was gonna say they look like three piece oh. Q-tips. Oh, well, how do you get out of this now? How do you get up? Oh, what? Oh, there it is. I remember that. There it is. Hidden platform. You found it. Well, ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it is. SG2K Pro Gaming since 1990. How long? How long you get it for? <laughs> 2004. 2000. Ten years. Yeah. Bro. Excellent gaming. You should make it a rule. Every time you don't make it to the second platform, it's su you commit suicide. Yeah. Simple goo. Yeah. Alright, two, three now. Here we go, this is better. You don't have to have to worry about physics. Yeah. That's oh, it's cool. shooting! We're innovative right here for Mario game. Yeah, Alright, so shooting it. That... So it's a little bit of Mario Bros. and, and uh, Star Scrolling shoot em up here, Space Invaders or R-Type or Grad whatever. Gradius. Yeah. I guess. Death yes. Force. Sim Death Force. I don't think Wait, any other main Mario game has had this sort of shooter section. Mario Party 3 did. Mario Party no, 3 did. Main, main Mario. Main. Yeah, not not a part game, but a Mario game. Mario Party is a Mario game. No, I meant main series, like either of it's the basic. main 3D Mario. Mm -hmm. Shut your it's face. A 3D Mar <laughs> it's a 3D Mario. No game. One, no, no wonder you haven't been returned in three years. Oh. Oh, it was gonna be like that now, is it? Yeah, Let's get Ghostbro back in here. Speaking of which, oh, I was gonna say nice dodging skills till that happened. Yeah. I'm, I'm just waiting. For the... Come on, get hit one more time. Ooh, the... Oh, get the look. It spells Boy, Mario. Mario. <laughs> no, it spells Mario. <laughs> no, see, it spells Mario. That means Mario's better than Luigi. M A R. Oh, shots fired! Shots fired! Literally. <sighs> I have to go Rambo up in here. Uh oh. Oh shit. Here we go, battle with the sea monkey. Isn't there like an easy way to do this? Like just stand in one corner and it won't it'll never shoot you. Oh nope. never mind. Uh, it's move up and down pace basically. Yeah. Quick, kill yourself! And boom goes the dynamite. And boom goes the wall. Yeah. No, that's not boomed yet. There's no boom. The yeah, lack of boom is really to to zero. There we go. It still didn't boom. Wait, aren't you still technically underwater? Yeah. Huh. Aren't you still technically recording the emulator, Ronnie? Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to point that out. At the top oh, of the screen, man. I forgot to edit that out. So, oh, Ron Moore's been exposed. 
Ron Moore has been exposed all these years. He's been using emulators. Using ROM hacks. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah. that's why he's called Ron Moore. Ron Moore, ROM hacks. Yep. It makes perfect sense. Yeah. Also, you have to no. be. Kill yourself. No, he doesn't. <laughs> all right, so that is the end of part two of Super Mario Land. For the Game Boy, we'll see you guys in part three. Thank you, Viper, for joining us for the first time in three years. We'll see you in another three years. God bless and take care. I'm still getting paid for this, right? No. Welcome to Let's Play Super ECW Land Part 3. This is Ron Moore on the Star Soldier and Gentoo. Woo! Yeah, so oh, this yeah. World, yeah, this world's pretty... It starts to get a little difficult here. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Yeah. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's the faces from Life Force. Oh, yeah. yeah. They eat their on the head. Oh, yeah. yeah. For some reason, people love to draw in the background. Oh! Phil. Did you say stay there? <laughs> oh, did I? No, actually, no. Sometimes you can, uh... No, Those heads are shaking their heads up and down, Sid. Oh my god. Ah! Oh. They're face palming. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fail palm. <laughs> they have their noses up in the air towards you. Yeah. Why I never? Is that the Great Kali st statues back there? Yeah. Oh, uh, there's Bullet Phil. Bullet Phil. I was speaking more like Nicolas Cage. Doesn't he have a big nose? <laughs> my eyes! My eyes! <laughs> <laughs> Not the bees! Not the bees! I'm still just Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Despite all my future rage, I'm feel. still just making this cage. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. They were gonna make a spin-off of Street Your Rage, Nicholas Rage, and I fell. <laughs> that'd be a, that'd be a hidden character in Street Your Rage 4. Man, I don't know what's with you, but you sure like those potholes. I know, I don't know. Well, I like pot. Well wait. <laughs> holes. Pot I like pot and holes, so potholes. That's why I like smoking pot and watching the movie holes. <laughs> you heard it here. I thought you were talking about a different kind of hole, but I better not go there. What? Uh, <laughs> you just dug your own, dug yourself in the hole, oh, Phil. <laughs> Ronnie started smoking pot after John Cena won. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Ro Rolling Rock. <laughs> yeah. Watch out for uh, the spikes. Ric Flair is rolling over in his grave and he's not even dead yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now he played himself. Yep. We need to get him out of retirement so he can win the 17th championship. Ah! Breaker. Just so John Cena never gets off that high again. Yeah, well I got pwned by The Rock. Skip what? Be mad at you. What? He Jeez, didn't smell man. it while it was cooking? <laughs> you got speared. I think I'm smoking something because I keep failing right here big time. Skip's gonna be mad at you. Spear, spear. Yeah. Watch out for the spikes. Yeah. Watch out for the edge. Or yeah. you could be hit by the spear. And Christian. Oh yeah. And right back. And Roman Reigns. And Goldberg, I think. <laughs> Whoever he is. <laughs> Goldback. And Star Soldier and SD. Gilbert. And yeah. Star Soldier from ST2KCW. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the end. We'll do the spear, but they won't hurt you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not pulling out my shoulder. Ah! <laughs> oh, I need shoulder surgery. Ah, uh, I'm afraid we got some bad news. Welcome to the dungeon. Yeah. Ah, uh, what? No, jump, you <laughs> moron! Man, these controls of this game, man. They're very floaty. Stiff. My favorite of part this... of this LP is that blue screen on that blue little, blue little bar. Yeah. I wonder what that is. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Some idiot left it in there. It's the only color in this game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they got the idea for Game Boy Color. Ah! But they didn't get the idea from that from jumping in the spiders. Yeah. 
At least he's not the spotter from the Rambo video game. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty weird. Yeah. Well, I, that was pretty cool, though, in the, in the movie where you Rambo fought a giant spotter. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the Mario Bros. movie. <laughs> well, they ah. probably did fight a giant spider. Because yeah. it went all over the place. I was trying to avoid the spot right there, and I went too far to play that. His last life. Can he do it? Yeah. Half life. Oh! Oh! oh. Nope. Try not to get hit by the falling thing there. Falling ceiling, whatever pillar. Safe, David. <laughs> <sighs> no, I had to go back 3-1. For once, I'm not using the safe state. <laughs> what? That's weird. Yep. Okay. Well, I thought I'd be a man. <laughs> Alright, so it's the heads again. I thought I'd be a man for once in my life. Yep. Is that why you had to do ECW mode? No, this is not ECW mode. Yeah, this is WCW mode. Yeah. Not the same. Oh! Oh. No, this is not Super Cena mode. <laughs> so it doesn't suck. Right. <laughs> oh! I went through the, uh... <laughs> The bullet bill holder. Ooh, look out. Watch out indeed. That that thing must have had some red bull. The thing does give you wings. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I always drink that stuff. I never get wings. Yeah. <laughs> this is oh. soup. Yours must be glitched. You also had the wing boots. Yeah. Oh, oh, ah! Oh, those are so fast. I know. You figure for stone and everything, you figure they wouldn't move that fast. Yeah. I missed the, uh. Oh, <laughs> They're definitely on Red Bull. Oh. Definitely. Missing pixie sticks. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Me, I prefer Monster Energy Drink. Yeah. Way better than Red Bull. Red Bull sucks. Monster Energy Drink endorsed by Abyss. It's like puke. Ah, fail. Monster Energy Drinks are pretty good. I just like the Absolutely Zero one. Yeah. So far I haven't died yet, wow. <laughs> yeah, a few seconds anyway. Yeah. Give it time. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, you almost died. Yeah. <laughs> Your face almost what died. You die? Oh, what? No what? Oh. Say in my face. Oh, he gets to there play the go. bonus game. Success. Whee! Yep, I'm afraid you're going to need these extra lives here. Yeah. Yes. Alright, here we go. We're giving it 3-2. Hopefully it won't fail this time. Level Gen 2. You can jump on those fighters. <laughs> Although, I don't know why I'm telling you that right now, because technically you're not playing. <laughs> you can't jump on spiders in real life. I did, and it went splat. <laughs> yeah, but not those size spiders. I bet you wouldn't do those size spiders in real life. Watch me. Yeah, the same Resident Evil. <laughs> oh, wow. that would be so funny that. if, yeah, Claire Redfield would just jump on a spider that was like 10 feet tall yeah. and it'd give you like 100 points. <laughs> oh, what was that? <laughs> God. This is better than watching someone play Cliffhanger for the yeah. NES. Yeah. <laughs> I've never played that. <laughs> it, it's actually the game, it's like the Game Boy version, but with color. Huh. Oh, made it. Because ain't the graphics like the same as the Game Boy one? Wow. Oh. Hey, he jumped on the spider. But those spiders are you can jump on? Don't yep, be. you can jump on them. Huh. Like you just did. Well, the instruction book didn't say that. Ah! What was that? Man, those jumping <laughs> skills. Yeah. That's it. Safe days. <laughs> but you're not playing uh, actual Super Game Boy or, or Joe Nintendo? 
Or original emulator without save states? Yeah. <laughs> save state gamer taught me how to do this. Ronnie's performing worse than the U.S. soccer team against Belgium. Wait, I heard they put on a good game. <laughs> Not the first 90 minutes, hell no. Well, yeah, what about the last 90 minutes? <laughs> the extra time they actually started watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Don't I'd rather watch it. this 10 times than watch a soccer game. <laughs> no offense to people out there. <laughs> Star Soldier would, would love to have watch. Oh, dang it. Rather uh, watch me play Mega Man 5, I guess, and then watch soccer. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather watch Me Mega Man soccer than watch actual soccer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was stupid. I forgot. Oh, yeah. Don't jump on the spikes. Yeah. Watch out for the spikes. Yeah. You had so many lives earlier. Yeah. Oh. oh. That spider. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here we go. Dang it. Where's John Goodman at? Points of reference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what are you what are you talking about, Roseanne? No, arachnophobia. Oh, okay. Ah, more like death phobia. I keep uh, pothole phobia. Ne <laughs> necrophobia. Oh man. Oh, I say said again. I, yes. I called it. Yes. Well, would you rather see this safe states or me repeating three one again? Repeating three one again. That's a kiss like that. <laughs> I want to see the heads again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Way better than soccer. <laughs> who? Soccer. <laughs> oh, soccer. I thought it said stalker. Like, who? Soccer sucks. The stalker Barry Wyndham? <laughs> stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. For to <laughs> see. When did he have that gimmick? Like, a month? Yeah, like back in 96, I think. <laughs> WF for a month, and then that was it. <laughs> like, what? Wow, he's like in his 40s then. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, he's they try to give a hip, cool name. Oh, yeah. you're the stalker. Yeah, that's so <laughs> stupid. Like Barry Windham, he was already established at the time. Why give him a stupid gimmick? <laughs> what will he go for? Yes. Mega Man X2. There we go. All right. Ooh. Now we're outside again, but this eerie music is playing. Whoa. You have blocks. Yeah. Oh! Oh, oh come on! Oh, I touched that. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I went through the platform. What is this? Bram Stoker's Dracula? Yeah. Actually, it is. This is Double Dragon 3. <laughs> Genesis. <laughs> yeah. I said you could hear our commentary. Magic School Bus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, look out. Someone posted a hate comment, I think, on part one of that LP. I said, if you think that's bad, watch part two. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Man, freaking spider still kill me. Or force me to die jumping over the accidentally and bouncing over that ledge and then into the pit. I wish this platform would stand still. Never. <laughs> I love the track uh, soundtrack in this game though, it's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty upbeat. Yeah. Well, kind of. Yeah. Ah! Jeez! How did you miss that? <laughs> there we go. I'm trying to jump up there's controls, man, I'm telling you, I don't like controls this game. That's it, I need to play this. Oh, 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 yeah. Give Star Soldier a turn. <laughs> Man, this is the gutsy part. Oh, that was the boss coming up. <laughs> oh! I think it's freaking Wee Guy again. <laughs> Chun Li. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get the mushroom. Ah, oh, move, move, move. Yes. He got it. There you go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Impending. Oh. Oh, I forget it. Yes, yes. Pwned. Woo. 
You went out with a bang? She bang, she bang. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we finally rescued her. Alright, finally. I thank you all for watching. End. This is Thirst. Oh, not again. Oh. Oh, <laughs> again? I never saw that coming. Never saw that coming indeed. Oh. <laughs> All right, and all right, two more lives. <laughs> all right, so that's the end of part three of Super ECW Land. We'll see you guys in part four, maybe in about another month. Until then, God bless and take care. Oh, no, my spaghetti has been eaten. <laughs> Honestly, don't jump on spiders. Yeah, I agree. Welcome to Let's Play Discuss Super Mario Land. This is Ron Moore, along with the Wii guy. Yo! So yeah, and I'm already at the last world. I did not know this was the last world until until after this. I was like, really? That's it? Four worlds? The Game Boy can't handle eight worlds. I guess not. I was surprised too. I was like, wait, four worlds? This isn't tradition. Yeah. But whatever they made with what they could. Yeah. So yeah, this I'm not like I'm in a Japanese dojo or something. This music and the background and I don't know. It makes it feel like when what's this Beverly Hills Ninja for Game Boy? Nah, <laughs> I wish. I want Chris Farley and Robin Shaw. That's that's the, name, the other guy. Well, basically Liu Kang. Uh, yeah, Liu Kang. Yeah, this has a name, of course, in the soundtrack. I forgot what land this is, because, of course, there's Birabuto, Muda, Istan, and I think this is Chai. Just Chai. Oh. Why Chai? The Chai Kingdom. Why Chang Kang? What? Points of reference? I don't get those. If it's wrestling, I don't get it. No, it's not wrestling. I just assume it's wrestling. <laughs> Your face is wrestling as I'm trying to get past here. Oh. oh. Yes, just chai the best you can. <laughs> yeah. He's just like happy but so much danger. Is it? It's it feels like traditional Japanese feel. Yeah. Well it's made in Japan. <laughs> yes. Good job, Hirokazu Tanaka. Yeah, you did good. Masato Tanaka? Hirokazu Tanaka. Points for reference. Now that was a wrestling joke. Okay, good. <laughs> no, no. You may be right about the dojos, because it's like, when I look at the background, it's like, there's like, just mountains and like, bamboo poles, and it's like, it feels like it's just plastered on a wall. It doesn't feel like a tr background. Yeah. Look, that. those mounds don't even look like they're really there. Reminds me of one of those, uh, one of those stages in Ninja Turtles Hyperstone Heist. Which one? Hyperstone Heist. No, which level? <laughs> uh, that level that looks like this. The dojo. Oh, there was a dojo level. Okay, I remember. Duh. Ah. Go cross cut. Aw, oh, you. Nah. Yeah. You do it. Oh well, at least for- wait, you don't get bonus, do you? Yep, nah. Either that or I think I skipped it, I don't remember. No bonus for you! What? Ah. Get the mushroom, get the- oh. No mushroom for you! Literally. Can you jump on that thing? Yep. Nope. Ah! Oh, you can? Oh. Dude, that don't happen. Okay, you got four lives now. Yeah. NWO four lives. Point of reference. What? Ah, oh, I thought it went up. That's what I said. <laughs> it went up. I swear it. <laughs> one up. Ah. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, you're going downhill fast. Yeah. 
I've only only Star I always yeah, it's Star Soldier. I always don't know if he preferred a World Champ, Airzonk World Champ, even though that's just his the other channel. Yeah. Nah, F it. We'll still call him Star Soldier till the end of time. Even if he then becomes uh uh I think he sold out. <laughs> yeah. He sold my out. He no longer I don't think he even uses Star Soldier channel. Yeah, my idea sold out. I couldn't think of a joke. Ah, uh, well, I got killed out, hell, right there. I ah. get the star too. The one star power. Okay, what is uh, what is this Metroid? You got these flying balls and what? I think that's take. Wait, no. I was about to say let's take it from Mario Three, but this came out before Mario Three. Oh yeah. Wait, or did it? Because in Japan, it was it '88. Ah, oh, man, my research. I only ah. know North American dates. Yeah. Well, Mario 3 came out in 90. Ah. Yeah, in America. Oh my gosh, man. Get it together. America, freak yeah. Here okay, yeah, it was 88 when it came out in Japan, Mario 3 and Mario Land was 89. Yeah. For both, I believe. Whoa. Yeah, ah, there we go. Like, oh, oh, don't ruin it. Come on, you're doing good. Nice. Yes. Wow, this is really... Man, I remember when Mario games were hard. Yeah. I never played this when I was a kid when it came out. I think like maybe in later years. Like, maybe I was in junior high, I think. I might have played it the first time. So I probably first played like maybe 94, 93, 94, I think. Not even gonna try? <laughs> no. <laughs> you can, you can do it. I, I just want to freaking beat this level and <laughs> beat this game. All right, oh, yes, good. here we go. Oh yeah, baby, we're at the final level here. I oh, know there's one more to go. Wait, or is it? Nope. It's always four levels here. Yeah, I do it. Yeah, this is a break. Yeah. No, I did not use the safe state right there. My computer's been acting random and crazy lately. And as I'm recording, it acts like another program's open up in the background, which there's not, and so it stops the emulator from working. I gotta click back on the emulator again to make it work again. I think it's 2014 and problems like that are still happening because you have such an old computer. Uh, I think it's more than that, though. I think I got some malware or something because I hadn't had this problem before. But no biggie, the power of edit. I guess. No, I can help you out. I know all the well, not all, not all the stuff, but yeah, something. To yeah, help. like even that new computer you promised me about a year ago, but never came through. Anyway, what new computer? My laptop. Go. Yeah, something like that. Whatever you were gonna send me. Oh no, no, I retracted because that thing is, it's still, it's not good. No. It's an XP that really has gone downhill. It's like it takes forever to start up. I don't know if it would be better than your desktop or whatever. Yeah. Oh, hurry, hurry. Do it, escape! This is like Metroid. Escape! Yeah. Except it's forcing you. It's very happy tune. So happy all the time. Listen to this in stereo we got through that channel. Yeah. Even though technically Game Boy music is already actually in stereo, or like they're coming out of like the both speakers, like with that effect, but it's just clearer. Mine are clearer. Yeah. They're clearer. All right, so now we're fighting Cloud eight seven four five or Cloud from Final Fantasy. Ah, ah, ah. Cloud nine. Yeah. This is Cloud nine here. Making a duck sound. Well, watch out for Shawn. Well, watch out for Shawn Michaels. Point for reference. Is it that? Is it that? Head in the is his head in the clouds? Yeah. All right, that's the end. Wait, what? Whoa! This is the final level. I was lied to. Wow, contra boss. <laughs> yeah, that's like contra. You beat a boss, but then you gotta find another one. You think it's over? Nope. Oh dear. Owned. Oh my goodness gracious. Great the final boss and. Final boss ended on the sh on the shooting level. Oh my goodness! Yeah. 
Finally, Daisy. Oh, the Daisy, Daisy. Nothing is over. It's finally over. All right, now it's the airplane from Yoshi's Island or Dream Master. No, wait. Make up your mind. It's the airplane from Airplane. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> Alright, so that is it already. Uh, Mario Land. <laughs> like, yeah, that fit right. Mario Land. Like we played a scary game or something. Uh, yeah, so I, I like, earlier when I finished this, I'm like, that's it? I thought it was at least six, seven worlds, and I really don't remember. It's been forever. I, I remember Mario Land 2 a lot better than this game. So this game I have vague memories of. So I didn't realize how short it was. But I'm kind of glad because this is really getting hard. And also because of the controls, I think are real stiff. Oh, certainly. I mean, this is the the first Game Boy game, one of the first. So I mean, shows its age. Yeah. H Tanaka amid amid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, H Tanaka. That's my man. There was good design. The Mashima. <laughs> Put it in the Mashima. Special thanks to you for playing. Oh. Taki from Soul Calibur? What'd she do? <laughs> and Izishi and Nagata. Yuji Nagata? And Kano and Nishizawa. The heck is a what's the special thanks for? Did they work on the game? What well, special thanks? More like special. Yeah. Blah. Special no thanks. Alright, so now it's time for the Let's Discuss of so Super Mario Land. Yay! Yeah, very uh, very good classic indeed. Um, yeah, so I, like, I never played it back then when it first came out. Back then I was still busy playing like Mario 1, 2, and 3 for the NES. And um, yeah, so but I never owned a Game Boy as a kid. Uh, so I eventually played it. I think uh, a friend had a Game Boy. And he had a lot of games, including this one. And so I played it. And it's very fun. And... Great old school classic game, um, and yeah, so I mean, a good soundtrack, pretty, pretty sweet soundtrack for the Game Boy. Great challenge, graphics pretty good for its time for the Game Boy, uh, and it's a great classic Mario game. Uh, no, no battle, but a little something different. Some woman named Daisy, I don't know, if she's a princess of Flower Kingdom or something, or and then you got Topanga or Tatanka, whatever the boss's name was, I forgot. Tatanga. Uh, <laughs> Tatanga and uh, yeah, so, what the heck was the boss? Was it like a, Bowser was like a dinosaur or something, or Koopa? What the heck was... He was just, a, just an alien. Okay, that's, that's I don't even is. know the plot of this game. I never knew the story. Mario, you know, once again, on Mario, Mario this time rescues someone named Daisy, and I guess you fight aliens taking over Mushroom Kingdom, or or Flower Kingdom, wherever you're at. Yeah, some kind of other land. Yes, Mario, Mario land. land. Yeah, Mario Land. So... Yeah, this game, uh, I'm a pretty good game, uh, but I feel like giving it, uh, this feels like I should give it a 7 out of 10. We got? I, all right, well, I certainly had this game growing up. It was uh, fun memories. It was fun. It was like, oh, Mario on the Game Boy, sweet. You know, this is, this is cool. And, of course, the such memorable and great soundtrack, of course, by Hirokazu Tanaka. But as I said, yeah, like, the the game has shown its age with the controls being slightly stiff. But, I mean, kind of let it off, give it some slack because it was the first Game Boy game, the first true, like, platformer on the system. You know, I don't know how different the hardware was from the NES. They're kind of, like, the same, kind of. I don't know, but... Either way, the game left a great legacy, of course, with, uh, like, I guess, portable Mario games. I guess that's what it did. But really, of course, it, it's just a great... Uh, Mario platformer on the Game Boy, and truly it's hard in the last level, and I like that. I appreciate that. But, uh, yeah, this was a good game. I, uh, who cares, really, who cares about the story and, like, the final boss? I mean, Tatanga, he's like Wart. I mean, this is like, that was, yeah, this is like the only game he's appeared in. So. Yeah, just like Wart. Yeah. For Mario 2, it's the only game he appeared in. Both Wart and Tatanga. Well, I guess it takes two to Tatango. Tatango. Woo! Woo! Anyway, 
Uh, yeah, good game. I will probably probably yeah, give it the same, about a seven out of ten. You know, for the first Game Boy game and it's a portable Mario game. It's thumbs up. Soundtrack is extra. Thumbs up. Yeah. Go listen. Go listen to it. Ape Stereo. Yep. Yeah, I think I noticed that the other day. I'm like, wait a minute. We we got doing this is what's this four bit stereo now or wait a minute that's not NES and I forgot there's actually other no 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 never mind you did a Sega Master System upload those are the three that count as NES Game Boy and Master System that threw me off I was like wait a minute eight bit stereo this is not NES oh wait I forgot Master System is in uh, eight bit yeah and technically Game Boy as well is just no color basically I forgot this is eight bit stereo not NES stereo yes but, exactly. All right, so there you go. That's it for the S2K stereo. Wow, fail. Whoa. Hey, Tom. Uh, anyway, that is it. We are out of here. And, yeah, no surprise, so a minor spoiler. My next LP will be Super Mario Land 2, Six Golden Coins. Is a much better game. Oh, yeah. And so we'll see you then. I'm Ron Moore. And we guy. Oh, yeah, baby. Star Soldier for the final level here. <laughs> All right. God bless. Take care. See ya. Welcome uh, to Let's Play Super Mario Land 2, Six Golden Coins for the Game Boy. This is Ron Moore, along with the Wii Guy and Star Soldier. Hey, yeah. what's up? <laughs> yeah, so this is probably my favorite, maybe my favorite Game Boy game. Uh, Mario Land 2, really loved it back in the day, so much better than the original. Oh yeah. Much better controllers, it looks like Super Mario World. Yeah, and I love the soundtrack as well. Oh play, yeah. Play this a Very lot. Bouncy. Yeah, play this a lot. My friend's Game Boy like 20 years ago in the summer of 94. One of my favorite pastimes that summer is playing this game and beating it. It's pretty ECW. Yeah, we only got mini soundtracks here, but you know, they were still able to work magic with what they had. Yeah. It's too bad the third one sucked, but we'll talk about the good what? one. What? <laughs> I, never, I never played that one, so I wouldn't know. Nobody has. But <laughs> you play oh, yeah, it once baby. and then you never want to play it again. Oh yeah, baby, we're at the first level here. Yeah, we got cool popsicles in the background and piranha plants are back. Yeah, the normal plan piranha plants. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna really enjoy doing this LP. Really love this game. Last yeah, time I, I played play it, was is that watch it? <laughs> no offense. Do what? <laughs> I want to play this to watch it. Oh, yeah. Last time I played this game was 2009. Man. How did How far did you get then? <laughs> you had to spin. Oh, yeah. You spin this game? Spin! Yep. Didn't know that. Just like in Super Mario Little World. Huh. I don't remember doing that. If I did back then, 20 years ago, I don't remember. <laughs> 2009, I don't know. Like, I think before 2009, I think it's probably 94 is the last time I played this. Jeez. And I did beat it in 2009, so, but I'm still not too familiar. It's not one of those games I know back, back, back in my hand, like Super Metroid, but, I mean, oh yes, got it. Yeah, thankfully, this is also a fairly easy game, like the original Super Mario Land. Yeah. I don't know, original was pretty tough, especially near the end. Yeah, really, freaking controls. Oh, can't go here yet. <laughs> Mario Land 2! Yeah. I want to go to Mario Land 2. <laughs> oh yeah, they put Super Mario Land 2. Yeah. Lazy jerks. I'm going to write a letter. See, at least the Mega Man 5 the spelling is good. Nick. <laughs> uh -huh. Too bad the whole game isn't. <laughs> Alright, so level 2 here, or whatever level this is. Might not really a uh, certain order you can go in, but... I I'm think they just call this a tree world. Oh yeah. Or there's zones. Yeah. It's the tree zone. It's the water zone. It's whatever. Well, just, <laughs> but the game wanted to branch out into different uh, things. I guess we could leaf it to them. Yeah, it's a it's a feather, not a leaf. Yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> what? At least the bark isn't worse than its bite. Now, once you make like a tree and get out of here. Hey, don't be stumpy about this. It's leave, you idiot. <laughs> shut your sap. <laughs> that, that was that was lame. <laughs> Let's shut your gap. That was sappy. 
<laughs> better, better than being cheesy, I guess. Yeah. I wonder if Woodman would be in the stage. I don't know. <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> Too bad it'd be Mega Man related and <laughs> Capcom wouldn't go anywhere near that. Huh. Although they should make a new Super Mario Land. I don't well, know, I, I think guess they kind of did, but... They did. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think Mega Man 5 is better than this oh, game. Oh, make it black and white. <laughs> I, I think yes. Mega Man 5 is better than this game. Ronnie, don't start. We already... I know. I'm, I'm trolling. We I'm trolling. We won. I, I was just trolling Star Soldier. Want to give a... Uh, you won? Want to give you a... You have to play Mega Man 5. You lost. <laughs> <laughs> well, to us, it's winning. It's like Charlie Sheen. We're, we're winning and fail. <laughs> Wow, hey, Ronnie. You got to see a crappy ending and play a horrible Mega Man. Hey. Dang it, get go. the pill. There we go. There you go. You finally there. got it. At least we're playing a good game. <laughs> Again. Focus on the good and, game. Yeah, we're playing another good game here for the third time in a row. And it's 2K. Super Mario Land 2. Oh, come on. Rats. Yes. Flower power. <laughs> you stayed exactly the same. I keep getting the freaking <laughs> flower. Can I get something else? No, oh, being a Native American's cool. Yeah, but still. What the heck is that up there? What? And down there, goo? It's the sap. Oh. You're swimming in sap. It's a sappy level. Hopefully it's goo. Dang, another flower! Oh, another flower. I guess you could say that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I. I just can't. <laughs> yeah. I get. Oh, you I get that joke. No. No. I, what do you mean? I'm 20 <laughs> years old. Rot in. <laughs> yeah. See, remember, we got was a baby. I was playing this game. Yeah. Oh, I got the joke now. Actually, I didn't have one, that's why I stopped. But now, since you're getting all these flowers, but you don't want the flower, that means you want to get... Uh, I, I can't say it! It's like it's there, but I don't want to say it. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, you lost it. There you go, you got oh, the flower. Now watch out for spikes. Okay, watch out for spikes. No watch noticed. out for the spikes. Yay! Oh, wait, it's the halfway mark. I thought it was in the level. <laughs> Ring the bell. Yeah. Just like Brock Lesnar's gonna ring John Cena's bell. Is that a euphemism? It's a wrestling joke. Come on, we got. Ring my bell. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Thankfully, we haven't seen that match in like three years. Just to have like Randy Orton, which Randy Orton and John Cena, which we yeah, see really. every week. Yeah. So it's gonna be slightly newer. <laughs> yeah. And then it's gonna be out of the day when this video airs. <laughs> Yeah. No. I'm gonna, wait, I'm gonna wait a month to uh, upload it. Hopefully not. Okay. You won't. You're not me. Dang it! Jump up there, you stupid idiot! Hey, it's not the there. game's fault. Yes, it is. I'm telling the game what to do, and it's not doing it. <laughs> do what you're told! <laughs> Just use an emulator, and then use a save state to get rid of that mistake. <laughs> no, I'm a real man. Only a pansy will use emulators in life. According to, uh, according to, oh, I forgot who said that a long time ago. Me? No, someone on YouTube is big and famous. I forgot he's making fun of people. Um, big and famous. The, ga the gaming goose. Whoever uses save states is a wussy. <laughs> oh yes. You beat the level. Yeah, it's weird that they gave you so many lives here. Yeah. <laughs> It's <laughs> like Mega Man 3 and 5, so many power-ups, they want you to beat the game. Yeah, see, Nintendo yeah. already were starting all the, give you all the extra lives in yeah. the game. They weren't always hardcore back then. Yeah, not like Lil Nemo the Dream Master, jeez. Can be a tough one, yeah. Alright, so now I'm in... Uh, You're in the leaves. Yeah, oh. in the leaves. Oh! Get your, oh. Get your, hey. get, get your head it's out of the tree. Illusion. <laughs> Yeah, this part does like soup. uh, this part does kind of look like Super Mario World a little bit. Just need Yoshi. What? Oh, just need Yoshi. Oh, he's come out. Made the game good. He's come out 90, 91. This was 92. Oh, your face is 92. 
Ah! <laughs> oh, dang, this game came out before you were born. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, well, whatever. Did you know at the time this was the largest Game Boy game at 4 megabits? Cool. Holy. So funny. Must have melted the cartridge. They did. Play for like two hours, it whole game melts. It's too big. I would have to play this on the Game Boy Color. I mean, uh, no, wait, not Game Boy Color, Super Game Boy. <laughs> yeah, it's cool on the Game Boy Color or Super Game Boy. Yes. Ah, <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I already said that joke. Oh. I said, leave it to you. Oh, well, that's not the same thing. It's, you're not the same thing. Your face is not the same thing. Oh, that's cruel. How can you jump on a leaf anyway? Well, you can jump on it, you just <laughs> end up crushing it. Yeah, he's a fat Italian plumber. He's yeah. gotta be like 200 pounds. But these leaves are strong, these are bamboo Zimbabwe leaves or something, I don't know. This is the world tree from Fazanadu. The yeah. This is the big big tree. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> How could you? Because I'm a failure. You see, you missed it. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Now. All the way. All the way. <laughs> oh! Barely. Did you hold down the B button there? <laughs> yeah, well, I held down the X button because I'm playing with the PS2 controller. Oh. Alright, there we go, and get the- oh! Oh! Ooh, barely. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh yeah, we're at the final- trophy? We're at the final tree zone level here. Yeah! Why didn't they have tree zone in Sonic? They did, it was called the, uh... Uh, the mushroom zone or whatever. <laughs> Sonic Knuckles. Yeah. All right, now I got the flower again. <laughs> Not the Mushroom Kingdom zone. Okay. Yeah, different. I love this track right here. Mm, you mean the track that's been playing in all the other levels? No, there's a different track in some of the other levels, but this one right here is probably, probably my favorite, one of my favorites in the game. Takes me back to 94. It is Mr. Yeah. Owl. The, from uh, the, you mean 92? Uh, from the Tootsie Roll yeah. commercials. Yeah, How many... just the stage sounds, you know, the best one is definitely the moon stage. Yeah. You know, I forgot what I sound like, so we'll find out in part whatever. Okay. Stay tuned, everybody. Yeah. I may not do that one, but stay, still stay tuned. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been busy this week. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> no offense, you guys. Busy doing nothing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Going to I just came back from Gone Bravo. Going to XCOM Bravo. I mean, oh, who? Being all big and famous. Oh. Yep. Game Chasers. Who's that? I, I'm, I've only heard of people like One Up Gamer, Skip Rogers. <laughs> who the heck is the Game Star? He was on World Champ was there. Who? He was. I saw him. <laughs> <laughs> who cares? If Bear 13's not there, it don't matter. Well, bravo to you, Star Soldier. If J-Man would have been there, it would have been epic. It would have been con if I missed it. J-Man is the CM Punk of YouTube. Just quit out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, you got the bunny ears. Yes. There you go. The most the useless That's what that is. in similar sure. history. No. I'm not sure what the heck that was. Like, turn I up. can float now. Doesn't make you jump extra high? And it makes you float like that. Actually, I think you needed to get to, like, get out of a war or clear a level. Yeah. But you got no melee attack. Well, this isn't super It's like the melee. raccoon tail, but more lame. <laughs> uh, melee My ears! Yeah. Oh, play boy buddy! We got a little wet behind the ears. Real young. Not, not experienced in this game. No. I already I've beaten this game. Well, see if you can beat this. A Donkey Kong Country boss? Oh no, this isn't the crow. Yeah, this isn't. Or the crow. whatever it was from uh, Neki from Donkey Kong Country 2, I, I forgot. No, that's the first one. The second one, it's crow. Like, Yeah, yeah the second one is Pirate Crow Boss. 
and then you kill it, and then you have to fight this ghost later on. This boss is a joke. Is this Adventures of Tom Sawyer here? I think the Tom Sawyer bosses were harder. <laughs> Probably so, yeah. yeah. This game's easy. Easy W. <laughs> God dang it. Oh, one coin! Perfect fit. Mm, good tunes. And that's the end of part one of the epic Super Mario Land 2 six ECW coins for Game Boy. See you in part two. This is Ron Moore. Oh, uh, we, we guy? <laughs> An Airsog World Heavyweight Champion, baby. Woo! Until SummerSlam. All right. God bless. Take care. You ain't taking my title. Oh, this is heavy. Welcome to Super Mario Land 2, 6 ECW Coins, Part 2. This is Ron Moore, once again with Star Soldier and the Wii Guy. Yo! Hey, what's up? Very always a bunny ears again. Yeah, I don't know what level this is supposed to be, it's not a zone, but anyway. <laughs> I think it's just a me sub-level where you can get some 1-ups. Not oh, cool. It's a Twilight Zone. Hey, yeah. Too bad you couldn't put that in the... Oh, oh. oh what the... <laughs> 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 Come on, this is the bonus level. It's supposed to be easy. Yeah, I don't like, like the stupid screen on the auto, auto scroll. See? It's cheap. <laughs> it's a shooter. Yeah. Shooter McGavin. <laughs> shooter McGavin. Like Shooter McPhail. <laughs> oh, it gets worse. There we go. Yeah. There you go. Oh, too bad those hills aren't happy. Yeah. One sound, the other one's like, I don't know why I'm here. But yeah, because they hate levels, stupid levels like this that force you to go. <laughs> force you to go. Then you might as well hate every other Mario. Well, I guess Mario 3, because that started it. Oh yeah. I always hated the auto-scroll levels. And Mega Man 4 had that crap. Don't worry, it wasn't until Mega Man 5 where it got crap. Damn it! Always comes back to Mega Man. At least Man. Mega Man 5 didn't have no auto-scroll levels. <laughs> Yeah, all the levels are crappy. What about Wave Man, too? Uh, see, that's why Mega Man 5 is better. No auto scroll. It don't force you to do anything. Yeah. You bit well, it. What the heck happened to Mario's face right there? Uh. It is right when the screen transformed uh, to the map screen, like his face glitched out or something. You're a glitched out. Alright, so now with the macro. What the heck is a. Holy macro! Holy macro! <laughs> meant they, they probably meant to say micro, but they misspelled it. Yeah. <laughs> ah, so good. Oh. oh. I will say, do you actually prefer black and white Game Boy or black and green? <laughs> uh. Like black and green is the original original. Like, everywhere else, it's black and white for, like, the Game Boy, but... I don't know, I prefer huh. the, uh, black and green, because that is... That's true to the traditional, like, Game Boy Color. No, that's true DX. True DX. Eh. Guess I it's like just me, I then. We got two words for you. Game Boy. <laughs> what do you like, Ryan? <laughs> I like this one. You because... like black and white? Yep, you can actually see it. Oh, see, this is what the Game Boy looked like in the 50s. Back in my day. Back in my day, we didn't have color. <laughs> we didn't need that kind of color. Yeah. Well, it's weird. On the Super Game Boy, like, that's one of the default options you could do in, like, the whole, like, customization. But it looks weirder on the TV Super Game Boy than the actual Game Boy. Oh, well. Yeah. And I do prefer black and white on the TV or Super Game Boy. Strange enough, don't like it on the Game Boy Player, on the GameCube. The color cho random default color choices are strange. Oh no, I just play the game. <laughs> <laughs> play the game! My <laughs> review series, shameless plug, gaming going gone. Yeah. yeah. We really don't have too many colors to work with, so we don't got a lot of options. <laughs> Alright, so this is the track, this is the freestyle rap zone. This track right here, go go ahead, uh, Star Soldier, bust the flow. 
Yo, my name is Star We Gun, I'm here to say Mar Mario Land 2 is really, really not gay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I actually can't hear the soundtrack from my side, so I can't do a rap. <laughs> my beats were pretty spot on for the okay. soundtrack. Yeah. It's all silent on my end, except for your voices and all. That's why they got the bunny ears um, item in this level, because it's in reference to B Rabbit from 8 Mall. Oh, wait. Is that related to B Arthur? Okay, <laughs> guess not. <laughs> Thanks for that awkward silence, making me look like you a fool. You better be ready. Well, I was drinking. Stop drinking and commentary. You know, I, I, it's, it's wabbit season. Let's drink green tea during commentary. Don't drink lol's tea. We well, got you. Lulz. It'll make this it'll, it'll make this video a little easier to stomach. Right. So just made it freeze there. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dead. Okay. Good. Dang it! I thought I edited all the freeze parts out. It's a freestyle. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> freeze style. Now freeze. That's uh, yeah. that's Mr. Freeze's way of rapping. He's like freeze style. Yeah, like Freeze Man and Mega Man. Wait. Iceman. Let's ruin Batman and Robin. <laughs> yeah. I wish Into was here. He does a good Arnold. Yeah. He did just like Petey Williams and TNA. <laughs> Forget the bonus. No, Come get, on, the, get out of here. That bell was so easy. You just hop up on the. Uh, whatever. <laughs> oh, that's it. Ref, ring the bell. Saved by the bell. I love how we're in a house. It's like a macro zone. It's a house. It's like it's little Nemo it. for Game Boy. Yeah, it's, it's Nemo's house. Is it the you? Right, well, maybe I can search up the macro definition. A single instruction expands automatically into a set of instructions to perform a particular task. So it's that zone, kind of zone. Or no, large scale overall. There we go. Like macro, micro, macro. I get it now. I'm smarter. <laughs> macro, money, and cheese. Wait, what? Well, oh. well, well. I think it'd be macro, macro money, money, and, and cheese. cheese. We are brought here together in holy matrimony. <laughs> oh, look out for Jay. Oh, I'm hungry oh, for a big pack. Macro. I want to hear it now. Hey, I just watched a video <laughs> of uh, part two of uh, Six Golden Coins. I wish you got something to say straight to my face. <laughs> well, come on, Jay. You say if we're going to make fun of you, you prefer it not while you're around. So you're not around, so... <laughs> but I was around when I was watching the video. Oh, like... yeah. Can't wait to stereoize this soundtrack. It's gonna be grand. Yeah. Even though. Oh, <laughs> sure. Yep. Do what? I think his face glitched out again. You don't like the bell. Okay, now welcome to Chippendale for the Game Boy. Yep. <laughs> Our monsters in my pocket. Anybody remember that one? Probably not. Oh yeah, the LP we did, did on this channel. Check that out. I'm like more like Koopas in my pocket. There's a Goomba in my pocket. Game Boy in my pocket. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's what Boy. we used to use before emulators. Kids. Kids. Did Freezer again? Yeah. Yep. Freeze. Aww. My Game Boy didn't do that. <laughs> yeah. This isn't really the Game Boy. Yeah. It's it's a hoax. This is the Visual Boy Advance. At least it's not the Virtual Boy. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Even though I do like it. What the heck? What is this? What? The spy vs. Yeah, spy? A, a witch. Oh, I thought you were, were you saying what to me. I was like, what? I can like the Virtual Boy. I'm talking about what happened in the actual gameplay, if you pay attention. Well, <laughs> you know what the they say. master hand up in here. I uh, just... Also, what? You're jumping and... You're jumping and jumping. Big surprise. No, you didn't see the Spy vs. Spy character, the black character, try to steal my heart? Whoa. No, that was a witch. Oh, right. The black- what? What? The black oh, he's trying to steal your heart, I get it. Yeah. 
here we go, boss Tom. I predict that it'll take 20 seconds to beat this boss. Oh, or 20 seconds for you to die. No, 30. 30. Ah. <laughs> what? I predict, I predict three deaths. Oh, you dirty rat. Yeah. You dirty rat. Oh, can you do it? Can you do it? What this rat ever do? Yes. He's just going and busting his balls. <laughs> you just killed Mickey. Oh, I'm dead. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. I'm driven. Ah. And that's the second coin. Oh yeah. yeah. No. No, you didn't do it right in order. <laughs> and that's the end of the second part <laughs> of Super Mario Land Two. So see you guys in part three and whatever zone we're gonna be at. God bless. Take care. Zoinks. Air zoink. Subscribe. I'm zoned out. Welcome to Let's Play Super Mario Land 2, 6 ECW Coins, Part 3. This is Ron Moore, along with the Wii Guy and Star Soldier, again. Yeah! How's everybody doing out there? Woo! Doing good, Ronnie! You or, Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> what? <laughs> I said doing good, Ronnie, when I meant to say Ryan, or Star Soldier, whatever, don't matter. <laughs> Look, a spooky land! <laughs> It's who land? It's a spooky yeah, land. Very it's zone. Yeah, this we is got land. Jason's in there. We got the little Jason Voorhees. Is. It's like Chibi Jason. Ah, like, oh, I got a knife in my head. <laughs> 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 I got yeah, a little Jason uh, mask. He'd hurt you. I guess they're Goombas. They're the yeah Goombas just for Halloween. They're also the. It's like a. Kind of reminds me of the Jason masks from Mario Brothers 2. Wait, you mean the the uh, Banto? Whatever they call the ripoff of Jasons. Yeah, Banto. Shy guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, I there we think go. Freestyle rap oh, music we got. <laughs> Invincible start, man, man, that's really good. I love it, really good. I gotta go eat some food because that's good for my tummy. Yum, me. <laughs> That was just a shameless plug for the We Eats episodes. Well, those are on a hiatus, so it wasn't even... You're, you're on a hiatus. <laughs> yes, yes I am. Thanks to Blip. Boom. You're eating on a hiatus from eating haggis? I'm on a hiatus from eating, in general. <laughs> on a hiatus from being <laughs> in a hiatus. Hunger Strike! No! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta eat, dude. Look at Mario, he's eating a lot. Yep. He eats carrots and mushrooms and <laughs> He flowers. needs to go on a diet. Screw you, I jump and run around all, and all the time. <laughs> and he's still fat. Swing your arms from side to side. <laughs> now that's an exercise. Yeah. As you play a star soldier here. <laughs> We're not in the star world yet. Yeah. So where's the wee guy? Oh, he's not in this game, dang right, it. Right? Oh. <laughs> It's like right here, Jesus. <laughs> what did I have? No, I'm talking about we got Luigi. We Luigi. Uh, I guess like I why, why didn't want to have a Luigi in the Mario Land games. Because they're saving He's up for Luigi the Land games, and that's about it. Uh, I'm Luigi. I'm third rate character. Oh, the dang it. Lu the waiting to do Luigi Land series. Yeah. For the uh, Wii U Advance Game Boy. Wait. Well, it, was, oh, it would be Lu Year of Luigi, but that's over with now. Yeah. Now it's the popular Year of Rosalina. Because why not? <laughs> Who? Rosalina. From Mario Galaxy. Uh, random princess number 17. Maria? Not even a... <laughs> barely a princess. She's more just like a mother-ish kind of thing. It's weird. But I like it. She so. looks exactly like Princess Peach, except with a different hairstyle. That's who I thought it was. Well, she's one tough mother. <laughs> That's one tough mother. Shut your mouth. 
Here, Nintendo has a chance to introduce a whole new female character, and guess what? It's a random princess in a dress, all fancy hair, and it's not playable. Yeah. Well, you want to say it to her face. It's playable in Mario Kart 8. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. I wouldn't be surprised if she's in the new Mario Party. Oh. If she is, that'd be cool, because... New Mario Party! Mario Party. Party! Oh, you fit. Right. Oh, there you go. I was gonna say, you failed at getting items. Yeah, ah, oh, dang it. I failed right don't there. Don't you know. Ah! Oh, don't you know that's what Mario's all about? It's just about getting the items. Yep. It's like Banjo Kazooie. Nobody except ever not. dies. Nobody ever dies. At least it's not like nuts and bolts. No, nobody ever dies in Nintendo. They either turn to a fly away or something. Oh, I thought you were about to say twerk. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> That wouldn't make sense. I think he's like copying the nerd there. Yeah. Yeah, come on, we got the... <laughs> what? Where? where <laughs> when? Why? Alright, and Star Soldier powers right now. Oh. <laughs> so I guess we're in a Chinese ghost stage. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. I just remember that stuff from Chinese mythology. I think mostly from playing Dots. <laughs> <laughs> Dark no, I thought you, uh, what? I was say, did you take take that in college? <laughs> Chinese <laughs> history. Your history. Oh. <laughs> and ghostly goombas. Well, I guess you can't jump on those. Goosebuzz. Yeah, they look more realistic than the goombas in the movie. No, that, those <laughs> goombas were top notch. <laughs> top notch, awful. <laughs> yeah. So this stage right here reminds me of uh, one of the ghost levels in Super Mario World. You don't say. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much a carbon copy. Yeah. Oh, I think they realized it too. Ah. <laughs> oh, I, well, I was just about to earlier. realize. Can't jump on ghost goombas. No, I just realized that the music in this level is the same as the coin room music in the first Mario Land. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. See, it's the same. Yeah. <laughs> or, or the music, as I like to call it, is like some guy with a trombone following a fat guy doing the exact same notes. <laughs> like Stewie Griffin. Yeah. I came up with that joke first before Family Guy ever did it. Yeah. <laughs> I did it first. Uh, we already did it. You probably got it from somewhere else because I know Family Guy and they like to steal jokes. <laughs> <laughs> probably. But I like to think that I'm a genius. Ah, oh, dang it, what? You done goofed! Really? Ah. There you go. This game is lame for that reason alone. <laughs> lame game. Yeah. Whoa. The game was loading. Ah, uh, froze. <laughs> Did hit that out. No, you're running this on the CD. I know <laughs> it. I knew oh, it. Oh, you had to add the comments, though, too. Oh, look out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to put on annotations of what to happen here. I'm tired of putting that, uh, that I made a mistake in, into words. Now you have to put an annotation on the annotation. Yeah. I'm sorry, the previous annotation was There was no mistake here. Yeah. Go back yeah, to 15 minutes ago where there was no mistake. Yes. <laughs> and you have to have an annotation on that part too. Yeah. Anastasia on it. Y'all. Nah, just man up. On. Admit your mistakes. Yes. Da, 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 da. Three hearts. Mm -hmm. Three... Three's a company. Yep. Three's company too. Come on, knock on my door. Come on, knock on my door. What the hell? Three's Which company. Which reference? <laughs> we guys way too young for that. <laughs> What's Three's company? Yeah. <laughs> I know it. I just never have seen it. <laughs> All right. So the oh yeah, we're at the final pumpkin stage here. The final pumpkin stage. Mm. At least these stages are pretty diverse. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it's, it's 
You never see these kind of things anymore, like yeah. a pumpkin world, basically, or a tree world. Yeah. yeah when this... Whenever you're playing the new Super Mario Brothers, it's always the same old stages. Yeah, just like Doom. I get sick of that music, too, that they have in the new Super Mario Brothers games. <laughs> and you always see the turtles in the Goomba stands. Do some yeah. new stuff! Yeah, yeah they, have the, they have the ha ha, like that kind of thing. Yeah. Here, at least, this is something different. Even though yeah. it looks oh, like yeah. crap, but it's still t has t a what, unique what design. What you talking about? Yeah, and yeah, you got the Shadow Gate room well, here. It looks... and... yeah. <laughs> well, it's well, an old game, awesome. though, so it, of course it looks like crap, but it has a unique a design. Well, it's a whole yeah. lot better Artistic than the first design. One. Yeah. yeah. Dude, like I said in the first part, this game was the largest Game Boy game at the time. Like, four megabytes, man. Yeah. It still looks good. I'm just giving it a hard time yes, because it looks uh, black and white and all. Well, that's Ronnie's choice. I mean, I would have gone classic green and black. <laughs> well, I didn't know there was an actual choice. Well, maybe not on the... I think, I think you can on the emulates, but uh, usually it's default black and white. <laughs> just like the uh, thing like, a... boy up to the, your camera there. Well, it's, <laughs> just like, it's just like what Michael Jackson said. It doesn't matter if you're black or white. <laughs> <laughs> That should have been an ad campaign. Game Boy, it don't matter if you're black or green or something. <laughs> Sega like would so totally sue him. Well, it, it's what makes the black turn white. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. That would be funny if Michael Jackson turned green instead of white. Yeah. It's like Kermit the Frog as the... Yeah. And here's the boss of Pumpkin Zone. I'm gonna fight the Wicked, wet, wet, uh, wicked Witch of the East. Whoa! I was to say Wicked Wench. I was like, what? <laughs> Where are we wench. going with this? Wicked Wench. Alright. Oh, Wench. Ah! Whoa. Oh, shoot. <laughs> what? Oh, that boss was Man. so easy. It's like a backhand. <laughs> no, it's not. How come I died then? <laughs> you could edit that out. Alright, he did edit part of it, at least. Alright. Ah! What? Why don't you <laughs> be like... <laughs> That's cheating. She's using her surroundings. Why can't she fight like a man? Or you? Oh wait, I was about to say you can edit it out, but then the death, the lives would be lost ah. for no reason. Ah, oh, you just. <laughs> no, I'm a real man. I don't do no editing of deaths. Oh wait, this is a safe saying. This is worse. Well, real men use safe states. Well, she's using magic. Yeah. Well, if she's using magic, magic. I can use safe states. Yep. Barely even magic, you're just throwing a fireball. Do you believe in magic? There we go. E E C W yeah. We're halfway there. Alright. Wow. Three more to go. <laughs> Can't we just get like a bulldozer or something so we can open it ourselves? Yeah, really. It's too or real. get Indiana Jones to figure out how to open it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's the end of part three. We'll see you guys in port four. P port, port four. Pork four. <laughs> oh, port. It's like Portland Zone or whatever it's called. Never zero. I forgot. Port city. <laughs> port. So then, God bless you. Mute city. Care. Later. Wait, lols? As in mute this commentary. <laughs>
Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh. Whoa, careful, Ronnie. Oh, watch out for the uh, Super Mario World chainsaws up there. Ah, brought him back. Mm hmm Whoa. Yeah, we haven't seen, like, chainsaws since Mario World. It's sad. I miss them. Yeah. At least I can remember. I miss Chainsaw Charlie. Shameless plug. I mean, shameless plug. Uh, points of reference. <laughs> shameless reference. Yeah. Plug full. Shame. Wait. Whoa. That's something Bear can discuss. Uh, shame of McMahon? I okay. feel. I love how, well, I mean, obviously, we're in a giant mechanical Mario, so basically it's like the mechanical zone. Yeah. It's the, what is it, Sonic? It's, um, mm, shoot, what is it? Uh, I can't think of it right now, what is it? Ah, I'm gonna kill, I'm gonna die. Oh. Ah, good job. Oh, oh, nice. Dude, that was like Battletoads right there. It's like where you have to, in that one level, you have the spinning thing and you're going down. It's just like that. Yeah. Except I'm great in it. All right, now we're in beach ball zone. Whoa, we're in the ball zone. Oh my, oh, yeah. oh, oh no. You want to play hardball with me? Yeah. I don't like to think where exactly we are in Mario right now. I mean, <laughs> all these balls, I mean, Jesus. Mario's Spike got a lot balls. of balls. He's got balls of steel. Dude, you gotta have a lot of balls when you go up against the likes of Wario and Bowser. Well, no Bowser, but... Yeah, Wario. <laughs> but nothing like just going around inside your body in a zone full of balls. I don't get yeah. it. Why am I jumping so slow? Is this lag or what? Oh, there we go. Game Boy doesn't have lag. Yep, lag. No. This music. Dun, 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 dun. Cha cha cha. Da, da, da. Exactly. It's the, I don't like the this cha -cha. track. I don't like this track right here. Oh, Ronnie's dissing my, my music. He's dissing my 8 bits. This is 8 bit? Yeah. This is 4 bit. That's Game Boy. Game Boy, is, it uses the same th sound chip, basically. Oh. I like the uh, other track. Dun, 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 oh, yeah. Dun, dun. Yeah, it's much more like a beat. This one's kind of slow yeah. and chill. Might like, make you do the salsa or something. Like, what? I want to eat the salsa. Yeah. People like to say salsa. Salsa, give me salsa. Points for Seinfeld reference. It's always a Seinfeld reference with you. What episode are you at now, Wega? I'm still in season two. I stopped for a little because I got into another show. I actually uh -huh. got into the, uh, the Nickelodeon version of the Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles show. Uh, oh, I like that. No, I like that. It's pretty good. It's actually, like, really well written and such. Uh, I mean, all I heard is that they didn't like the animation style. I don't have- I think it's the best. I like the animation I mean, of this game. <laughs> I love that. 30 frames per second. Maybe even <laughs> less. Pretty good. Yeah, I want to say the biggest uh, megabyte size Game Boy at the time. Yeah, four megabytes. Amazing how much time is just. Oh, oh, no. oh you oh. dummy! Get oh. out of there! Do it like what? Uh, was there, did Rambo ever yell "Get out of there" in one of his movies? Was he like "Get out of there"? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Probably has. I don't know what I'm thinking. Maybe I'm thinking Arnold Schwarzenegger with "Get down." Yeah. Get to the chop up. All right. So now we're Mario's tongue or mouth. <laughs> Cat got your tongue. Yeah. Or, wait. Here's the freestyle rap battle track. <laughs> I love my brothers. Riding on ball and chains, man. Buying in ball and chains, man. My name is Mario. His name is Luigi. Watching old school wrestling with Mr. Fuji. I fell. Mr. Fuji, what the? Oh my god, these references. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, it's got good ah. beat. Can't wait to sterilize this. Or yeah, for clear Bullet it. Phil. Bullet Phil? Yeah. Like Bullet Phil Harmon? Yeah. Phil Hartman. <clears throat> Hi there. I'm Phil Hartman. You may have seen me in such films as... Uh... This film and that one film that came out back then and... 
Jingle all the way. Saturday Night Live. Oh, uh, of course. What the heck? Uh, it's a stick. joke oh, yeah, block. I forgot this game pl was plugged in Jack in the Box back then. That's Watson. More like <laughs> Jackass in the Box. Oh, what? What? Oh. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> It doesn't look like it's really holding me, but yeah, I mean, it kind of does, but no animation for Mario, like it's getting picked up. See? Just, uh, whatever, just carry me. This game sucks because of that. They get 1 out of 10, the animation should have been better when you pick up Mario. That ruins the whole thing. Pick him up by his overalls and he's like dangling. Mm. Yes, oh, I heart this game. You got plenty of one-ups, Ronnie. Oh, you can... Ah, you can always have more. No. Just look at the new Super Mario Bros. games, man. Too yeah. many lives. Like Mega Man 3 and 5, too many power-ups. I think 4 also, but... Dude, this is grabbing you by the face. That must hurt. Ouch. Well, this is a saw, a saw for the Game Boy. Hello, Mario. Let's play a game. You must let this thing grab you by the eyeball if you want to survive. <laughs> oh, man. Bowser's Jigsaw. I don't Mario want to play a game or have sounded in the Super Show. Oh, yeah, just like... Uh, actually, I haven't heard it yeah. in a while. I forgot. I like uh, the Captain Plan... I mean, Captain N and the Game Master. Ha! Yep. Captain Planet and the Game Master. <laughs> oh! Oh! Get out of there! Yeah. Yes, the bell. Ring my bell. Match Ooh. is over. The winner of the match. Brock. Oh, Lesnar. Oh, here we go. Du -du 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 -du. Yes. You're gonna get the hearts, which you don't even need. <laughs> Why would you need them? Because I'm greedy. Whoa. <gasps> Into his mind. Mario is letting this game go to his head. As we're in the oh. Lego level. Oh, looks like Mario's mind's made of building blocks. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yahoo! It's Indian time! Yeah. Shoot the fireballs because of the red man. It's a jokey. Um, it's gone. <laughs> yeah. It was racially insensitive, so I it just got rid of it, so I would stop. Sorry, we gotta move to more edgy humor. We gotta evolve up. Yeah. Like, hey, Goomba. Yeah, Goomba. As in the old slang term for um, Italian people. people. Yeah, people pretty much. Like, like green. <laughs> yeah, green. Yeah, yeah, Goomba. Not a Goomba. <laughs> Wait, what is your is your little Goomba br baby brother stepping on your head? <laughs> yeah. Really. Step it up, man. Watch out, because Green's mother might be watching one of these videos and then she will get mad thinking we're talking trash and he won't get his money. I love that that is a thing that happened. It's it's yeah. almost like we made it up. Don't watch the SC2K because we, we can't get you in trouble. It's true. What? <gasps> I gotta Higgly fight, wigglies. You gotta fight the three little pigs. Ouch. I mean, this game is cool, but the bosses are a joke. Bosses have always really been a joke in Mario games. Well, I don't, I don't know. This one just seems so much easier. This game is much easier than the first Mario Land. Well, yeah. They never really make it like a, ch a real tough like, oh my god, I've been spending 15 minutes on this boss. It's like, oh, it's 20 seconds, he's dead. Yeah. Well, the, the Bowser children, some of them were a little bit challenging in Mario 3. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, add like five, ten more seconds of challenge. Yeah. All right, that is it. That is end. That is the end of part four of Super Mario Land Two. I don't know what zone is next, but maybe it's Auto Zone or the zone. What they had the end zone where you gotta face one of those football players from Mario World. I fail. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's we'll see you in part five. Until then, God bless. Take care. Oh, uh, bye.
Welcome to part 5 of Let's Play Super Mario Land 2, 6 Golden Coins. This is Ron Moore, along with the Wii Guy. Yay! Turtle power! Ooh, I love it. Alright. So, it's the Turtle Zone, and... I forgot what the boss of the... The world is. Maybe it's a giant turtle? I don't know. Maybe it was a giant whale. Huh. I mean, there is that giant whale. Well, no, we're gonna go inside of him. Yeah. But only two one Mario's, Two Mario's went inside of him. This is like Mario Mario 3D World with the cherry power up and yes, but nope. Only singular Mario. Yeah. But he's Where got the fi- wait. Yeah, he's got the fire, so he's gonna create the spicy meatball. Where's Lugie? I mean, Luigi. Lugie. Lugie. Like Captain Lugie. Captain Lugie Albano. Yeah. <laughs> Swing your um, arms from side to side. And I always, always wonder why they never included Luigi as like just the optional character. I don't know. I really wanted him to be in Mario 64 also. Yeah. I guess then they would have to make Super Luigi Land then. Yeah. But there's Luigi's Mansion. Exactly. And that's and that's why it's all about Luigi. Yeah. It's like that one show. Yeah. What was that one show that had the title "It's All About Blank"? Who was that? Uh, I think I know what you're talking about. I forgot. I was thinking Raven, but it, it's not. It's all about Raven. It's that so Raven. That's different. It's all about Ron Moore. It's all about Chris. No, everybody hates Chris. Oh yeah. God. It's, it's all about, about the Benjamins. Oh, the Benjamins. Is that a band? All right. Go. Mario de Cita, Mario de Go! Cinco! That's how you say lives in Spanish. Lives? Uh. Livos. I don't know. Cinco Livos. Wait, Lavos? No. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe I was thinking all about Benjamin. I think that's a rap thing. Because so Benjamin. Battleship or something? Submarine? Oh, I know, it was a movie with Ice Cube all about the Benjamins. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I knew it sounded familiar, and of course, uh. Everybody loves apps. Raymond. Wait. Everybody does love Raymond. Who doesn't not, love not Raymond? Me. I didn't like that show. Well, that show's alright. I guess you're all about Seinfeld. Heck yeah. All about Seinfeld. Alright, so. Turtle Zone Stage 2. Now this is like the underwater stage in TMNT, except not nowhere near as stressful. Yeah. Except the game, that level is not that stressful in that game. It's just avoid the seaweed. Yeah, no more pink seaweed. No pink seaweed in here, and no uh, deadly spaghetti trying to drag you down. Mmm, spaghetti. Nah, that's not the kind of spaghetti you would like. Aww. Oh. That was close. Oh, that was too close. You could, you could say it was Glenn close. Aw, oh, dang it! Oh. Dude, you're getting pwned. Man. That, all that for nothing. Yeah, I know. All right, come on. Aw, oh, sorry. No mushroom for you. Yes. You've got to work harder. Harder. Uh, work it harder. Make it better. <laughs> Get going. Huh. Coins. This is in my loins. Fail. Gonna get hit in the groin. <laughs> there you go. Gonna watch some um, from Illinois. Wait, Illinois. Uh, yeah. ah. Yo, Noid. Make some noise. Yeah, make some noise. Gotta Buy use some shield. toys. <laughs> it's all about the boys. <laughs> Need to find a shield. Da, da, da. Go, go watch Seinfeld. Like, ah. I need yeah, a shield. Get, watch Seinfeld. Get back into that. <laughs> Don't be shell shocked. Oh, that's a bunch of pie dreams. Well, that's a good NES game. Yeah. Yeah, it's got sweet musics. Check it out. Ape stereo. We got three nine. Shameful plug. And at this point, it's not. It's, it can't be shameful. If anything, it's helping promote. Yeah. Well, well me. <laughs> yeah. Or pr promote the music too, I guess. Oh yeah. My, as the golden rule always says for NES, the music is usually the number one thing you can always take away from a game. Yeah, really. I mean, 
without awesome music, video game wouldn't be what it is, and I definitely would not have great memories of Mega Man 2 if they had horrible music. Or just not as good of. Yeah. Well, the, wait, that's it? The final level of this stage already? Oh, you bet. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, it's like, uh, it's like Abadox. Hey, welcome to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'm inside of Jabu Jabu's belly. Jabu Jabu Uka Jika. Is it Jabu or Jabu? I think it's Jabu. It probably is. I get a lot of Zelda names mixed up. Like, I, think in Jap I think in Japanese it's Jabu. Is it from, uh, was it Lens of Truth? He pronounced a lot of names different than I ever thought they were pronounced. I thought, uh, what was it? I thought it was Saria instead of Saria. I thought it was who, what else? Uh, the Skull Wall Toolers is actually Skull Wall Toolers. I thought it was Skull no, Wall Toolers. No, that one, that one's wrong. It's, it's Skull Tiller. Skull Tiller. Skull, ah, shoot. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was Skull Wall Toolers. Skull, Skull Wall Toolers. Toolers. I only know Skull Toolers. <laughs> whatever. Regardless. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. So Star Soldier, we call this Mario, so it's not Mario, it's Mario. Would you Mario me? No. <laughs> I said Mario when I was a kid in kindergarten, and some kid got on to me about that. It's Mario! It's not Mario! Quit saying Mario! It's Mario! Oh, first world kid problems. And I told him to shut up, and I slapped him in the face. No, not really, but... <laughs> then you got in trouble. You had to go to boot camp. And I got a paddling in the office. Oh, shit. It, it freaking 1996? Nine? Well, thanks, but no, it's actually 1989 or 90, but... Well, I was giving a benefit of the doubt in that years. Well, thanks, and... Oh, wait a minute! I couldn't move! <laughs> Man, it's a good thing... I, I wonder if I would have died right there if I was little and it hit me. That would have been cheap. Because you can't move right there. And that was an easy battle with just the fireball. And... No, not a turtle. You'd be a giant... A giant uh, octopus or squid or whatever the heck it was. Get some calamari now. Well, this level was freaking easy. <laughs> yeah, no, not a real challenge whatsoever. So there's one more world before we get to Wario's Castle. So I don't know what world's next. I forgot. So I guess we'll find out in part six. So until then, God bless and take care. Um, bye. <laughs>
Whether you like it or whether you don't like it, this is the best level going today. <laughs> you shut up, fat boy. Ow. Uh, we're getting mooned. <laughs> oh, get it. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Just such classic music. Yeah. Oh man, it's been so long since I played this, but here comes my favorite part of the game ever. This oh, stage. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I love this track. It's just perfect. Yeah. Very bouncy music. If we guy was here, he'd have an orgasm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why the star so angry? This is a cool stage. Well, I'm Star Soldier. I get pretty angry sometimes. <laughs> That's why well, I like not, to take stars. <laughs> I'm not even Star Soldier now. I'm Arizona World Champ. Oh, yeah. <laughs> stupid Google Ads. That's, <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm angry. And I want to attack Mario now, too. Get him, stars. <laughs> Those are, those are like J soldiers instead of star soldiers. <laughs> uh, well, this game is hard. I need to get email first. <laughs> Always angry. Yeah. <laughs> Just enjoy the music and don't be so angry. Yeah. How can the stars hate this music? <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know why they're so butthurt. <laughs> Internet trolls. Yeah. Man, we got a lot of time this level, what, 500 seconds, whatever it is. <laughs> really need it, because it's all it's showing. Yeah. Again, I, I think I said that from Mario 3 or whatever. Why is there a time limit in time scrolling stages? That's stupid. <laughs> uh oh. I don't know. Maybe it's something they couldn't edit out. It yeah. would break the game if they didn't even include the time limit. Yeah. <laughs> we have to put it in. Whoa, look out. Oh. A lot of star power here. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. The stars I can understand, Bob. Blowfish? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ow. Maybe because the stars are spiky and a blowfish is spiky. <laughs> That's the only connection. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, are you sure you have enough time left? Yep. <laughs> I got five. It looks like it even gave you more time. Yeah, I think it did. I got five. What's his name? <laughs> Just a random alien. It's the alien Dr. Wally. <laughs> It's gonna be close. Oh, Whoa. nice. <laughs> Super easy. Yeah. Is that your last goal? Yes, it is. Yep. Oh, God. Stay tuned for part seven. Yeah. Yep. Well, we will <laughs> be in Shameless Plug. Yeah, in Wario's Castle. Yeah, the music isn't going to be as good, but at least it's the final battle. We're finally get to deal with that a-hole. Yeah. It's always copying us. Yeah. Like the every game are always... <laughs> or maybe <laughs> they're brothers or cousins, I don't know. Yeah. Alright, so that is it, part six. So the next part, we will be in Loyal's Fortress, or Castle, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Alright, the until then, God bless, take care. about to begin. Welcome to Let's Play Discuss Super Mario Land 2 Six Golden Coins. This is Ron Moore along with the Wii Gun, the Star Soldier. Yup. Hey, how's everybody doing out there? And this is the perfect uh, time to upload this video for Halloween as we're in the scary Wario's castle. <gasps> Too spooky for me. Yep. <laughs> 
and my first, uh, yeah, and my first video recording being uploaded from my new apartment. Yay! Yay! The old apartment that you're back in again. Well, I'm an old apartment complex, but yeah, still same floor plan. And let's see right here if I can plan on not dying. <laughs> the fat man's are gonna get you. I plant your seed of success. Yeah. Whoa! Dang, it got me. Oh! Almost got me again. Yeah, so Wario's Castle, of course, the hardest level in the game, and... Yeah, even though I mean, it's still not as hard as it should be, but still definitely uh, pretty challenging the first time around. It's I a pretty short this. stage. Yeah. I didn't realize that, how easy this game was, so I went back and played it years later. <laughs> I guess when you were a kid, it seems challenging. <laughs> I don't know, you retain well, you some bits better. Yeah, oh. that too. Wait, what? Well, you have 31 lives, Ryan said, and I said that, well, sometimes you retain better, I don't know, ex skill when you were young. Yeah. The heck these, oh yeah, you step on a certain board and Mario's fists come out. Don't get fisted. Whoa. What? What? It's true. What do you, what do you call that? Should I say something else? It's called, don't get <laughs> pounded? I don't know. Yeah, there we go. That's better. <laughs> no. Don't get it up the butt. <laughs> Alright, bear. And... Oh, look out. Oh, that's a dummy. It's a dummy uh, plant. There's nothing. No power in that plant. Yeah. Oh, watch out for the spikes. Oh, oh I hate this part. Yeah. So and skip. that was simple. Yeah. It's easy to skip. I don't get Rogers. it. No, easy to skip Rogers. Sorry. It sounded there wrong. We. Okay, and... Come on, Mario, run faster than that! What the heck? He's running slow all of a sudden. <laughs> I know we've got Sonic, but come on. Slow down. Whoa, now we're fighting the Pringles guy. Ah, dang it. I'll take the pizza flavor. I was like, Wario and the Pringles guy had a love child. What the heck is this? No, it looks like uh, Wario mixed with an enemy from Metroid. <laughs> Ugh. Oh no! Oh no! There's two of his balls. Oh, I see where this is going. Yeah. Get I it. want ketchup. <laughs> well, hopefully Wait. you got the balls to face these guys. Must. <laughs> no. Oh, that's his balls. What uh, again? Balls Mahoney now. Uh, I thought there'd be three of them. Now there's still two. Oh, oh what? Oh. oh come on! There we go. Oh, we <laughs> had jump cut. Yep. Oh, no nice! Oh, two and one? Man, that's like, it's like Ash 52, but minus 50. Yep. Oh, here we go. Dang, he's a... First soldier versus Jay. Oh, God. I wonder who is who. Man, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Mario. Oh, fireballs don't work. He's immune to fireballs. Damn, Wario's bigger than I remembered. Yeah, they they really went all out with the sprite. Yeah. <laughs> just move back and forth. Yep. And that's just part Definitely one. Definitely not the most creative boss. Yeah. Well, much more better than fighting Freddy in the Nightmare World. <laughs> and then Nightmare on Elm Street for the NES. Yeah, it, that was like five nights with Freddy. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh. Anyway, um... Oh. Ah, what? Dang it, he gets the power-ups too. Of course. Well, that's not fair. It's a, it's a free world to get <laughs> fire flowers and bunny... Bunny ears. Oh. Nice. Too bad like, bunny ears suck. Why's he got Mario yeah, Texas Castle? Too. Well, you know, because, um, um, shut up, don't ask questions. <gasps> Here we go. Now he's on fire. He's on flower power. Ah. Oh my. How can this... you not that? Ah, fail. What the hell? <laughs> jump cut. Here we go. Ah. Come on, I jumped on him. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, unfortunately, Mario doesn't quite have the smooth controls he does in Super Mario World. Yeah. That's the end of Wario. Uh oh, shrinkage. 
Ew. <laughs> Looks like a weird goblin now. What was that he threw at me? Banana peel. What? Don't commit suicide at all! Yeah. I hate them myself. Ah, <laughs> oh, the wavy effect. Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah. Do the Scooby Doo ending. Oh, right, Shaggy. The yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's just like the Miz. <laughs> yeah. And Where's now it's a M. So Luigi would be Miz Dow. Mrs. Dowfire. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so my quest is over. That is the end of Super Mario Land 2. Six ECW coins. What? But there are seven. There's a coin right there on the on the castle. Oh yeah, it's the Easter egg. Yeah, right. <laughs> and a whole bunch of names that we can't pronounce. Yeah. Except for the composer when he comes up. Uh, ECW, ECW. Or it's coming up. It, it, he'll be coming up soon. Don't worry. <laughs> Dang it, programmers! There's too many of them. <laughs> yeah. Ah, system programmer, come on. What? Spike. They're the makers of the music? <laughs> no. This is so Can't wait for the scenario. Can't know. It's so catchy. There we goes. Kazumi Tokaka. Tokat Tutaka. Yep. There we go. Now you can talk or whatever. I'm done. I'm out. My job is done. No, no, yeah, we're waiting for it. There he is, package designer. That's who I was waiting for. Yes. Oh, oh, of oh course, God. the most important uh, name in all the game, the package designer. Oh, testing player. Here we go. Who doesn't like a good package? Oh wait. And a designer of one. There we go, Yoshihiro Tajiri. Oh wait. Hey, that's my cousin. Kensuke no. Sasaki, the Great Muda. The Great Muda. Masa Saito. Gunpei Yorkoi. There he is. Gunpei! Oh, right. Rest in peace. Creator of the greatest console ever. That's right, the Virtual Boy. <laughs> oh, man. Woohoo! Don James. I'm so way for a Virtual Girl. Virtual... Hmm. There's <laughs> plenty of that already. You don't need someone to... to yeah. <laughs> it says Dave Brooks. Did anybody put Davey Brooks? Or maybe that is how you spell it. No, oh, Steve Brooks. Miles! Get that name out of here! Mary Kokoma. <laughs> Presented by oh wait for it. Capcom. Oh, oh I give into prices. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mario Land 2 by Nintendo. So there you go, that's the end of this LP. Yeah, so this was definitely what probably my probably my favorite Game Boy game, I'm not sure, but I mean other favorite Game Boy games are of course the first Mario Land and um I remember having fun with Battle Toads. On Game Boy, and you know what? To kind of think of it, there wasn't very many Game Boy games I played back then. This one definitely stands out above the rest. So this probably is my favorite Game Boy game of all time. Really enjoyed playing it in the summer of '94 when I uh, it was my friend's Game Boy, and he would let me play it a lot. He let me borrow it, and uh, so yeah, this game was definitely fun. A major improvement over the first one. It reminds me of Street of Rage one and two. Like the comparison is so. A lot, like different, like the first Street Fighter was awesome, and then Part Two just uh, made Part One look weak. Same thing with Mario Land Two, even though it's not nearly as challenging as the first one. Um, graphics and soundtrack is awesome. Uh, just the only thing that's weak in this game is the challenge, and um, but it was still a fun game. Um, really brought back, really brought back a lot of great memories from 20 years ago. So it was definitely a fun Game Boy game to play for its time. Uh, Wario, who I think he made his debut in this game, and uh, yeah, his arch nemesis, uh, Mario's arch nemesis, and yeah, so I kind of wish, uh, this game was also one player, was it? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of wish it would actually included mm -hmm. Luigi. I know it's not Luigi Land, but still, it would have been cool if they made that back then. Um, yeah, so this, this is definitely a great game, and of course the awesome soundtrack in the uh, Space Maze stage. That we did in part uh, the previous part, 
So yeah, this game was awesome. I definitely give this game a nine out of ten. We got. Alrighty. Well, I own this game, so of course I had the chance to play it, and I certainly think it is a better game than the first one, even if it isn't as doesn't have as much of a challenge. But I think the challenge in the first one kind of came with, like, the controls. Because it was... The controls were kind of stiffy. Like, I guess depending on how you jumped or when you jumped, it was kind of stiff. Here, it's a lot more freeform. The natural kind of way of how Mario moved. And, uh, Yeah, the game was very fun. I enjoyed it from beginning to end. Despite the lack of challenge. But, of course, the... I mean, I played on the Super Game Boy, so I got color. And the graphics then were, were better or nice because it was on the default uh, layout. And, of course, the music, fantastic. I mean, can't say anything more about that except 8-Bit Stereo. I don't have one of this game, but it will, I will soon. So you, if, whenever hey. someone's listening to this the this video, you can then check this out or that out. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that's about it. It's, uh, it's a fun game to play. I very much enjoyed it. The last level is definitely actually probably the hardest part about the game, which did take me a, a lot of tries uh, when I first played it, but uh, it was good. It was worth it, and yeah, I'd probably give this game about a, uh, probably an 8 out of 10. All right, Star Soldier? Oh, yeah, baby. It's such an amazing game, top to bottom. A huge improvement of the original graphics. You know, it looked so much like Mario 3, Super Mario World, that it almost stretched in and think it's that good of a game, but hey, it does its own thing as well. You know, you're going to like ghost houses, you're going up in the stars. Yeah, it's like Mario in a whole new light, so to speak. Yeah, I love it. It's just such a departure from the other games. You can tell some other people were, you know, heading up the project besides the usual Mario team. And because of that, we got all new Mario game. <laughs> In some ways, yeah, it's like apples and oranges. You know, it's not as good as the Air Mario games, but in some ways, it's also better. <laughs> it's a shame, though, it's in black and white, and, you know, we got mini music, but they were able to really maximize the Game Boy to its fullest here because we still got some large sprites and some very catchy soundtracks here. I especially love the Starman theme, you know? <laughs> I'm going to hum it right now. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit different though. Still I do think I would love that. <laughs> yeah, well, Alpha Six Two One posted a video on my Facebook. Uh, someone played on a guitar. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's just a great game, top to bottom. I wish it was longer. It's kind of easy in spots, but hey, you'll have a blast playing it either way. And I give it a ninety-two out of a hundred. Oh yeah, baby. Definitely Maximum. Classic. What? Maximum score. Well, that's not maximum score, but it's pretty high. Yeah, close to maximum. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely a classic. For those of you who are watching this LP and never played it, uh, yeah. I mean, you probably want to play Might it after well. watching it because it's a pretty fun classic game. All right, so with that said, we are out of here. I'm Ron Moore. The Wii guy. Here's our world heavyweight champion, Star Soldier 1, and happy hour console gamer. Yep. All right. God bless. Take care. <laughs> Later. It's a me, the wee guy. Welcome to Let's Play Double Dragon with NES. This is Ron Moore along with Star Soldier and Green. Hi. Yo. Sorry, he's not the big good Double Dragon, but. I don't know. It's something I, I like. Were you recording me playing this? Because I was just playing this like two hours ago. Now, this one, uh, our commentary will be audible. Yeah, uh, we'll see about that. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I mean, I know this game wasn't nearly as good as part two. And it's probably because it's not two player mode, which is weird. It's but this game was it was pretty to me it was still pretty fun though. It was like okay, yes. but it was just okay. It has yeah. a two player mode, it's just not at the same time. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's stupid. Unless you do the one on one mode which you can only fight the same character. Yeah, you fight each other. 
Yeah, all right. Mission one. Oh, yeah, and I am using ECW mode. Of course. Because this game is I super never, cheap. I can never beat this game. I've never beaten this game ever. The farthest I got was level three inside the walls. That was it. And I, I beat this got game by once, the but that was with, I don't know, cheaping out the computer with a lot of kicks. And maxing out your character at level two of a certain cheat. Uh, yeah. But other than that, no, I didn't like this version, especially compared to the arcade original. Yeah, they just perfect. took so much stuff out. Um, what's it called? To explain, uh, I beat this, but I beat this using the two-player mode. If that makes ah. sense. Yeah, I tried to do that in Double Dragon 2 also. What, have one person, two controllers? Yeah, well, like, why aren't we about to die? Hit start, oh, second player? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I did that too. Well, I did that for a lot of games that did that. Yeah. Oh, love the soundtrack in this game. It's okay, yeah. it sounds a bit too cartoony, though. I'm fine with cartoony, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is 8-bit, 1987-88, so of course, back then, that was cool. I think the weirdest thing about this game compared to the arcade is the fact that you don't have the all your moves from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know about the level up until really I seen Skip Rogers read this game, so Skip's tips actually helped me out. <laughs> yeah, um, my first time playing this one, I actually bought it earlier this year. Um, I game over trying to do the headbutt which you don't actually start with. I think you have to level up twice to get the headbutt. Hmm. ECW? Uh, not really. Not when you, you know, lose three lives over it. But this is ECW right here. Isn't that instant death? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. No, you're alive. Well, there is Our a section up there. <laughs> well, there is something up there in a bubble of big adventure. Much better right, so now we get ready to, speaking of a Bobo, we'll get ready to fight him here in a minute. I, I hope you can kick him down the garbage chute over there. Yeah. Oh, here he is. Take your bets. Got him. Three points. Yeah. Oh man, imagine if the level up system, you had to do that with the point system from like Ninja Turtles, where everything was one point. <laughs> I think that would make this game even worse. Well, how about where everything is in one point, like like in Desert Bus? Um, well, Desert Bus, you get points faster than Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles, you have to kill stuff. <laughs> really, Desert Bus? <laughs> he wanted a reason. Doesn't it take 12 hours to get a point? I think so. Yeah. I don't remember. It All right, so. Mission to right her, the factory, whatever this level is. Can't you? Oh, and the ball just has appeared. I oh. hate about this double dragon. Yeah. You can only fight the same enemy per screen. Like you can yeah. have different types of enemies. Like you're always find the Williams or you're always find the Willies or stuff like that. There can't be yeah. two different enemies on the screen at once. Um, for those of you who remember, we did a low-budget review of the arcade game a while back, back in 2008, I think. Me, Venom, and Angel, I think, and the unknown. Yeah, I remember that. That was great. Not fair! I wasn't there. I wanted to play... <laughs> we, didn't know, we didn't even know you yet. <laughs> I wanted to see the good I even, one. I, I the good double yet. dragon. Oh. Plus, that was back when I was using the TV screen instead of the screen capture you see right now. So, uh, when's... Uh, Super Dopey Dragon. You know what? 1992. I yeah, I barely played that game. I should do it. Let's check out that. It's not it's too bad. bad. It's just super slow. That's really it. Yeah. Oh, hey, here's the twins from Street Race 3. Except you yeah, can't fight the second boss. Back. Yeah, Mona and Lisa. Lisa, I think, uh, actually I sh should say... When I play Street Race 3, it's the twins from Double Dragon 1, because this came, game came out first. Oh, it sure did. I, I love the, the stage music right here. I remember in fourth grade being in class, uh, 
just daydream about this music because I played the game the night before. Good oh, time. now you gotta fight Charles Bronson. I guess he has a death wish. Throw him off the stage. Kick him off the screen, actually. The left side. It'll be funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whoop this mop head. I don't know if that wish... actually works, though. I wish you could do the knee where you, you jump kick and it'll push <laughs> your name across the screen. You mean the, the thing that does like 30 damage for no reason? Yeah, the tiger knee. Yes, good times. Wasn't the Double Dragon 2? Yeah, I was going to say, what you do down here? <laughs> Oops. And that's the end of part one. We see in part two where that's the farthest I've ever gotten in this game. But I should be able to get further because I have ECW mode. <laughs> so until then, God bless and take care. Peace out. Double trouble is weighing ya. Welcome to Let's Play Double Dragon for the NES Part 2. This is Ron Moore along with the J-Man. Hey yo! And, ah, dang it. I almost kicked the knight in my bare foot. Uh, are, are we in the Lost Woods now? Yeah. Okay, well, I guess not anymore. Yeah, <laughs> the found woods. We suddenly go from woods to mountains. Yeah. At least the background transition right here is m much more smoother than the background transition in Lethal Weapon. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> well, I mean, it's 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 kind of like comparing puke to shit. Yeah. <laughs> they both suck. Well, I mean, well, I mean, like right here makes sense. Like Lethal Weapon, there's you're in a forest, and all of a sudden, like you're in a desert, and yes. the way it was cut off made no sense. Like right here, it does look. It does, yeah, I can see where it looked all that good, but at least in the background is like. Kind of like where the force ends, and then like, or the trees stop, and then there's background, but the way Lethal Weapon did it looked weird. Well... Or even, or even more weird than here, I mean, I didn't notice that when I first played this game. Right, I like, you know, oh. as, as a kid, you never notice shit like that, because you're busy beating up, you know, busy beating up bad guys. You're busy playing Nintendo. Yeah, you're busy beating up John Denver's. <laughs> well, I know, these aren't the John Denver's, these are Charles Bronson's. I, you know, I do want to say, I'm not defending Lethal Weapon at all. Um, but, at least there wasn't a mountain in the middle, and then it goes right back into the, the forest. That's yeah. a weird happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So right. we're on, ah. right, we're, oh. We're on. Alright, oh yeah, I forgot, I am, I forgot to tell you, I'm using ECW mode. Oh, okay. So you're, uh, so you're Bimmy Lee, right? A what? You're Bimmy Lee. Oh, Bimmy Lee, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Batter up! Well, okay, I, I, uh, supposedly ECW mode doesn't save you from the water. No, it don't. Just got infinite health and lives and time. <laughs> Come oh, on! Bill O'Reilly's kicking go. your ass. Yeah, really, teenage Bill Roddy. Oh, oh, dang it! Now this more is... mountains all of a sudden. Where is the other side of that mountain? <laughs> Behind the trees. <laughs> oh, oh, right, 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 right. Okay. <laughs> okay, now, now I'm fighting. Uh, that's a yeah, that ugly guy. ass guy. I don't know. <laughs> that guy that's dead now. Oh, there's more of them. Yeah. yeah. They some like, renegade, um, some target, target renegade rejects over here. Yeah, kind of. Uh, they, they look like, uh, like pissed off, uh, Shia LaBeouf's. With Down Syndrome, I guess, I don't know. Yeah. There we go, pissed off Shia LaBeouf's with Down Syndrome. Shia LaBeouf Bagwell. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. I gotta fight the Kool-Aid man. Oh yeah, oh yeah! <laughs> No, those, those are the, uh, the, the, the ball sack brothers. <laughs> yeah. This is their big adventure. No, it's the, uh, it's that big guy from Force Vengeance without hair. That, uh, Force Gump? <laughs> Force there is Gump. a lot of forest. Force! No, I said, no, I said, no, it's Forced Vengeance, a Chuck Norris movie from the 70s, I think. Oh, like we being forced to do something? Forced? Forced Whitaker. <laughs> yeah. Rudy, Rudy. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. They're just, they're big pissed off penis heads. 
They were so hard for me to beat when I was a kid. Yeah, that's what she said. What? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, now. Ah! Oh, oh. Nope. You got a uh, tornado, tornado icicle. Yeah, really. I, I think Airman's in the stage. All right. Love this track right here. Yeah, this really blows. Yeah, especially oh, if I didn't have ECW mode, it'd be dead by now. That's that's cheap. Oh, great platformer controls this game has. Yeah, those those kind oh. of me uh... of Oh no! Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> right in the fire. Oh man! <laughs> Perfect. So could that be like a could that uh, be like if you land the right way? Oh, is that like a stage jump kind of? Or is that what you're supposed to do? Uh, I forgot. I don't know which way is easier. I mean, Skip said go deeper instead, so we'll go deeper. That's what she said. Oh, oh dang. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? <laughs> you smell what the rock is killing? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, you know, I really don't know about that. I never made it this far in this game. It is the farthest I got in the game. Yeah. When I was a kid. Because yeah, I just rented it. And yeah. I couldn't get past uh, mission two. Yeah. As I mentioned in part one, I did learn something from Skip because when I watched Skip's tips on this video, I didn't know you could level up in this game. I didn't know that as a kid. Oh yeah, with the points. Yeah. Well, yeah, I didn't know what I didn't care about that stuff when I was a kid. I just cared about fighting, getting through the to the next level, and I guess I was wondering how. Oh, now I can do this. Oh, now I can headbutt and do this. Oh, it's see, uh, the, the the young Chuck Norris brothers, or Charles Bronson's, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Death Wish. Oh, they're kind of green, like the Incredible Hulk, but they're not big. Yeah. Not big enough. Yeah. So it kind of looks like a Contra stage. It's kind, of like, kind of looks like the final stage in the first Contra. Yeah, it kind of is like the uh, the alien layer. But I don't know. The, the spikes up there look kind of like battle toads. Yeah. Okay, now the Teenage Bill Rodies again. They're doing it live. What's up with that uh, trippy flashing crap? I don't know. I, I believe that's of the game. I don't think it's an uh, emulator glitch. I think they're all on drugs. Yeah. Don't do drugs or colors will change. Oh, that guy fell through the, the ground. You can barely see it. Or you're, oh! Ow. What the? This game is kind of full, <laughs> full of glitches. Like the gaming glitch gremlins run here somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. This game is so much better on the arcade. <laughs> That's all I know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, remember, check out... Ouch. Oh! No, check out. Remember, check out uh, our low-budget review of Double Dragon in the, arca in the arcade version. Same as plug. Ah! Well, uh, remember all the uh, the color changes. You sure got stoned right there. Oh! Oh! Wow, that's a weird glitch. Like, the freaking game is... The camera can't stay still or something. Alright, this ain't Mega Man. Screen scrolling over here when you go to the next part of the Whoa, here comes the Hulk. Oh yeah, that is the Hulk. He's balding. <laughs> I guess that's Drax the Destroyer, I don't know. It's the bulk. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna take that. Ah oh, dang it. Uh. Yeah, just back kick him. Yeah. Man, I wish you could do the cyclone kick on here. Oh, there's more of them. Uh, is uh. there one stage on this on this game where, like, if you go into like a, you go in like the wrong cave or whatever, like if you go back to the beginning? I think so, yeah. I don't know if we already passed that point. I remember huh. hearing or seeing something about that. It's been a while. That's so cheap, too, because the game's hard enough as it is dealing with these, these fighters and, and the abobos, and you go in the circles. That's lame. Yeah, it's like uh, Lost Levels on Super Mario Yeah. Uh, 
Uh oh. And boom goes the dynamite. Fucking cheater. See, that's why you have zero points. That's what you get. Now, see, I did that because you were right. You do go in circles. Oh, oh look. Oh, <laughs> what the heck? Why is he climbing? That, that doesn't... Uh, okay, alright. That was, that was a glitch. <laughs> this whole I thing... Say, I had to cut, I cut, I cut, I cut a lot, a lot out right here because I was going in circles, so I uh, cut that out. To be able to realize that. And so now okay. I cut to here. Alright. So it was that level. Yeah, it was that level. Okay. okay. Ah, dang it. Freaking Streets of Rage girls again. This whole game is a glitch. This might as well be like, uh... Oh my god. Uh, I know, right? Well, it could also be an emulator <laughs> thing. Um, like double dragon. This is double glitch. <laughs> yeah. Well, I remember I used the ROM. That could be it, too. Yeah, this is a uh, double glitch, bitch. Yeah. So can you like uh, can you like keep climbing and, and pass them like that one enemy <laughs> from the game? Yeah. I think you can, yeah. Like it, that, yeah, that is the yeah, that is this one. I think it's yeah. the first enemy boss. Uh, there was a second enemy boss, I think. I, uh -huh. I didn't do that okay. in the last part. I think I just beat him the old-fashioned way though. Is that a planet in the background? What is that? The old, guy? Yeah, the old-fashioned way with ECW mode, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the old fashioned way of cheating. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for some hater. Oh, you cheat. You get. Well, at least I admit it. At least Whoa. I'm being honest about it. All right. Well, oh. that is the end of part two. We'll see you guys in part three, where I will be in the final mission to rescue my girlfriend, or whatever her name is, or Bimmy's girlfriend. Yeah. So until then, God bless and take care. Will he make it? Probably not. Welcome to Let's Play Discuss Single Dragon for the NES. This is Ron Morton, I'm a Star Soldier and the Wii Guy. Alright, we're at the final level. Everybody get ready. Oh yeah, woohoo! True. Oh, the there's two of them. Huh? Now they got red hair. Yeah. yeah it looks like they were spray spray painted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the gold like, member. It looks like a smaller, more pale green Hulk. Yeah. They With look long like... hair. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not fair. Oh, this game's so cheap. It's one of the cheapest games I've ever played. Yeah, it's what like five bucks. <laughs> yeah, I know, but still. Well, what do you got to worry about? You have a certain mode, right? I know, but I'm saying that's why I have the mode because the game's freaking cheap. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, you have to fight the second boss here like five times in a row. That's totally unfair. Yeah, so if they can cheat, so can I. Yeah. Oh, I cheat. I use that um the ghost trick or whatever on the second level. I'll go trick. Well, if you it, like, it, so when you cl it's when you first are able to climb, and uh, if they some of the enemies start spawning, but if you climb back up, go off screen, and then come back, that area where they were, where they stopped moving, you can hit their like ghost basically and rack up points and get those hearts to increase your skills. Oh yeah, I yeah. forgot I forgot how to do that in level two. I just beat the boss the old-fashioned way. Yeah, yeah, you have the hearts anyway, so yeah. Really no point to it. Yeah, so I have to do that. Even though that's the uh There ain't no point to it. Get their skills better. Yeah. It's like the non ECW mode way of cheating. Yeah, in game cheats. I don't count those as well it's cheating, but it's not like super active cheating. Yeah. Whoa. Hey guys, whoa. Whoa, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Almost glitched. Oh that's it was in the cartridge or the ROM. <laughs> they can be sure ugly. the ROM. It's like, I don't know how they can see fighting guys that have their eyes sunk shut. Nah, it's just the style, man. It's just how they look. <laughs> yeah, they're not doing a good job of fighting. Yeah. 
Oh! Give me a headbutt. Headbutt. <laughs> Are we in a Contra stage here? What, because of the skulls? Yeah, and the stones we, and stuff. Here we, here we go, Skull Castle. Oh. Mm. Yes. This should have been Skull Man stage. It looks better. Mm. Instead of the Fred Flintstone Skull Man stage of Mega Man 4. Alright, here we go. Knock him off. Throw him off the edge. Yes. He's down for the count. Yep. He's like going after you. Yeah. <laughs> I was just staying with you. Those characters look like aliens. Where their eyes look? Hold on, if we see another one here in a minute. Their eyes. I have them alien eyes. I don't know why they add all this platform and stuff to the. You know, Nintendo game here. Because this game is not hard enough. Ah! Ah! <laughs> nice going. This track right here really. Oh, nice! This track right here really gets you all suspended up. Wait, fell. The suspense. <laughs> suspense. <laughs> Yeah, the music here, like, oh, we're getting close to the final boss here. <laughs> oh, yeah, even though the track was played earlier in the game, but what is? Yeah. Gotta reuse that music, bro. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not common for uh, NES game, NES soundtracks to be recycled in the games back then. It was common. You said? Oh, not common. It's not uncommon. Not uncommon, yeah. Ah, dang it! What? Oh, you did it Whoa. again. I was trying, I don't know, I was trying to... You can edit that out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, only once he's edit stuff out. Who edits? Yeah, what kind of a loser edits? Do it raw. As in money, not raw. <laughs> they need to do some editing. Did you see last week's show? No. The 4D's back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Anyway, oh, yeah. I heard, heard, about, Dragon too. heard about that, yeah. <laughs> I thought you said the 40s are back. What, what, so the VOD villains are wrestling now? <laughs> well, yeah, we know it that. Back. Oh, 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 my God. This is amazing. This is, is BS. This all the time you died in the game. It pissed me off, man. This stage, yeah, has a feel. What? I don't even fight anybody on this stage. I just skip ahead. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to jump across there. I don't think I even could anyway. Jeez, man. Maybe we can get past the stage. Find out. Part 26. The trouble with there the we go. Ooh. Ah. Yeah, I don't even know why you bother fighting. Oh, well, before. But now you're just gonna skip them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tough go, time. go, go. Yeah, they don't like to climb ladders. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> what? Oh! Oh! Wait a minute! Oh! BS! That was total BS. Look at that, man. Forget total divas. This is total BS right here. That's ridiculous. <laughs> fell through the ground. How you gonna fall through the ground? See? Yeah. Tell this, this game is cheap. More cheaper than... Actually, 52 is broken as it is. The problem is, yeah, this game is supposed to be a beat up, not a platformer. Yeah. And they totally screwed up the platforming. Yeah, really. Alright. Yeah, don't even fight them. Go to the platform. I'm a real man, I wanna fight. <laughs> My name is Finley, and I love to fight. Fight! Owens, fight! Oh no, you gonna fall? Ah, oh, dang it! Oh, 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 my, oh. God. my God! Oh my God! See, look at that's ridiculous. Now you edit. <laughs> All right, yeah, I caved in and had to edit. Unbelievable. Well, I caved in and played Cave Story. Oh, I fell. Yeah, please get out of here. All right. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're at the final part, the final level here. Here we go. As we fight the American Gladiators. Looks like a way the same guys we always fought. Oh yeah. yeah they look different. 
They look huh. different, same face. They're purple. Well, they're not, they're red. Oh, well, the screen makes it look like purple. They're not J-Man's girlfriend. But, oh. No, oh, that hairstyle, though. Yeah. Yes, one of my favorite theme in the game. What, the tile screen? Yes. Yeah. Watch out for spikes! Fitting for the finale. Oh no. Double Obobo! Yep. Watch out for the Adobo! I'm gonna go get Adobe Premiere. Yeah. <laughs> This is the farthest I've ever gotten in this game. Well, yeah. yeah they pretty much recycle enemies here. Yeah. No, they pretty much showcase all of their all their sprites they made, all their efforts. Yep. Yay. It's a boss rush. I'm playing Mega Man now. Except this Abubbo's wearing green pants. So it is like the Hulk. Right? Yep. Then he went. Well, no, he wore purple. Uh, or something, I don't know. Here are these mop heads. Oh yeah, that's what they are. I'm gonna mop the floor we use. Now that's where a joke is good. Makes good sense. Maybe your face makes sense. Oh, okay. Fine with me. Dang, come on! Knock him off of there! There we go. Oh wait, that's a brick wall. It looks like there's a pit over there, like... You know what I'm talking about? The way it looks? I guess, yeah, like there's an yeah, edge. Yeah, it looks like a hole. Yeah, there's like an edge. And then he didn't fall over it. So, I mean, here comes these ugly guys again, the eyes sunk shut. Yeah, Dang, that was easy. <laughs> oh, shoot. Here's oh, it's machine gun, dude. Original enemy. Star Soldier now? Oh, no. <laughs> no, it, this, uh, this is uh, pre Mr. X. Yeah. Yeah, this fight was so cheap, this guy comes out with a gun. Was it, uh, without cheating, was it one hit kill? No, he's just... Just It annoying. does take off a lot of damage, though. Yeah. So this is where Renegade started from, the final boss was the guy with the gun? No. The Renegade came out first. It yeah. did? Yeah. yeah! So I guess Double Dragon ripped off... Well, I mean, it's, it's, tech, it's, it's the same tech, company. Yeah. But, it's it's just, off, but they ripped off each other. What losers do that? They're using their own assets. How dare they rip off each other? Capcom don't do that. <laughs> Capcom never does that. Take me five. Yes. You That's beat the game. Wait a minute. Let's do a Russian review. Oh wait. Oh man, I gotta fight Marcus Bagwell. Where's his tag team partner Scotty Riggs at? <laughs> I fight the American males here. Yeah. yeah. So this is why we couldn't have a two-player game. Yeah. We gotta be all creative with our storyline. Yeah. Man. Instead of two player, why do we have it as the end boss? Is your brother? Yeah, I don't get. What is the story of that right here? Like, is it just a clone of Jimmy, or is it? Did Jimmy really turn on Billy within the team up again in part two? I think he was originally supposed to be the Shadow Master or something like that. Uh. Wait, so and he he virtually got corrupted and got part of a crime syndicate because he wanted some power or something. And then they found out that he had a brother. So he decided, alright, I'm gonna be a good guy. That's weird. A complicated yep. storyline. Yep. And you pulled him. Yep. And oh, no panty shot! Boo! So now I rescue Billy's girlfriend. What? I thought we were rescuing the cat under the table. Uh. Yeah, it looks like pretty well done captive quarters. Holy crap. Before yeah. the arcade, she was like chained to a wall. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Well, then that is the end of Double Dragon. Whoa! Wow! Whoa! What the heck? <laughs> what the heck is going here? What's going on here? What is going here? What is gaming going going on here? It's gone. Ah! Okay, you I got think that we're, be we're being attacked by the gaming glitch gremlin here. What you get for using ECW mode? I guess this did not happen in the cartridge, did it? No. no. Yes, this happened in the cartridge. Oh look, I can pause <laughs> the ending. 
Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! What the heck is oh. this? This is amazing! This is like it's secret it's ending. Like it's right! Give me a glitch! Come in here! Hey. Glitch! 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 What the hell does it look like? This Sh is weird. Shadow War- No, you don't get it. It's the Shadow Warriors. Because this is Double Dragon. Oh, Bill. I don't know what the heck is going on. Oh and a God. and a bottom screen is just glitching out. Yeah. Glitch. Glitch. Oh, please tell, oh, I don't please want tell me there's here. another. Man, oh. Please tell me there's another. There's another version. I want another. Whoa. You pause again. I pause it again. Yeah. I'm trying please to tell me. trying to make something happen here. Whoa. Wait a minute. No. Oh, you just hit the reset Dang button. it. It's going back to the normal ending. Ugh. That's cool that you can replay it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was the Could trick. Could you do that in the cartridge? No. no. So what happens after this? The credits, or is this it? It just goes back to the title screen. Okay. It was a very short ending. Oh, wow. Very anti-climatic. Well, let's Tick. see what happens next here. And nothing. That is it. Uh, it actually, what well, did happen, it went to the same glitches over and over again, and I said forget it, and then... <laughs> So anyway, that's the end of Glitch Dragon for the NES. Um, yeah, I mean, I did have some fun playing this game back then, but didn't really get into it fully. Never got past Mission 3 uh, when I went and first went inside the walls. Uh, that was the farthest I ever got as a kid. And so to this day, I can never beat this game legit. And so but I thought it would be fun to do a SC2K OP of it in ECW mode and showcase the full game, which is what we did here. So, I mean, the game is not bad, but it's definitely not as good not as good as Double Dragon 2. And I think in some ways it might be kind of better than 3, though. 3 was eh. But this is uh, it's not a bad game, but it could have been much better. I don't know why they didn't put two players in the game. It's kind of lame. It reminds me of Final Fight for the Super Nintendo. Why is it one player? Why not make it two player? That makes no sense. And they can't tell me, oh, in a none of memory. I know. So I don't, they have no logical reason for not having this game in two-player mode. So th since there's no two-player mode, I just put it in ECW mode and beat it all by myself. And the soundtrack is very good in the game. Pretty catchy. Controls, okay, except for the platformer controls. And as you saw, I was getting screwed over in the final stage there. That was BS. Uh, replay value is okay. Um, so overall, this game is not bad, but it's not great either. I would probably have to give this game, I would say maybe a 6 out of 10. We got? Alrighty. Yeah, I, I like Double Dragon. It was uh, it was one of the first NES games I owned uh, when I started collecting. And, uh, def yeah, it's it's a classic in that it was, you know, a staple for, like, the NES, like, one of the well-known beat-em-ups. But you definitely it's not as good as 2. It certainly hasn't aged well with certain parts that you have to get through, like without like a cheat code or anything and of course the platforming is just weird it's like that totally that just that thing where developers put in like something in a game where it shouldn't be a part of like the shouldn't stray away from the main gameplay but overall the 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 game is has memorable levels and it is fun beating the beating everyone up the uh, the soundtrack is you know really really great you know has to be expected from basically any, most any, any NES game, or from Technos, and of course it gets my approval. Uh, who, who composed it? Uh, I think it was Kaz, Kazuni Yama, uh, I can't think of the name right yeah, now. That guy. That person. <laughs> they, uh, it's KY for the initials, but uh, I got KY Jelly? No, KY Jelly. Yeah, but it's a little bit too difficult for my liking, or I like that difficulty, but sometimes it's BS, like I think it was yeah at the beginning of the video the level that it's where the uh, or the yeah the level where there's pla the the pillars are like coming out of the walls and you have to like avoid them with timing and that is usually my Achilles heel that's where I like die the most whenever I play this game which is stupid it's like why does it have to be something that isn't even really a part of the game that kills me instead of like the enemies but whatever yeah overall Double Dragon's a classic sometimes it's a bit too cheap for its own good. Or for the sake of difficulty. But, you know, still good in a classic nonetheless. But uh, I'll probably have to give it the same. Uh, about a 6 out of 10. Alright. Oh yeah, baby. Star Soldier? Oh boy. Yeah, I just remember getting this game as a kid. And being super excited. Because I played the original arcade 
back at my old 7-Eleven, pop a few quarters in, and just being very impressed by the arcade action, the fluid gameplay, the real listed street fight in, you know, it didn't hold anything back. You know, you could saw a girl's underpants, so you can beat up tons of people, pick up weapons, People are shooting at you. People are stabbing one another. It was very violent. It was very gory. And when we get on the original Nintendo, some that was heavily censored, some that didn't even play like the arcade game. They took out the two-player mode. A lot of the levels were ended kind of strangely. And a whole bunch of platform in that doesn't feel like it belongs in there because, all right, I want to make sure I made this perfect jump. I want to tiptoe on the edge of the platform, but... Oh no, Billy Lee says, Oh, I'm just gonna fall over and die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. The game has some nice visuals and some great music for the NES. And, you know, if it was a standalone game and not called Double Dragon, maybe I would forgive it, but this was based on the arcade game. And hell, even the original artwork, it shows Billy and Jimmy Lee standing together fighting enemies together yet when you play the game oh they're enemies for some reason what yeah at least make the right cover art for your game right Tetos or trade west or whoever and because of this it's still a good game but i was just heavy disappointed when i was a kid and i gave it 50 cents out of 100 Ooh, all right mm. so that is the end of single dragon for the nes so with that said, we're out of here. Hope you guys have a happy new year. I'm Ron Moore. The wee guy. 2015, baby. Hoverboards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Flying cars. Woo-hoo-hoo. Du, du, du. Du, du, du. Let's play Back to the Future 2 and 3. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Till then, God bless. Take care. Oh. Uh, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Later. <laughs> oh, oh crap, I haven't ended yet. I forgot about that. It's my job. <laughs> oh. I guess this is why I'm single. Dragon. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. Well, I'm trying to get Venom to do two-player footage with me, and he just never let me know anything. So, fine. I'll, I'll do it myself. I'll do it live. I would have done it. <laughs> you would have done what? The two-player mode. Oh. <laughs> you would have done what? <laughs> <laughs> do what? Sit here and wa <laughs> rag on you as you die. <laughs> yeah. So, can, you can use the ECW mode for two players, too? Pretty much. Most likely. Yeah, 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 you can. Oh, okay. I know some of those codes, like, they're only for one or two player. I'm not sure about Double Dragon, but I've seen other games. Yeah. Oh, Teenage Bill O'Reilly's. Most of them, you can, most of the game genie codes were, like, warp codes. Yeah. Warps are almost invincible. Yeah. Almost. But not really. You know, it's funny that you, like, invited me to do this video, because I was just playing this, like, not even 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Did you say the same thing about the first Double Dragon LP? Yeah, which is hilarious, because you're really good at doing that. Nah, I think you're just making it up. Just have a cool story, bro. Nah, not this time. I actually own the both of these. I was going to be funny is when you do Double Dragon 3, and like, hey, look what I just bought. Except yeah. I'm going to be playing as we're recording. Yeah. See, my videos serve a purpose here on YouTube. It makes people go out and buy the game. Or makes people pirate. At the pawn shop. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, 10,000 people bought Rag Gravity. If it wasn't for me, no one would have heard of it. I still don't know what the hell it is. Good. It's pretty rad. Bad. Yeah, okay, yeah so yeah, Jamie yeah. entered this game, entered this game in uh, somebody's contest. I forgot whose contest it was. Mine? Yeah. Oh, okay. I got second, or yeah, second place. Yeah. Oh, now I'm fighting Big Van Vader. He looks so stupid with like that welding mask on. He doesn't even cover all of his face. It's yeah. like it's like a dominatrix mask or whatever. Yeah, he covered oh, yeah. the rest of the mask, so he just took half. Yeah, he's yeah. Uh, again. <laughs> so we got Big Van Vader versus Buff Bagwell. Ugh. Uh, Ooh. Johnny the haircut. I don't know. Bub's getting the stuff knocked out of him. Whoa! That was easy. Okay, Just get him. Come yep. back. Yep. Yeah, that was awesome when, when Vader did that in the ring. When I was a kid, that really blew my mind. Does that Wait, take her to the shoot too? Come back to life. <laughs> yeah. You you would expect like the Undertaker to do that. Hey, there's one knee. Took long yeah. enough. But he gave up after that. <laughs> yeah. uh, mission two at the heliport. Go Can for Broak. What the what the hell is Go a Broak? Go for Bro Broak. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Broak Lesnar. Bork laser. All right. Put the Gunstar Hero Twenty One background. Ah, oh, dang it. Thank you. That, uh, that good shit. Yeah. With that sticky green, and I'm feeling good. Man, throw someone off the building. You know you want to. There oh, we go. Not someone off the building. Not nah, throwing them the first person off the building. Man, I'm trying to do the cyclone kick. It's just hard to do for some reason. I used to be able to do it easily. Well, emulator. There's lag on the on the height of your jump. Yeah, probably so. Oh, look out. Here's the concert Super C boss. Oh, wait. Ah, there we go. Oh shoot! Orange. Dr. Tampon. What up? That was pretty explosive for a tampon. Yeah. Must be in Chinese quality. Yeah. Always. <laughs> you're kicking the wrong way around. Do it. You're, nice. you're doing it wrong. <laughs> there we go. There's your second yeah, bird dick. I think you're lagging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never lag. It's always everyone else. Yeah. Because we're way past that. You're like, yeah. yeah. I thought I was way ahead for a second. <laughs> yeah. We suffering that PS3 lag. Exactly. Yeah. You guys are set lagging so hard. I saw the video twice already. Uh, here's your John Denver twins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you mean the Ultimate Warrior twins? As yeah, yeah. I don't remember oh, Ultimate Warrior doing backflips like that, but alright. 
dressed yeah. as ninjas. <laughs> Alright, ECW. Yeah, I remember Gen 2 when we got had a lot of fun with this game. Oh yeah, of course. Is that video still up? No. Why did we got to take it down? What a freaking idiot. Who would have been satisfied? Grasp. Grasp. So good. Someone should make that tattoo, like, on the chest. <laughs> Mission 3. Battle on the chopper. Get the chopper! Get to the chopper! They say Neon filled nice, so we're in a helicopter over Neon Night Riders. We're in Turtles in Time now. Yeah. Uh huh. They got sucked in. So oh, shoot. So cheap. I remember when I first showed uh, my younger brother, who actually plays this, he can get to stage 5 by himself. But, um, cool. this was where he used to always die. Yeah. Pick hey, your baby brother's pretty good at games. Oh shit, it's Viper. <laughs> he tries to be, but... It's usually the second one of these big idiots that kills him. Yeah. And he always feels the need to fight in front of the door. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that always happens. Mission 4, Undersea Base. Alright there, Snake. <laughs> I must res rescue Meryl. Alakon, get your dumb ass over here. Oh no. Ah, you missed. Oh, whoa. What goes around comes around. Oh yeah, I forgot I got hit by one of those in the co-op, I think. <laughs> I think like you missed yeah. me. Supposed to be an ultra yeah. elector or something. Yeah. I don't know where the hell you are. That looked like a Mega Man stage. Yeah. Um no Mega worries. Man stage. Oh uh, Tomahawk Man or I forgot who they were, Mega Man 6. That's pretty Tomahawk short for Man us. after all the American robots took his land. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. American American Man, Hulk Hogan robot. <laughs> Captain America is a robot. Yeah. Oh god, that sounds awful. Watch out for the spikes. Someone punch him was... into them. If it was a zombie, they can make him into a robot. Hey, it's Arnold. Uh oh. Yeah. I'll Arnold oh. whoops your ass for that. Off for saying watch out for the spikes. Oh. <laughs> Give me those Ric Flair chops and the Rick slimes. Oh, and the spikes. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Well, I got you. How else can I hit him? I can't just straight up walk up to him. He's gonna slap me first before I reach him. He got that Colossus charge. Exactly. Yeah. What's it? All right, Contra Stage Seven now. Just remember what I told you. Oops. Or I'm pro at this. Yeah. You might as well run into everything. You'll get a 100% uh, success rate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know you just want to damage boost through everything. You hit the first 15 sets of spikes, but why not hit the last two? Yeah. Like the opposite of a speed run. Yeah. Hey, you can do damage boosts in the speed run. It's hilarious. You get to kill. Uh oh. By safe. We'll do it live. This is a, a damage run. A death run. <laughs> yeah. And apparently we just got an 895 donation from Wee Guy. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, I couldn't be on. <laughs> we got a five dollar donation from Silent Rob. Unfortunately, it's food stamps, so we can't use it. Then we got another one, a penny donation from Silent Bob, and it's just dot dot dot. And this is just kidding, it's actually we guy. <laughs> we got a free donation from Jay. We get an angry email from Jay. Here's that, here's that big, that big guy from uh, the Chuck Norris movie Force Vengeance. Viper again. I don't know. It's yeah. It's steroid flavor ice cream. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, I was pro at this one. Ah, oh, oh. You did it the professional way. Right. Yeah. That was gross. <laughs> I was hoping you would fall, and there would just be a picture of Wee Guy laughing at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got confirmed splicing the video. <laughs> yeah. Danger. High voltage. Oh yeah. god, no. 
That was a sorry tag team. The danger room. Yeah. The danger zone? Yeah. Ah, oh, what? Uh, oh, now you tell me after I die. Thanks, CPU. Cool story. Uh, the game was like, hey, asshole, there's say? a ladder here. You want to jump? Joke's on you. Yeah. I didn't see that ladder until I just jumped off. Don't worry, everyone I play this with falls for the same damn thing. Yeah. Literally. Yes. Yeah. These weak ass row warriors. I need some people that look like, like demolition. They're like yeah. Kurt Cobain's. <laughs> no, they're the new tag team, the Ascension. Oh yeah, those guys are a thing. That's no, the rejected Heath Slater. It's a <laughs> uh. Slater. Yeah. Heath AC Slater? Yeah, I was about to say Save by the Bell. <laughs> yeah. So Yeah, that, that, that Screech guy, he's in jail for like stabbing somebody. He says yeah, an yeah, action. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. He went counter strike on their ass. Yeah. So I feel like Perfect. secretly this game isn't all about revenge, it's just Jimmy trying to get to WrestleMania. Oh! So he can face John Cena? Exactly. You, those big guys are John Cena. Like or the great pals. It's the back and eight years later. Jeez, three of them. <laughs> Me too. Here we go. Yeah, so I'm Yo, saying this game is bad. I mean, what? It, it, is Champ there? Who is the Champ? That's exactly what we're gonna find out. This Sunday! Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna be pissed if it's just Seth Rollins. <laughs> I'm like, this month going around hitting people with the money in the bank case, no wonder that bitch has dents in it. Yeah. Hey, look, we're fighting Daredevil. He's got the, uh, the billy clubs. Yeah. <laughs> Except he just goes around like throwing his ass at you. Oh shoot, here's the boss of the stage, Thomas. Literally, you bring a yeah. tank to a fight. <laughs> Who brings a tank to a fist fight? Apparently these assholes. Apparently Final Fantasy monks. Yeah, exactly. Oh. This is so hard. I was a kid that steams. It got me steamed. It kept knocking me off. That killed me more than these guys right here. <laughs> These guys wish they could kill you more than the scheme has. I think one time I got stuck down there, like, between the train or something. I forgot how it happened. It was a glitch, and I kept on dying over and over. It took all my lives. It was game over. I think that happened in my, um, low-budget Let's Play with J-Man years ago. I forgot. Yeah, you got, you got stuck, uh, like, on the, I think on the right side of the train track? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but, something like that, yeah. I kept on falling off that track. conveyor, off, off the wheel, yeah. Yeah, you probably just like, uh, hey, there's no floor here anymore. Have fun. Yeah. I think the game knew you were going to cheat in the future, and so it was like pre-punishing you. Yeah. That's what Ooh, happened. there we go. I like how Arnold's fighting like Ric Flair just going around chopping you. Yeah. Woo! We'll get to the top. I'm just in the I'm big show to, to knock, to knock Ric Flair out. Alright, that is the end of part one. Well, I'll get to mission six. I forgot what mission six was. I guess we're about to end the show. Royal shadow. Rumble. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so will I step out of my own shadow as I face the Shadow Warrior? I fail. We'll find out in part two. Until then, God bless. Take care. Peace out. Oh, oh, aliens ate my spaghetti. See ya. Welcome to Let's Play Discuss Double Dragon 2 The Revenge for the NES. This is Ron Moore, along with the J-Man and the Star Soldier. Yo. There is evil in the air. Oh, oh yeah, baby. <laughs> we're at the Oh yeah, baby, we're at the final level here. Uh -huh. Oh come on, you can't w walk in the spikes. You can't walk in the yes, spikes. You can. No. I don't care what Skip Roger says. In ECW mode, you can do anything. You didn't even make a map. <laughs> You don't need to in this game, it's it's linear. It's something. Yeah, 
Here's where the game really kicks you in the balls. Besides them actually kicking you in the balls. Oh yeah, I mean, just ask Gen 2 and yeah, just ask Gen 2 and we got. They did LP of this before we got took it down for a stupid reason. <laughs> Probably more. Do you ever feel like you're being watched? Yeah, yeah. Somebody's watching me. I got no privacy. Hey, freaking John Denver twins. Yep. You get beat <laughs> up. Knock him out. Hi. Beat up by chopsticks. Yeah. They're drummers. Yeah. Yes. It's a uh, Neil Pert. <laughs> It's the Neil Pert twins. The who? Neil Pert! Who ah. the heck is Neil I don't Pert? know who that is. What? He's <laughs> from Canada! He's the drummer from Rush. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know who Rush <laughs> like, is. You're gonna, I'm gonna have to revoke your Canadianness. <laughs> well, I know who Rush is, but I didn't know... I don't know their names. Tom Sawyer or whoever. Hand over the maple syrup. <laughs> Not Tom Sorry. And the hockey stick. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least Star Soldier don't like Tom Sorry. Oh yeah, this is why. Star Soldier. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Safe state. There we go. There we go. Ah. <laughs> Again. I hate the jumping in this game. It sucks. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. My God. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? I Do you remember that, that, that paperclip thing from like Windows XP? That should have like showed up and been like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it for you. Yeah, really. <laughs> here, idiot. Let me t show you how it's done. <laughs> Bimmy, from here on, it's too dangerous. No kidding. Yeah, th that last level was a cakewalk. Yeah. Mission seven. It's a trap room. It's a trap. What is up with her face? <laughs> oh man, what's up with this Castlevania platforming controls right here? Ah! Oh. <laughs> that? <laughs> I wish I could I love, just do that. I love the track in the stage right here. Aw, oh, dang it. This is where you can burn bridges in this game. Yep. In the hammer hands. Yeah. Aw, oh, dang oh, it. Big Van Vader's back. <laughs> or is that ads or smash? Or crush. No, that's uh, the shock master. <laughs> this track right here makes me feel like. Do what now? He's a he's like a pissed off overweight welder. <laughs> yeah, almost like a. This feels like a Mega Man stage rather than a Double Dragon stage. <laughs> welder man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I better watch out. You got welder wheel. Oh no. Ah oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, I'm stuck. <laughs> I will just stop moving. You have oh, to start the over? bridge doesn't even. Oh, you're oh, man, stuck. No, I can't. I can't jump back up there. Dude, safe do, state. Do a helicopter kick. All right. Ah. Uh, uh, do a bear roll. Ah. Uh, <laughs> do a safe state. There we go. There we go. <laughs> See, that's what you get for cheating. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> there There's never problem with video games. Now what? Now what? Uh. They only prosper in real life. <laughs> uh, how's it feel? Just last time, Anderson Silva. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> MMA. What, what, did he loot? Did he fall, fall on spikes? Uh, he used their no. rights. Oh, oh, okay. Eight. Oh! <laughs> Okay, welcome to Mega Man 2 now. I'm in Metal Man yeah. stage here. Watch out for the spikes, all right. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, This really grinds my gears. Yeah, this is a uh, Metal Man stage. This is Gears of War for the NES. <laughs> Man, I better get in gear if I want to beat this stage. <laughs> hey, use a thunder weapon or a chainsaw gun. <laughs> oh, I just jumped right to that spike. Back, well. You're not even trying. I am trying. I'm just not trying hard. You're dying, not trying. <laughs> you're trying well. to make you're trying to make people laugh. Well, the reason why I cheat is because I want to honor my favorite wrestler Eddie Guerrero when he said, "If you're not cheating, you're not trying." Even though that's a. Uh... 
Where are they? <laughs> come on, come on. Yes. There you go. Dang it, I didn't mean to do a cyclone kick. Yep. You got this. Probably help. Come on. Oh. Oh. Alright. Ah, oh, dang it, not this again. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh, bone. <laughs> I always thought that was so cheap. Enemies can just stay to the far left or right and instantly be safe. You know what's even more cheap? In Streets of Rage Remake, Trucker, or whatever his name is, he not only does he get off the screen, but he stops to drink his beer, and every time he drinks his beer, his energy replenishes. If he can get off the screen and drink, you can't touch him. That's cheap. Yeah, he's like filling out his logbook. Yeah. If Mr. Leahy was in the Streets of Rage game, that would be him. He needs to be a boss in some kind of game. I don't I don't even care if they make a Trailer Park Boys game. He just needs to be a boss in any any game. Who cares? Yeah, Randy could be the uh, sub boss. He like well, maybe he could be a part of the, the final thing and like uh, replenish Leahy's energy. You have uh who else? Ricky and other No, Mr. Leahy and Randy would be the uh, playable characters in the game, because they're, they're the good guys, and the, the bosses would be Ricky, Julian, Cyrus, and... Uh, Sam. <laughs> oh, Bubbles. Herbal Her mentioned Sam. Yeah. Very, very, very quietly. <laughs> yeah, there'd have to be a whole game stage. Oh. Yeah, take out that Chuck Norris twin. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, up, cut. I hate those guys. Uh, that reminds me of Big Boss Man. Not by the size, but just kind of the way that they look. Oh yeah, yeah that word have big gloves on and stuff. Right. I love, I I love the Boss Man though. Yeah, he's a cool wrestler. As uh, Jim Cornette told a true story about him one time when he was Big Bubba in his rookie years. Someone, I think, slammed a door or something on his finger, and Bubba goes, Hey, brother! Hey, brother! Hey, brother! And, like, telling the guy to open it up. Oh, I'm sorry, man. You're all right? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> walks to the room when no one, walks to the room when no one can see him. He goes, Ah, oh, God! Oh, it hurt! And Jimmy Cornette's like, Why don't you play it off to now? Because fans are watching. I have to, I have to sell my character. Remember, I'm, I can't be hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh! Look, I'm an I can't this believe Cornette. Now uh, hear me later. <laughs> what was that, J-Man? Uh, I said I can't believe Cornette's not in this game. Oh yeah, really? I'll do this. He's one of the bosses. He just he shouts you to death. Yeah, and <laughs> you gotta no, you gotta order uh. Dairy you gotta, Queen. Oh, you Dairy, Queen. Dairy Queen. <laughs> yeah. You get it wrong, he's gonna cuss you out and the game over. You keep on hitting you with a tennis racket. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go down in one hit. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> you'll never defeat our boss. You'll only this destroy game. yourselves, you puny little double dragon. I love this like, stage uh, right here. Like Drago from Rocky IV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I must crush you, even though I already lost. I must blink you. I must cut your shitty haircut. <laughs> yeah. I must give you a haircut like Guile. Yeah, Pompadour. <laughs> I'm the boss man again. Hey brother, watch out. Hey brother. Oh. Oh. Watch out, the boss man will cook, cook your dog and feed it to you. <laughs> Oh, oh, that, oh. You're lucky. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, me either. That's the accident. I thought you always had to use the ladder there. Yeah. Well, since I'm in ECW mode, I don't care. Oh, uh, so, that's probably maybe what happened. Yeah. See, ECW mode, you can discover new worlds. <laughs> Fair by cheating. <laughs> by cheating so you can get to the next world. Whoa. 
Come on, Great Kali. I don't know. I'm, I'm just waiting for Purple to make an appearance. Yeah. Well, she did it earlier. She coughed. Yeah. <laughs> Good oh. <laughs> I'm waiting for Snowflake to make an appearance. Right? He's taking a nap. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll have to play Battletoads or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man, these guys. Oh. Yeah. The we'll John Denver things that flip. And just don't flip out. Well, there's a little purple, but it'll be more purple. Yeah. So, if purple was a wrestler, what would the finisher would be called? The perpetrator? No, nah, Phil. <laughs> no, it'd be the uh, the death by love. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, man. Uh, we're getting shit, mate. We're gonna beat him. I know, it's just... Uh, <laughs> it's, 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 it takes a while. This, <laughs> this is Ronnie in prison. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me in prison fighting some ninjas. I must have pissed off the Yakuza. You should have gave up your uh, dessert. Yeah. <laughs> What's your fruit cocktail? <laughs> yeah, the Shawshank Redemption, they're over here. <laughs> the the bull queers are trying to gang up on me. Oh! Now what? There's oh, shoot. the purple. That's... Yep. Yeah, I now. So Jimmy. He just did the Hadouken on me. How do you do that? Why don't... Whoa. <laughs> Was this uh, uninvited? Or I get possessed? I think he just made love to you. I guess. Oh, and he shot his uh, seed there. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> this part of the game right here really is creepy. I mean, this music and you fighting your twin or... Um, well, your twin. Not, not Jimmy Lee, but just a, you know, Double Dragon's version of Dark Link. I mean, it's like, <laughs> yeah, this part of the game really is creepy. It's real awesome. You, just, you gotta do a lot of helicopter kicks. That's what See, I... I'm having, having trouble doing that. I don't know if it's a controller or I just suck. <laughs> well, it's the uh, controls, too. You gotta be very, you know, right on point to do the move. I remember, though, when I was a kid, I did a much better job. I remember in the arcade, this was actually the last boss. But they changed it up here for the Nintendo version. Well, that's wild. I never played it in the... I never played this one in the arcade. I played the first one, but not the same. Oh, you got him. Oh. Yeah, I never played this in the arcade. I did play the arcade version of Double Dragon 1 on Xbox Live. For those of you who remember the low budget review, shameless plug. <laughs> nope. Don't remember. Alright, finally. It's impossible. It can't be her. Where's the other side of my face? <laughs> yeah. That's the dark Why do side. I have white hair? <laughs> yeah. Ma Marion? Mission 9. Final confrontation? Yeah, it's kind of hard to fight with like a whole bunch of bowl holes just sitting there. Oh shoot! The Ultimate Warrior? Oh, Kogan! This is the end of the line! You Double stole Dragon. my joke! Wrong. Shoot, Shishinir! <laughs> when you tear down the cockpit door, Hulk, Hogan, the moons and the stars will realign for a focus of my strength. It rolls. Shadow Warrior. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he just did his anger. Uh, spinning <laughs> clothesline. Yeah. Now this Dang is a freaky this. fight. Shadow Warrior. This is more like Shadow Assassin from Kung Fu The Legend Continues. So that is Martin Cove we just saw a few seconds ago. Like the Shadow Assassin from Kung Fu The Legend Continues where he's invisible. 
Well, at least on there you can see a shadow here. You don't see nothing at all for a few seconds. You know, well, this legend's gonna continue for a long time. If, okay, finally you're hitting it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dang, fast. That those Drago from Second Master System speed. Get them fists of fury. I love the long green platform here. Yeah, he's pretty tough for a guy with green hair. Yeah, really. Well, he's he looks much more tougher, and he is much more tougher than freaking... Uh, hey, what's the boss of that game, J-Man? Uh, Bowser. That you record... No, that you, you <laughs> recorded for me. Survival Arts. Uh, Richard Simmons. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Now, I love this track right here. As we're fighting in church, or... Say your prayers. Yeah, say your prayers, man. I haven't been in this part of the game in, wow, probably 20 years. I remember I skipped school one day to beat this game, and yeah, it was a great time. Oh! Did that to my face? Uh, I oh, think God. he did. You weren't that time. Hmm. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Slow motion. Yeah. <sighs> and then some laser kills him. Yeah. It appears our fun. It appears our battle is slamming over. That's like Blanca right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a uh, carrot top on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what's worse, Care Top on steroids or Richard Simmons from Survival Arts? Richard Simmons. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> what, what, are you, what are you doing yep. on top of me? Oh, what are you doing? I thought you were dead. <laughs> I want to have one last time. Okay, no, this is not Kane. He looks so pissed Kane. off that she's alive. This is not Kitty Vick. So, <laughs> what do they call that? Let's go. I can't feel like that. Well, if we got here, he can pronounce them all. But <laughs> love the ending soundtrack right here. Ending track. He looks kind of pissed off that she's alive. Oh, <laughs> I could have dated two women. He killed her with Double Dragon 3. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he so does beat the, her up uh, in the end. Yeah. So that's the end of... Double Dragon 2 The Revenge for the NES. Definitely the best out of all three games on the NES. Absolutely. Um, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, well, some, I mean, some might say the best Double Dragon game overall, which I can't really argue with that. Well, I've never really played the Super NES version that much, so I can't judge that one. But um, I heard decent things about the Super NES version and bad things about uh, the Part 5, the Tournament Fighting 1, whatever game it is. But... Um, Definitely am familiar with the first three, and part two is my favorite out of the three. And, of course, that's common because with every three-part series in the game, like it seems like the first one's good, the second one's so much better, than the third one is eh, not as good as part two. And But with Double Dragon 2, man, this game definitely made the first Double Dragon look weak. And the first Double Dragon wasn't super special anyway, probably because it was just one player and all that stuff. But... This one was definitely two-player, very challenging, great soundtrack. Controls could be better. Platforming sucks. Platforming controls suck. But this game really is fun with one or two players, especially two players. And back then, I used to always, um, what do you call it? Like, with two, uh, when I would play, try to beat the game with one player, I would, I'm about to die and get game over, hit start on second player so I can continue further and get more lives. So... Kind of like how I did with uh, Turtles in Time. But 
Double Dragon 2 The Revenge really is epic. And yeah, I do remember the day, I believe I was in junior high, and I skipped school, and on that day I beat this game. And <laughs> I have a lot more patience with video games back then than I do today because, man, I, back then I beat it legit without Game Genie. To me, though, Double Dragon 1 is more challenging, but Double Dragon 2 definitely is challenging. And I, I wish we got on Gen 2 or we got hadn't deleted their LP of it from what I heard. We got did, which is very lame because that was a very good LP, and they were having big uh, big time problems with that <laughs> with that game, with especially the the last few levels there with the platforming controls. So do, Double Dragon 2 definitely ECW. I give it. An 8.5 out of 10. J-Man? This is definitely the best Double Dragon on NES. Uh, my closest comparison as far as best Double Dragon would be the original on the arcade. Close second with the Super Nintendo. Super Double Dragon. What else can be said? Eight out of ten. All right, Star Soldier. Oh yeah, this was a double dragon I always wanted to play because I saw it in the magazines that it was finally going to be two-player co-op. You know, none of this you know taking turns, bull crap, or none of this you know sissy one-on-one -on -one mode. No, it was going to be. Like the arcade games, you could do two-player co-op, get Billy and Jimmy to fight, and you had the improvements of new moves, new stages, and this cool revenge storyline that made this Double Dragon much more expansive than the original. Yeah, I played first in the arcades, so it was pretty cool there. But yeah, this one also adds some exclusive stages that weren't in the arcade as well, so... It was cool to try it out here, but the problem is the controls are a little bit wonky because you still got to use the two buttons there to jump. And this game relies on a lot of jumping platform, and, and it shouldn't do that because it doesn't excel at it. Uh, like, Ronnie was dying there, but I could also understand his, fun his frustration because you had to do, like, pixel-perfect jumps, and the game just... Shouldn't it be designed for it. No, this is Double Dragon. You're supposed to be beating up bad guys. You know, people with bad A's haircuts, knock them out. That's what Double Dragon is. It's not like carefully jumping on, you know, Mega Man style disappearing Brits. <laughs> but the graphics are good. The music is awesome. The controls are fine. <laughs> Except for a jump in the course. And it... That, yeah, it definitely is the best Double Dragon game on the original Nintendo. And, yeah, they just did a lot of cool things here that I wish the Air Double Dragons did. And that's why I give it at 86 out of 100. All right. Purple? I hated it. Five out of five. Uh <laughs> <laughs> All right. Snowflake? Uh, she's not done. She That was just like a... No, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a righteous spray joke. <laughs> Snowflake. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> All right. Uh, Snowflake Man, that played it. the entire game uh, and and beat it without losing a life. And she wasn't on ECW mode either. Cool. She was in Master Splinter mode. Uh -huh. All right then. So that is it for Double Dragon Two, the ECW for the NES. I'm Ron Moore. I'm the J-Man. Yeah, I'm Airzog, world heavyweight champion, baby. Woo! Squeak, squeak, damn it. All right, God bless you. <laughs> Take care. Later. Peace. Welcome to Let's Play Double Dragon 3, The Sacred Stones for the NES. This is Ron Moore, along with the Wee Guy and the Star Soldier. Hey. Yo! <laughs> this is... Yeah, this is not one dragon that's gonna be on fire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because it's two of them. The other one will be on fire, don't you worry. 
but this will be a Double Dragon 3 video that will be audible. Dot com. Sign up for your free trial. It supports Ron Moore. Just kidding, no it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, $20 or GTFO. No. It's, it's not how it works. It is according, to, it is according, according to Sonic Lob. I mean, Rob, it does. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You never sold out before? Sold out? Whatever. <laughs> sold out. NWO sold out? No. Points of reference? I'll tell you what didn't sell out. Uh, the copies of this game, probably? I don't know. <laughs> oh man, no Bimmy. I... Oh. Do a two-player. <laughs> no, I can't. So, no Bimmy typo. Do it like, do it like me. Like how I beat the Turbo Tunnel, Turbo Tunnel two-player by myself. Okay, Mar Marion or Marion, whatever her name is, keeps getting kidnapped. Miriam. I am I am Haru yeah. of the Takaguro Dojo. No, oh wait, no, that's Bibli Hill Ninja. Definitely not as the chat is uh, Marion. <laughs> she said I'm Haru, a friend. A friend of who? <laughs> we don't know who you are, you came out of nowhere. Alright, mission one, USA. Can fight Stone Cold here. Billy Bearhands. I like that name. Yeah. Bret Hart, listen. The the, I ah. I was about to make that joke. So Bret the Hitman Hart. Uh, no, that's not Bret Hart. Bret has one T for Bret Hart. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have purple pants on either. Okay, then right here you got to fight Stone Cold Steve Austin and Ryan Howe from Tough Enough 5. Come on, Skid Marks. <laughs> Ryan Howe, that's an awfully obscure reference. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Skid Marks. Come on. You got beaten three seconds by Bimmy. All I can assume is that he's bald. That's why the reference is made. Yeah. Oh, they're there again, Austin and, and Skid Marks. More like Skip Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Bill Tomah was too tough on them. Yeah, <laughs> he was too tough enough on them. Yeah. And that's whole new story in WWE right now. He got, you know, let go or <laughs> he yeah. resigned or something like that. Yeah. I give Skid Marks credit, not giving up. And you better He's hope he's even bringing beer to the fight. Oh, I thought that was a microphone. Which is why he was probably cut. <laughs> he might cut a good promo on you. Yeah. I think that's the only thing he can do. Yeah. His name is named Ryan. He's probably the biggest failure of the Ryan characters out there. <laughs> Aside from he brings me. Ryan to a bad name. Well, he's exactly. a wrestler just on an independent thing, so at least he can do something. No, he can't. What about uh, Ryan Reynolds? No. Yeah, he can. Ryan Howe is going to comment on this video, and we're going to delete it because he's that unpopular. How? <laughs> how would he do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how can he do anything? And, well, Billy's doing something right here. He's kicking butt with the Cyclone Kick. Cause, uh, the CPU will run straight into your Cyclone Kicks in this game, unlike in Part 2. Yeah, you really have to spam the enemies in this game, or you're going to get killed. Yeah. Really easily. No, so long as the days of Double Dragon 2 where you can just casually beat these enemies, but instead you got a Cyclone kick. Where it's actually balanced. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, wonder, here you got very cheap. I wonder which game came out with this first, the Cyclone kick and Hurricane kick. Street Fighter or Double Dragon? Like, this is like Street Fighter 2 was in? I don't know, but now we're, we're playing Mega Man. Yeah, because you got to think of the arcade version, which of course came first. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, the bump, the fire dog, oh, no, over the world. What the hell is that? Street Fighter I, one commentary. Street Fighter 1. Yeah, <laughs> Street Fighter 1 I commentary. I just... Uh, still better commentary than Michael Cole. Oh, I don't even get it. Well, you will now, and... Like, like coleslaw? No. Dude, I had some coleslaw earlier. It was not good. <laughs> I guess that's why I don't like Michael Cole. Oh, God. Here's what's, here's what's good. The boss of stage 1, Star Soldier. Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> oh oh yeah, <laughs> Billy Lee here! Come on, I don't think baby. You don't have a beard like that. Rumble, you grow up. You don't have a beard like that. Oh, yeah, I, that's I haven't crazy. seen you in a while, man. It's that's been right. too long. Yeah. yeah. Right. And in the arcade version, he has a Canadian maple leaf on his back. But not in this version. But we're in the US. This doesn't make sense. <laughs> don't talk bad about Mega Man 5! I'll kick your butt! <laughs> <laughs> Most people think I'm American. I, well, I wouldn't blame but him. But I'm actually Canadian, eh? <laughs> yeah. I'm eating poutine right now. 
Yeah, see, I won. That means Mega Man 5 is better. Oh, Jeez, hurry white. up! It comes whitey. <laughs> hurry up! It's a technical fail! Sorry about your friend, Bret Hart. We must work together and rescue Marion. Hurry! Oop. We must go before it is too late. Marion Barry? Mm -hmm. Long journey. I, I guess Bret didn't have the heart to, you know, wake up. Yep. Alright. Men on a mission to China. Not with Triple H. More well, like a corporation H. <laughs> All right, love the track and the stage. Yeah, oh man, look at that scenery. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yeah. That is one thing, of course. The graphics and music are just top-notch for this one. Yep. This this game. It's a shame you're doing the same thing as level one, though. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, look at this. At least the background transition right there, much better than a lethal weapon. <laughs> well, you gotta consider something. That game was rushed. I don't know if this one was rushed either, but I mean... I mean, they cover the rest of the difficulty, probably. <laughs> I wonder if Rush, Mega Man 3, was rushed. No. He was just talking it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, they're doing a slide kick. Oh, see, look, it's still Mega Man Slide. No, no, wait. This, run this game? Wait. This came out first. It came out the same year, did it? But which... Eh. Oh, this is 91. <laughs> I mean, Mega Man 3 was 90, so... Oh, okay, so this game's still... Ah. Ah, yeah. At least for the American. It's always the Japanese you gotta think of first, because that's where they get it first. Yeah. It's always a year earlier or so. Yeah. Yeah, they're so lucky, and I heard the Japanese version was better, too. How? <laughs> it was easier. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, Ryan Howe. <laughs> what a short stage this is. Looks, now looks like we're in Canada. We're in like a cabin. We're inside the Mario 3 cabin here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't get it. Where's our, where's our cabin? We know you fight what, uh, Boom Boom. And it kind of looks like one of those cabins, I guess, without the uh, fire. Reminds me of the basement I used to get trapped in all the time. <laughs> the ones in Mario 3. You I still mean, live um, in your mother's basement. No, I live in the attic now. Haha. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you have to go to command center. Yeah. Command. Can, Cobra command. I need to command us to stay on top of here. I mean, it's not much. You're doing the same thing. You just yeah. I feel like leave the weapon now. Torn shack. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, at least you, at least that game's easier. Yeah. Yeah, this game's still better. Well, I didn't I didn't say better. I said not easier. by much. <laughs> well, your face is better. Well, yeah. I've been using that cream. Oh, uh, lotion. Yeah, I better have cleared that up. Don't want to just say cream. Good thing bears on here. Jeez. Uh, RPQ sauce? Oh, shoot. Here's Jay. Uh, it's my chin. Time. I've waited a long time for this moment. You make fun of me and tell Star Soldier about me. Didn't invite me. Now I'm going to finish you. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Alright. Finally, the meeting between me and Jay and I get pwned already. He has a freaking iron fist. Are you on ECW mode? I know your health wasn't going down. No, I'm not. It is going down. I'm not on ECW mode. Oh, okay. He's lying. I don't need ECW mode to beat you. Oh, shoot. Maybe I do. <laughs> Look how he runs. <laughs> runs like the little sissies in Ocarina of Time. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys that are trying to post be construction workers. And they run around yeah, with the sissies. Yeah, they're Hands are all over the place. Just run around all day. Yeah. Oh, oh! Dang. You have fast hands, though. Yeah. Oh wait, there's a fight going. In? I was just staring at the fireplace the whole time. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice. Hand. I'm just, I am, I'm trauma, traumatized. I'm tri. What's the word? I'm hypnotized. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of bad for a game when the fire is the most time part of it. Yeah. Jeez, come <laughs> on, die already! There's this huge fight going on. Yeah. He's trying to avenge his brother's death. Here we and go. look at that fire. Oh, I'm beaten. Wow, you can really see the amber burn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, even though you killed my brother, please allow me to join you on your trip to Japan. Okay. All right, mission three. <laughs> Japan. Japan. All right, here we go. All right, wrath the black man now. All right, ninjas. Or shinobi. Yeah, I was gonna say no. You fight shinobi later. Or ninja crusaders. Better yeah. Ninja Gliden. ECW. Soundtrack's easy to view. 
Yeah, 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 listen, Ape, it's Stereo Virgin. You just search Double Dragon 3 NES, you'll find it. Nobody cares about that channel anymore, ho ho. No, <laughs> I, I don't know, man. It's <laughs> my <laughs> channel, you can watch my review of Ninja Spirit, I guess. Yeah. Oh, Ninja Spirit? <laughs> Alright, that's the spirit. I'm really reaching here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was gonna expect the Double Dragon 3 review, but the Ninja Spirit? Okay. Well, I hope it's better than the Ninja on the Master System. The Ninja. Ninja Spirit Remember? is actually a good game, though. That's good. Well, I mean, yeah. It wasn't what I was <laughs> talking about. I was just talking about how you didn't... No, never mind. <laughs> Let's just forget it. Oh! Let the Mega Man 3 slide? Well, I'm not gonna let that slide. <laughs> Damn it. I didn't want to laugh at that. Well, you did, so ha! Huh? <laughs> ah, jeez. <laughs> oh, not another Double Dragon moment. Double Dragon 1 moment. Oh. Yeah, that was... I run, that run! Double Dragon 1. Alright. Oh! Yay, more ninjas. Yeah. Okay, now, welcome to Ninja Turtles 3, the Hyperstone Heist. The Hyperstone Heist. <laughs> sounds like a... Sounds like a criminal thing, like the Hyperstone Heist. Yeah. Oh. Ah. What is, what is he doing in this... This ain't America? This is the Japanese stage. You gotta go back to the America stage. He was in China too. Oh wait, what, oh. what, what are you racist? He can he can only be in China, not Japan. I'm not racist. I'm not race cars. Uh, racist. You racist. I guess if you're bald, you could be in any country you want. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you don't know what they don't know what you are. Yeah. Well, the Iron Sheik is yeah. bald. Iron Sheik was bald. Wait. He's from Iran. Yeah, that way. But he's clearly like you know what race he is. You're not defined. But hair does not define race. Your face defines race. Oh, that's true. And that's color great. Skin. That's your face that describes your race. Yeah, look at that, Ryan's quote of the year. Quote of the year is the beginning. Still the beginning of 2015. Yes, the stiff competition. Well, you know, you can never start too early. Oh, this time you go up the ladder and they're actually the game? Okay. He climbs like a sissy. Yeah. Oh. Uh, more enemies. Oh! Okay, these ninjas are getting too smart for that uh, spamming of the cyclone kick. Yeah. Gotta try a new strategy. How about the uh, touch them real quick and go? Yeah. There's really not to me other moves you can do though. Yeah. Yeah, punch, kick. Do the flip. Do the flip like where you kick. jump. Ah, I'm about to flip out. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that on the ninjas. From is it like way too fast. Yeah. Yeah, it's music's it's kicking. It's why there's no fire for me to look at. He's find the Foot Clan here. They like, never, it never ends. There's some Clan. cool pots in the background. Yeah. Uh, I want to break them. See if the rupees in them. <laughs> because there's nothing else that's saying going on here. Same yeah. ball, guys. Same ninjas. Uh oh. Different room. Oh, now it is. Yeah. Ran Ranzi Ramon. Uh, hey, like yo. A different ninja. Shinobi. Joe Musashi now. Oh. Hey, off screen. That was cheating. Come on. <laughs> ninja can't do that. Yeah, don't be like Trucker from Street Raid Remake. Trucker. Chris Trucker? Yeah. Oh. I got Kimbo oh, sliced. Oh, this could be the end. Mm. ECW mode. <laughs> right now. As we see the cut. <laughs> oh, no. There we go. <laughs> oh, oh, wait yeah, a minute. Kid. You, you, uh, yeah, you got multiple lives as care. Oh. Come on, Jay. Do something cool. I'm going to use the Iron Claw. The Von Eric Iron Claw. Actually, if D Jay did, like, grow, like, a mustache like that, I bet he would look like him. 
Yeah. And it, man, but, this guy moves like a tank. He sucks, but at least his claw weapon takes a lot of... Uh, inflicts a lot of damage. Oh! That's why you gotta jump, man. Jump, jump, jump. Do I like crisscross? <laughs> I don't think he can jump too well. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, oh. I remember making serious level once and playing as him, and man, did it suck. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you have to deal with the ninjas who are super quick. All right, Ooh. Jay. I've been disgraced. I've been defeated for the first time. Your face is disgraced. All right, might as well join you. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> they can now be told uh, I have always had a third stone. Uh. I just passed my kidney stone. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, yeah, that's where we're gonna. That's where we're gonna get the last one. All right, so Literally. that is the end of part, All right. part one. We see you in part four, mission four. I mean, part four. Dang it, part two, mission four, where we will fight. I guess Santino Morella. I'm not sure. All right, till then, God bless. Take care. Mission two on mission four, where we fight Santino, who's a Canadian. Or in how Italy. About, how about mission? Shut up. <laughs> It's a pizza pie. Welcome to Let's Play Discuss Double Dragon 3 The Sacred Stones for the NES. This is Ron Moore along with the J-Man, the Wii Guy, and the Purple. Yeah. Gag you. All right, so now we're in stage four, Italy. I prefer Italia. I wonder if we'll run to Santina or Santino Morella. Too bad Star Sword is not here for that reference. Oh, uh, well, I, I see the Ultimate Warrior throwing knives at you. Yeah, really. <laughs> really? Doesn't look like him. I love the track in the stage. Yeah, it's good. This stage yeah. kind of reminds me of Golden Axe. Here's again. Well, no. The, well, the Ultimate Warrior had longer... Or, I mean, this character had longer hair. What? Was he just as oily? Uh, that's up to you to decide. Yeah. <laughs> there's, lo there's always lots of oil. Time for oil change. <laughs> yeah. And time for a subject change. <laughs> yeah, really. Topic change. Like, like I said, this stage right here really reminds me of Golden Axe. This, this is what Golden Axe would look like on NES right here. Most likely. You got great music and, and great background. Ancient. Ancient yeah, Rome. Stuff. Yeah, ancient Rome. Or, well, technically Italy, but whatever. You, yeah, you know what I mean. Was it Rome in Italy? Yes. Yeah, okay, there we go. Oh, it is? Geography. Oh. I kind of thought, but I figured there was a woman here, and she would know. See, I, I didn't retain anything I learned in high school. I actually made a 99 average for the whole like, semester in ge world geography, and I can't remember anything. Wow. Well, geography yeah. doesn't matter anyway, so... Well, I just studied and studied and studied, but I just can't retain. It's like math. Who uses that in real life, you know? It's just... No point. Yeah. What idiot needs money in math? Well, you know, advanced math. <laughs> trigonometry. Oh, yeah. I mean, basic math, of course, but who, nah. Advanced, forget about it. Watch out, someone's gonna post a comment. You do need math in every situation! And well, then, yeah. I told this one girl, I told this girl, I've been busting tables for years, how am I gonna use math in that situation? Well, let's say five busters divide by three tables in 20 minutes. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Wait, you can't do five by that's three, that's... not called that's, math, that's called logic. That's uneven. <laughs> well, just an example of that. Um, so is there any reason why you're using the uh, ran, uh, Ragu guy Cause, uh, instead of... Billy is dead right now. And uh, the other guy, Chin. Yeah, so I'm using the second best kit other than Jimmy. Jimmy and Bill, Bimmy, the same thing, but one player game. So Ranzu, R Ran Razor Ramon, whoever, Shinobi over here, is the best character I can use right now, but he's not going to last long. Yeah, pretty much Shinobi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, f I figured Chin wasn't going to be worth a shit. Oh, speaking uh, of... Oh, crap. Now we get... To, no. <laughs> yep. Here we go. I mean, he's an Iron Claw is, is good, but only for, like, boss battles and... 
moves like a freaking tank. He's so slow. He's got fast hands, though. He's like a, a slim E Honda. Yeah. There you go, heavy Honda right here. The Honda hand slap. <laughs> Whoa, dang it, freaking Ryan Howell's back. That no, looks like, uh, I don't know, Bret Hart or something. <laughs> no, he's not. Or Bret Hart without the pink, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Now it looks like another, it looks like a wrestling job or a heavy metal Van Hammer. Ow, I'm getting hammered by a beer bottle. Look at this, see? Come on! Plus that fast hand, what's the... Oh, yeah, you need, yeah. <laughs> this guy, yeah, oh man. You need a helicopter kick here. This guy. Yeah. This guy right here. This fucking guy. <laughs> hey, green's not supposed to be here. Thank <laughs> God. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait a minute, look at the... Look at the wall over there in the left. You see through the wall. That's just that's just NES stuff. No. Oh. Um, well, there's another. Oh. This NES stuff right here. Game over. Now what's up? Now what? ECW mode? No. Yes. Billy mode. Reload mode. Yeah. Safe state mode. Oh come on. Here we go. You know, speaking of green, at least this is uh, the audio is, you know. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm missing that part one. Yep. Uh, the classic, classic Double Dragon 3 Genesis. Oh, what a... Yeah, that's still not uh, completed yet. I think well, it's going to be incomplete for a long time. Probably till the end of time. Yeah. And that's okay. Well, we got a strike in our account saying, You cannot upload incomplete LPs. Please hurry up and complete this LP within one week or this channel will be shut down. Like, really? Stupid. Oh, come on. That's a lame joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, okay, that must be a young Mr. Leahy I've been killing as a uh, beer bottle. Oh, it's got. Always got to assume it's Mr. Leahy. Why yeah. couldn't it have just? Why couldn't it have just been some? You know, guy who likes to drink. You know, some random guy. Who could drink more than Mr. Leahy? Uh. Me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Me. Maybe Stone Cold Steve Austin, uh, that's it. Yeah, maybe it's a... Yeah, I don't know. Oh. It's like Alex and Stone Cold. Oh. Oh, sudden air burst from J-Man's side. That was weird. Alright, here's the boss of stage four. Timothy McBain. Whoa, he's got a buff chest. Yeah. <laughs> Actually... Nice observation, there you guy. <laughs> what? Actually, no, the, the boss, this boss's name is Brock Lesnar. Oh, uh, what is that, Big Ass Sting? <laughs> oh! So, Brock Lesnar is the boss of this stage, which is the second to the last stage. Now, I guess freaking Paul Heyman is the boss of the game. Oh! I love this boss battle music, though, right here. Yeah, put this in the ring. Yeah. Play it in the ring! Gonna have some... Uh, <laughs> I can't make wrestling rep jokes. They're not my thing. Oh! But wrestling is a joke, though. Oh! oh. Burn on wrestling fans. Take it. Da, 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 na, ECW. ECW. Get it? I'm calling your your favorite hobby a joke. That's the joke. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm... All right. Jay Lim. I'm sorry, it's 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 past my bedtime, you know. I need to get some warm milk for bed soon. <laughs> oh please. <clears throat> who who is who even has warm milk for bread bread bed? <laughs> you just, just shut up. I just well, you know, gotta fill in the time while you do your triple kin kick spins. <laughs> well, fill the time with more better commentary. <laughs> well, hey, at least I'm saying something. Well, say this. Uh, oh, I just lost. Oh, I just lost. <laughs> Did I do it? No, you gotta say, Ryan just lost. Oh, Ryan just lost. <sighs> okay, do so it? we had to watch you switch characters. <laughs> yeah. Riveting. Oh. Come on, you're a ninja, you can beat this guy. Oh, use a uh, sh shuriken. Yeah, I'm trying to, it's not doing it, what the heck? Sure you can. Oh, there we go. Broken controls, come on. Broke back mountain. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, sorry. I was thinking of you, Levi. Aww. <laughs> nice. This guy's tough. Take sure things like that. Come on. Buff chest, man. He can, like, yeah, right hail him. Right the, mm. I'm hitting him in his legs. No, oh, that's in the nuts. Right. Like J-Man wants the nuts. Plant? He, he's nuts for nuts. Finally! Jeez. All right, mission five. Hey, Egypt. you had six. You had six shurikens left. Six out of ten. <laughs> That's how drunk that guy was, or the other guy he had the beer. Or maybe Mr. you tonight. Not me. I don't drink. <laughs> uh, this stage right here. Ah. All right, don't die. Jump right. Come on. Come on, get on Mr. Pharaoh's head. Hey, welcome to Mega Man 4. I'm here, Pharaoh this Man. Stage. Always the best part of Double Dragon, the freaking platforming. Why do they even bother? I don't know. Dang it, I forgot Billy's dead. Um, the, the, Billy. The select stuff in that screen there is kind of tricky. I hit select or a certain button and you're trying to go up and down and you can't do nothing. Wait, Billy Idol's dead? No! Aww. I think it's really retarded that you have to select between their uh, two attacks. Oh, throwing the R word around. That's right. Okay, you could, so just, said, you could just said it was stupid, but okay. <laughs> no, it was uh, gay too. Oh. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing, nothing that would they can't relate. It doesn't relate. It doesn't make sense. Logic. It was really death. Okay, that's better. All right, so welcome to the Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time for NES. I'm here about the Post Spirit Temple. Mm. Ooh, Spirit Temple. Yeah. That freaking um, chick in the Spirit Temple. She was nice. Yeah. Oh, Nabaru. Nabaru, yeah. Yeah, yeah Nabaru. <laughs> yes. Or, um, or my Nabaru. friend, or my friend uh, Heather, or Krishanka, who used the name Nabaru on MSN. Really? Mm. Yeah. For years I thought it was Naboru. And then I like heard announce it Nabaru. I, I, I messed I butchered like, a lot of Zelda names. Is that like how you say neighbor in Japan? Nabaru! Yeah. <laughs> I remember uh, you in stage 3 when you, when you fight Ranji right here, he goes, you can't beat me. my Ninpu or whatever is is impossible to beat. I go, Ninpu? Nipple? Your nipple is impossible to beat? What? Whoa. Titty Twister! Yeah, Nipples can cut through glass. <laughs> I would not want to be a part of that. I would Play Spirit Temple, Mr. Leahy. Whoa, the friendly spirits? Where? <laughs> Getting friendly with seen, some... I haven't seen Purple Face Palm this hard in a long time. About what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> commentary here. We're trying to commentate over this repetitive gameplay. But we've barely had... This commentary is nowhere near as uh, hot as other times well at our, least at least our commentary is audible uh, but in this case it might be better if it's not um <laughs> oh, yeah, come dude, on uh, yeah. really <laughs> right off the gate they were waiting for you <laughs> oh shoot let me let me jump oh up. now you're fucked oh come on what? The spikes? yes wow come on. wow <laughs> what was that that was a combo break. That was game over. It was me getting pwned. Oh, now what? Now what? I got Bi Billy Bear Hands now. Oh, Oh, uh, what? Oh, sh dang it. Really? Wow. Run, you idiot. Double tap forward means run. How stupid are you? you freaking buff Bagwell wig wearing. Come on. There you go. Wow, Ronnie Rage. It's rare right. to see you in the wild. You Where, oh. End up, oh, what the heck go. is going on? Oh, oh that's scroll. Yeah. Don't fall in spikes. Oh, there we go. All right. Jeez. Why would they do this? All right. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, you got a jump. Oh my god. Where is your Where is your safe states now? <laughs> Get this. Whoa. Shinobi. Yagyu. I know. American Gladiator here. You can buy this non-American Gladiator for second chance. Yeah. Oh, man. And the S version's the best. Probably is. I never played it, but it's gotta be. It's pretty good, you know. Does the soundtrack change? Different tracks? Oh, yeah. It's, then it's that automatically is better, then. Much better soundtrack. 
unique too. Well, the Genesis version only had one track. That's sad. And it kept looping no matter what happened. Man, that is. That is Speaking of tracks, this stage right here, all, all the tracks in this stage is pretty awesome. I think every track in this game is pretty epic. Oh yeah, I mean, Pegnos can't let down in that in that uh, department. Yeah, and I listened to your 8-bit stereo a little bit the other day, because I was like, yeah, I gotta listen to this, and it's cool. Thanks, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Doesn't get as much love as the other two. Yeah. Frankly, I don't even think the Double Jacket 2 soundtrack is that good anyhow. Oh, shoot, I do. I mean, it's good, but it's not like I wouldn't put it in the top. I mean, the tracks are very, like, mm, I guess simplistic is to put it. Yeah. That's not a bad thing, it's just... I mean, I can, I can just... Yeah, but it's, to me, it's also about nostalgia. That too, I didn't grow up, but, I mean, I have none of that to factor into any of my love for this music. <laughs> well, let's see if you... Purple can factor in some commentary. No, <laughs> oh, just calling you out. So... What? No, I'm just trying to picture something over there. <laughs> I agree. Oh, uh, what? Yeah, what? I agree. What? I absolutely what? agree. I don't know what we got thinking, but anyway. <laughs> it's just, He's it's like, just oh my god, a girl. No, it's just you're, it's like it's like you're, it's like you're upset. There you go, we got. There's a girl right there. Oh, oh we got what? Uh. Is that your next team member? Oh, okay, thank you. thanks. That's we guys, girl. Oh, she asked you to enter the room with her. They're tearing me apart. Oh, hi, old woman. Haruku, whatever her name is. Oh, Haruku. hi, Nikos. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Wait, whoa. Hey, you're, you're my friends. What are you attacking me for? It's the Shadow Warriors, right? Yeah. I'm your masters anyway. I'm your masters. I'm your master anyway. The masters. Master. The master. master. Chris masters. Well, that's an obscure reference. It's a master. Oh, the Star Soldier was here. <laughs> Hello. What do you yeah, say, which... purple? She just she just referenced Mortal Kombat. Oh, I didn't even hear it. She said it was Scorpion and Sub Zero, but I guess it's Sub Zero now and in purple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you say, Purple? We will watch out because Purple is the boss of this game. Rat bro. Quite literally. Yeah, again, love this track. The way this game looks, this could be like The Mummy Returns for the NES or something. Oh, uh, yeah. Brandon Brazier? That yeah. one? There's a video game, The Mummy Returns. I never played it, though. Mummy Returns? Oh, yeah, there was a video game on the But the one thing the one The Rock was in for a brief period. Oh, the Scorpion King. Oh, wait, yeah. Well, no, Scorpion, no, King, no, yeah Scorpion King. Scorpion King was a spinoff. What's this yeah. What's this old hag doing? We gotta get your girl out of here. I lied to you. Your friend Bret Hart tried to warn you, but I silenced him. And through sacred stones of power, I must get the force to control the world. <laughs> what? The heck? what? Whoa! What the fuck was that? What we got heck happened? Heroku didn't bitch. know the entire legend of the sacred stones of power. It says she who enters the tomb carrying a less than all four stones will be turned to dust. You see, in her haste to obtain power. Haruko made a mistake that cost her her life. So she ah, that's what you get, you old hag. It says she who enters, so if a man enters, I guess... I guess yeah, I guess so, because we're in there now, and Renju's a man, he's not turned to dust. And now you have to fight mummies. Speaking of... See, the mummy returns. Whoa, did I just hear the windows sound? What was that? Oh yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> six, uh, six o'clock every day, my computer does an error that makes an error noise for some reason. I don't know why, but anyway. Um. <laughs> okay, I don't play around. games around six o'clock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess around uh, what is it here? Uh, around. Dang it, Jamie made me think. Say around because it was around six o'clock. What was I gonna say? Uh. I guess I'm fighting the great Kali here, mummified. He's doing those Kali chops. Kali? This is retarded. I can't believe this is Double Dragon anymore. This is. But yeah, I mean, it, you know what? I'll give it credit for trying something new with new characters. It's a fresh concept in the series. But geez, uh, 
this Ranzu's all right, but this guy sucks. And the only time he's useful is if you're fighting a boss and you use the, the Iron Claw weapon or whatever it is, and that that is pretty powerful. And it takes you know it calls, inflicts a lot of damage, but other than that, he he sucks. I never saw anything redeeming about this guy except for the Iron Claw. That's it. They stole, with Kevin Blake stole from the Von Erics. I don't, I'm I'm getting Shadowgate 64 vibes right now. Oh come on, it's not that bad. I yeah. might rage quit. I don't know. Well, at least this game has good music. Yeah, that's at least true. it has that's more. That's very, that's very true. true. That is very true. At least you can listen, enjoy the track while you're playing. That's what I was doing. Oh, Shadowgate 64. It's such a ah, good times. Epic failure, yeah. Epic failure. I mean, yeah, the game, but I mean, our commentary was, oh, it was quite opposite. Yeah. I don't, and, and another, uh, so there's going to be three of them, because it's three. <laughs> this is scary. I want my mummy. I want my mummy back. <laughs> oh, yeah, it makes it worse because I'm using this idiot. You should game over on purpose. You should have gamed over on purpose. Oh, I want to try, you know, I want to prove that I'm not a complete loser in life. I can actually beat certain <laughs> things without ECW mode, so. No, it's funny how, to me, you use ECW modes on games that are actually quite harder than this game. Or easier. Well, I don't know. I can, a hard game this like game, this. I can beat this game easier than I can Double Dragon 2. How? Yeah, I don't know. I mean. That's so weird. Like I don't need. Yeah, I don't understand either, honestly. This game, I, I, this game ain't really harder than Double Dragon 2, at least to me. Everybody has their own di uh, learning curve, uh, difficulty curve, I guess, whatever. Like Venom, make, a lot of people said Mega Man 9 was pretty challenging, but Venom goes, Psh, it's easy. Oh, all right, here we go. The boss of the game. Trap. Purple yep. for a spell. Yes. Yeah. She, she said it first. It's a trap. My favorites. <laughs> yeah. Women are evil. Now I got the iron claw out. What now? What? Oh, whoa. She just... Yeah, that's what. Pop yeah, that's iron across the room. It's because she's really a man. Oh, jeez. I got pwned. Game over. Oh, wait a <laughs> oh, jeez. Now Billy's getting whipped by his girlfriend here. Come on. Yeah, what's he whipped? Oh, well, this, is, this is better than mummies. Yeah. Sounds like a spin-off. Mummies. Jeez. Oh, ah! Oh, oh, now that was cheap! That was cheap. That was, cheap. that was like 25 cents right there. I want it back. <laughs> oh, you got flame. Alright. No more nunchucks now. Cyclone power. Can't slap. Ah! I've got pwned by a dub. This ball drop music here is... I mean, it's pretty cool, but it's just... Way different from the the theme of the game, I guess. It's, it's the, the one final battle! I know, but... Oh! When she flies right there near, well, 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 unlike how I'm doing, um, it reminds me of that boss in the second uh, stage boss in Kung Fu Kid for the Sega Master System. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Don't pretend like you don't know. It's okay. <laughs> That's true. I never watched that video. Well, I did do it. Time to, time, well, shameless plug. Time to play Kung Fu Kid that, that I did like six years ago. <laughs> shameless plug. Yeah, it was quite long ago. That's before my long time to play series, it should be under that. But anyway. What just happened with all that switching around? Did you did you put in the Konami code? No. Did you put in the acclaim code? No. Yeah, right. <laughs> the only code on Game Facts, I think the only code is in this game is like uh you can't continue when you get game over. Back to the stage, you gotta hear a certain command or something like that. There's no invincibility code, I mean other than Game Genie. I bet even the game genie codes were like shit to just make the game harder. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those asshole things. You know what? This game sucks, so we're going to make it suck even worse. Mm. It happens. 
Oh, jump, you idiot! You're a ninja! You can't jump? What's this, Wrath of the Black Manta? Mmm, <laughs> Wrath Jamie of the Black Manta. Say, Jamie will say Schwarzenegger, and then he'll say, Oh, can you delete that? Hey, it's not my fault. I almost said that in that word. Well, I mean, not yeah, that we know. It was earlier days of YouTube. Earlier yeah. days. Yeah. That <laughs> was back in the day. Yeah. Exactly. Get the fuck out of here. Come on, jeez. Well, you come on, beat her quicker. I'm trying to. Oh, well, I fell. Oh, jeez, he's our last hope. Come on, Chin. Do something. Useful once in your pathetic life and actually do something right in this game. Share some of your chocolate with her. <laughs> I don't you get know it. he's got chocolate. Look at him. He's got chocolate. Come on, Jay. What do you say? Well, Alright, I'll do the best I can. Ugh. Oh, come on, whatever you had, bud. Don't just jump at her. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, did we not go? <sighs> oh, I no, it's, I, I don't, I don't get this. How, how are you supposed uh, to beat this bitch? There's no way you can beat this bitch without any kind of cheats. There should be a life bar. For yeah, I know, right? That's what I was thinking. I was like, you don't know. It seems like forever. It's like, come on, like, come on, you can't be serious. Like, 20 hits, I feel like I'm fighting Crane and then Turtles 2. No, Crane's, I think Crane's easier. But then, oh, you use your belt scouts five times. What the? What? I think, uh, yeah, I know. I think it's like... I guess they just break after you use them five times. Yeah, and then Turtles 2, you can, uh, like, I think you had to do, I don't know how many jump kicks to beat Crane. And on here, it's like, I, I can understand... It's like, uh, it's like 213 or something like that. I think it is, like, a ridiculous amount. And on here, yeah, how do nunchucks... How do you run out of nunchucks? I can understand running out of shurikens, yeah, but you throw them and they land against the wall or go somewhere, but, I mean, like... And then the Iron Claw? What, does it just disintegrate after five uses? I don't get it. Maybe it bends, you know? Things do wear out after a while. Maybe she's a Maybe stone cold bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll run out of bare hands. Oh, jeez. Bare hands? Oh. Good thing he's not here. Well, I don't know. You'll end up dying before that, probably. Yeah. Jinchu is here be like, I mean, not just you, but probably any player that hasn't studied the game extensively. This is ridiculous. Yeah. The Jinchu is here be like, come on, Ronnie. <laughs> Take this phone and make him go back to the kitchen. Going back to the Double Dragon 2 thing, uh, the last boss was not near this... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. When I was a kid, I did beat Double Dragon 2 legit. I beat both. The, the only one I did not beat beat at all when I was a kid was the first one. And uh, years later, when I got Game Genie and ECW mode, yeah, but I don't know. I mean, for some reason, I can I can beat this one legit, and I I can beat Double Dragon 2 again legit. I said, like, finally beat it legit. Wow. Double Dragons defeated Princess no Noiram? No, that's Marion backwards. I see what they did there. <laughs> Smart. It's right, okay, so like, she, uh, she was killed in the second one, but then, like, brought back to life, and then now she was an evil princess or something. Well, I don't know if she was killed in the second one. I think maybe they wanted to believe that. And she was just unconscious. I don't know. Maybe she was killed and brought back to life. I don't know. She keeps getting killed and kidnapped. I'm chronologically confused. Me too. Wait, they kidnap her after they killed her? 
That maybe. No. This old hag, she got what she deserved. <laughs> we guy. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the end of Double Dragon 3 The Sacred Stones for the NES. And I'll go ahead and start, start to let's discuss here. Um, this game is not as bad as people say it is. And of course, when AVGN says the game is bad, people want to jump on the bandwagon. Yeah, it does suck because he said so. So does Simon's Quest. And no, go. Uh, that's one of the reasons why. Uh, one of the things I like about Master Hand, he's a good reviewer that was fair. He said he was reviewing Ninja Turtles, and guess who bashed Ninja Turtles? AVGN. So a lot of people said it sucked, pretty much because AVGN said it did, and so did Irate Gamer. And the thing is, uh, uh, what's the name? Master Hand said, look, if you hate a game, hate it because you hate it, not because someone else does. So with Double Dragon 3, I feel the same way. A lot of people hate on it. Yeah, it's not as good as Part 2. It's not the best in the series. There's an embarrassing typo, Bimmy and Jimmy Lee at the beginning. But they don't take away from the fact that the game has good graphics, good music, controls not that bad, and it Im implemented a fresh concept to the series. You got to play two new characters. Yeah, one of them really sucked, but at least it was something fresh, something new. Oh, cool, you get to play as two different people this time. You know, four different characters to choose from instead of the same old Billy and Bimmy and Jimmy. And so, yeah, Double Dragon 3 uh, wasn't that bad. And I played it a lot when I was a kid, and... I like the different boss battle music, uh, musics, different boss battle tracks. Right, each stage had different boss battle track. That was pretty cool. Mix it up a little bit. So yeah, and this game is fairly challenging to me. I still think part one and two is harder. And but yeah, I had I had some decent fun with this game as a kid. Uh, I think my favorite thing about this game definitely is the track, the soundtrack. I really loved stage four, probably maybe my favorite uh, track in the game, the stage and the boss battle music. And stage five has some had a, some good tracks as well. In the end, this game really ain't that bad. I give it a seven out of ten. We got. Yeah, well, I haven't I haven't played much of this game. I haven't uh, gone past like the first stage. You know, it's um definitely to me uh, the hardest. Right, probably right next to the first one. Two is the easiest to me. But yeah, this just had a I guess to most people uh, just a larger uh, difficulty curve compared to the previous two, and because of that, that probably really just doesn't help the, I don't know, the reputation that's gone. I mean, yeah, as you said, it's, it's, it's a, it looks great, it sounds great, I mean, got some, at least some different characters, you know, tried new things, and, you know, it overall is just pretty much great in all aspects besides its difficulty, but, I mean, it's probably not the hardest, I'm sure, just, if you get the spinning kicks down and all, you can get through the game. Sure, there's a way to master it and get through it, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it looks like a solid. It's a solid game, just not yeah, just that difficulty is what will turn some people down. But I'm sure one day I'll be able to get through it because I've been some harder games. But uh, yeah, I would probably uh, probably give it the same about a seven, even having not played all the way through. It would probably earn that score. Definitely the soundtrack, best part for sure. Yeah, to me, the reason why. And one of the reasons why I think this game is easier than Part 2, Part 2, the, the AI was more intelligent because they didn't run into your Cyclone kicks almost all the time like the enemies do in this game. And oh, another cool thing about this game, the weapons you get, you get to use, nunchucks, even though it sucks, you only use it five times. But I guess they wanted to add to the challenge. You use it all the time, it'd be too easy, I guess. And then, you know, shurikens, the Iron Claw, you know, different weapons in the game. I know Double Dragon 2 and... One and two, you can use different weapons too. But I mean, like as far as like your character's own custom weapon, that was pretty cool too. So, Technos or Acclaim, whoever made this game, Technos. At least they tried, you know, to really make make it different, and uh, from part one and two. So I give credit for that. J man. The only good thing about this game is the music. It sucks. It failed horribly. I played it when I was like twelve when it first came out. Um, it was difficult, but that's not the problem. The problem is that you only get to use your nunchucks five times. That's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> it's got nunchucks. You can use them. Yeah. Even in even in uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which you guys are referencing, Michelangelo gets to use his nunchucks more than five times. Yeah. And you know what? If you're gonna have something that's limited to a number of stuff. 
Well, then have pickups. I know, uh, you know, everything else in the Double Dragon series didn't have pickups, but you know what? Uh, the other Double Dragon games didn't have uh, weird uh, Mariah spelled backwards evil princesses <laughs> that bitch your nuts with the snake. Yeah. They didn't have uh, graphics that looked like they were trying to go back to the first Double Dragon, um, but failed miserably. Uh, ugh. This game isn't even worth me ranting any more about it. But based on music, I'll give it a 4 out of 10. All right. Purple? Um, I'd give this a 10 out of 10 because the final boss is a chick and you get to fight Sub-Zero and Scorpion. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. She doesn't count. But, yeah, but, I don't count. Well, like, the way... <laughs> I was born. Anyway. But see, the, the way yeah. Marion was beating Billy in the game is how it pretty much is with Purple and J-Man in real life. And that's why J-Man hates this game and Purple loves it. Well, okay, you know what? I want to add one more thing. Yeah, I throw flaming doves at him when we have fights. <laughs> well, that would actually be awesome. But I do want to add one more thing. Um, this game, I don't consider this game challenging. It's bullshit. It's bullshit challenging. Um, challenging is like Battletoads where you got to use your brain to actually, you know, figure the game out. This is just stay in the middle and do spin kicks. Stay in the middle and do spin kicks. If you try to actually play this game, like, straight up, you'll get your fucking ass kicked. I've seen playthroughs of this game, and people do the same thing. They spam, uh, you know, they, they either spam spin kicks, or they get um, they, they get the, the enemies in a corner and kick the shit out of them. Yeah. It's that's that's not challenging. That's just that's bad AI. Yeah, but the the game the AI the AI does BS though. As far as like being cheap, you've seen how the cheap tactics they use against yeah. me, and, and especially right. That's what I'm saying. You see, I mean, you gotta you gotta spam them one way or another. It's it's like a it's 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 like a shitty Street Fighter port or a shitty damn it <laughs> shitty <laughs> yeah. It's like uh, shitty shitty fighter two thousand. Somebody make that game, and I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Spam them before they spam you. Yes. All right. So that would do it for Let's Play Double Dragon 3 for the NES. We're out of here. I'm Ron Moore. The Wii guy. And the uh, Silent Purple. And No, she said it. Oh, sorry. I didn't hear it. Yeah, I heard it. And Snowflakes. Swing, swing. All right, God bless, take care. Bye-bye. Bye.